Yeah, the team at Hampel, 205-229-2090. That's 205-229-2090. Perhaps you guys have seen this or have discussed it already, and I just missed it. But I saw something yesterday that um, there is yet another reboot of the Rocky series of movies, the Rocky franchise. I, I, I don't know how. But well, I mean, Sylvester Stallone is not involved, nor is he happy that it's Drago and Dolph Lundgren is heavily involved and Stallone is pissed about it. He should be. Because I mean, he wrote those, right? Yes. He wrote the screenplays? That's, that's his baby. Yeah, I, yeah. Will, uh, I, I will not see it because of that. Drop my pen again. Wait, what is that? I don't know. Three Brown has out. the biggest butterfingers I've yeah, ever seen. Dan Pastorini <laughs> over here. <laughs> some dexterity issues. He'll be walking with his water and just drop a water bottle. Three. Spills his Mountain Dew all the time. <laughs> I mean, that has happened one time. Uh, but, yeah, no, but apparently Stallone is really, really upset, but Lundgren's going to go through with it because, I mean, Dolph probably hasn't worked in how long. I mean, this is a chance for him to – I can't imagine that movie's going to be great, but it's a chance to catch Well, I guess he check. worked in uh, Creed too. Was he not in that? I've he never was. seen any yeah. of the Creed's. Yeah. Creed's good. That's wild, though, that I mean, because I think he and Stallone have been pretty tired, you know, since Rocky Four days. But uh, but apparently Stallone is really, really yeah, upset. Yeah, Lunchford said Drago's kid was the bad guy in Creed 2. He was a bad guy. Yeah. Um, and they're going with it. Yeah. Mm, well, it's unfortunate. It could be the end of that friend, uh, friendship there. All right. Coming up on the show tomorrow, Buster Olney. We'll talk about the trade deadline. We'll preview an SEC team at our 40 and 40. Some thoughts on them. I think you've got them too low, this team that we'll have. You've got them too low. We'll discuss that on the show tomorrow, 9 o'clock. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you on the Thursday next round. Anheuser-Busch wants every experience for you around beer to be a good one. And getting home safely is always a priority. So encourage friends to decide to ride. Whether it's by being the designated driver, calling an Uber, or taking public transit. You cannot drive drunk if you don't drive there. This message is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch. Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Uber, Birmingham Budweiser, and the next round. Anheuser-Busch. St. Louis, Missouri. The Double Down Media Podcast family is live and full of content for all ages. The Mystery Fifth Hour gives the next round host a chance to talk about everything but sports. Pour a glass of Bama and bourbon. Our weekly college football conversation while sipping some of the most interesting pours in the bourbon world. And our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call. LT takes off the gloves for an in-depth conversation with stars like Taylor Hicks, presented by Redmond Vodka. Find those podcasts and more by searching The Next Round on Apple, Spotify, and on our website, Next roundlive.com the iron bowl jordan here stadium behind us that saw a classic iron bowl 24 22 the crimson tide holds on and wins in overtime the sec championship it is the sec road show saturday morning in atlanta the college football playoff it's our cotton bowl special from dallas texas we are live now the national championship jim dunaway lance taylor ryan brown with you up here in indianapolis with the playoff fan central the next round You'll find us where the big games are played. There's nothing I like more than a unique, delicious meal. And that's what you get at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken right on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Those great full fried chicken plates, the tenders, the poor boys. But I love the southern staple chicken on a stick. It's perfect for a tailgate or watching the big game. And then the authentic Mississippi Delta recipe, homemade tamales, the best I've ever tasted. See the whole menu or order online at champyschicken.com. For blues, brews, and bird, it's Champy's Chicken, Highway 119, Alabaster. Summer weather is finally here. Make sure your air conditioner is ready for the Alabama heat. Adam, Chad, and the team at Hemphill are the ones to call for all of your HVAC needs. Hemphill Services is a locally owned and operated independent train dealer, and the team can service all makes and models. Get the guys at Hemphill Services to make sure your HVAC unit is ready to help you beat the Alabama heat this summer. For all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs, do what I do. Call Hemphill Services. It's hard to stop a train. 205-229-2090. Follow Scott Forrester on Twitter at Scott Forrester TV. Jim Dunaway. 
Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Welcome in. It is another next round along with Lance Taylor. I'm Ryan Brown, Rockstar producing the show. Lunsford handling video, podcasting, internet, everything for us. Taylor Korn on our social media. Dunaway on vacation. Forrester on vacation. We'll do a, a line shift tomorrow. Lance leaves. Dunaway comes in. It's like yeah, hockey. We, we will not be line together change. until the next time we will all be together is at the floor of Bama. <laughs> yeah, Sunday at the floor of Bama. Yeah. Meet me at the floor of Bama on Sunday. It's probably been uttered before. I've gotten a lot of feedback on that. I think there's going to be a lot of people that will actually show up. Yeah. Um, I think you're right about that. I think a lot of people like to go there anyway, and they don't really need much nudging to go there. And we're going to give them a little bit of nudge with us being there at sometime Sunday. As always, we encourage you to set alerts wherever uh, you get us on YouTube or uh, make sure you pay attention on Twitter and we'll shoot out that time for Sunday. We've got a lot of things we're trying to pack in that trip down there. So we'll find out what time we're going to be there. And uh, then live 9 to 1, both on Monday and Tuesday at the floor of Bama. So uh, all of that is coming up. You guys were incredible. We'll talk about the Charles Barkley thing in a moment, but you hit 8,500 like we asked you to do. We dropped out the Charles Barkley um, last call yesterday. We'll discuss that. Uh, some of you have had time to digest it or you're watching it apart. So it's like 45 minutes, so you may not be able to catch the whole thing. So uh, we've gotten some feedback on that. We'll discuss that in a little bit. But Lance... We have got football on the field tonight. Yeah, 7 o'clock tonight, NBC, Jags, and Raiders. And the Raiders are a one-point favorite, a total of 30 and a half. So don't expect, a, and a, half. Don't expect a fun game. That is, I saw that this morning. I was like, 30 yeah, and a half? It's the lowest total I've ever seen. I mean, that's a first half total in college football, isn't it? Yeah, you know, there that's might, a low have, first half there total might have been some 30 and a halfs before in preseason football. Typically, the totals are on the low side. But 30 and a half is the, the lowest total I can say I've ever seen at any level of football. Yeah, I mean, Jacksonville's starting a guy that won't even make their roster at quarterback. So... I mean, I think that you need to tamper down your expectations based on that. It's not as if the Super Bowl champion Rams or the Kansas City Chiefs are starting a guy that won't be on their roster. This is the Jags starting a guy that won't be on their roster. I mean, I'm right about that. He's the third teamer. Well, Jake Luton, I think, was on the roster. I think he played some some meaningful football. Well, is he going to beat year. out Bethard? I thought C.J. Bethard was the backup. No, Bethard is the backup. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you're not going to carry three quarterbacks. He may yeah. be on the practice. Yeah, squad. I could see him be on the practice squad. Yeah. So uh, that's, I mean. I mean, unless Lutton shines tonight. Oh, right? I'm sure he'll tear it up against the Raiders. Do you know if the Raiders are starting Carr? Uh, I would doubt they are. Yeah. So uh, I start the show, Rockstar, by saying, Lance, we got football on the field tonight. And then I spend the next 90 seconds completely destroying the game. Yeah, we're going to be, yeah. You going to watch yeah. it? Yes, well, absolutely. So, so I'm going to watch the whole thing. I was wrong. I mean, obviously, with Trevor Lawrence starting last year, he started every game. But in 2020, Jake Lutton did start three games. Yeah. Two uh, touchdowns, six interceptions. Not good numbers. Yeah, Kerry says that's a girls' high school basketball total, 30 and a half. Yeah, he's about right. That's a terrible shot. Kerry, come on. Um, yeah, so that's uh, on tonight, Rockstar. We got college, We got NFL tonight. Yeah, yeah, I am going to project right now your starting quarterback for the Raiders will be Jared Stidham. Oh, okay. So or, former or Nick star Jared Stidham. Yeah, I mean, you're going to see two. Spain two, Park star Nick Mullins. Two, two local kids. Yeah, we got local kids yeah. playing. So that's tonight, NBC 7 o'clock. As Lance said, the Raiders favored by two and a half. Is that right? Uh, that's what I saw Ra this morning. It's down to one. Raiders down to one. one. Oh, late action in yeah. Vegas. People like those Jags. Late action in Vegas. Jay Glutton. Yeah. Uh, so it's down to one. 30 and a half is the total. Um, so there you go. That is tonight. If you're uh, gambling on that game, are you going to have a, lo a lock on it? I'll probably play that game. Yeah. Um, you it know, may I'm, not be the actual lock. Yeah, we were 2-0 and yesterday. So a yep. uh, couple of easy winners yesterday. And we're, we're, we kind of promised that we would play this in some regard. Well, I, I think you need to. People total. are just so hungry for I football. I think people would love just to see a football lock up. Yeah. So I, I think you need to put it up there. I'm not, you know, I have nothing to do with Lance'sLock.com, but I'd put it up there. I think I will. Um also, camps are opening everywhere, including in our state. Now, UAB's is already open because they got that Thursday night game, but Alabama, Auburn, SEC camps opening everywhere. So if the exhibition season of the NFL with backup quarterbacks isn't your taste, teams walking around, getting used to being back out on the field, and college football could be your taste. 
This is an exciting time, Lance. I'll give you the numbers right here. We're 23 days away from week zero, 23 days away from week zero. Well, you know, I'm not as surprised when I look at scores and odds and you see Jags Raiders. You see actually live football tonight. That's right. So you said it. Uh, when we start tonight, the next week and we won't have football will be second week of February. That's right. Next week. And we're on college or NFL. You know, the XFL starts right away. Oh, yeah. But college or NFL, yeah, we're not. It's, it's February after tonight that we won't have football. So it is the most spectacular time of the year. 28 days until that first Thursday night, 30 days until the Saturday where Alabama and Auburn kick off. I did see, and i got to pull it up real quick, um, some announcer schedules that leaked out last night. Do you care who announces games? Do you want to uh, know where some yeah. of the announcers are? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, these leaked out last night by Rudy Martsky, who used to be with USA Today. In fact, I didn't realize they were leaked. I thought they had been announced, and I fired off a text to a couple people we know that are part of these crews, and they're like, how did you know which game I was doing? I'm like, it's on Twitter. They, 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 were they, Fox and ESPN haven't even announced that yet. Wait, well, you didn't say Rudy Martsky did it, did you? Yeah, Rudy Martsky. You remember old Rudy Martsky? I, I remember Rudy Martsky was kind of – he had a little bit of a Darren Ravel in him back in the day. Yeah. He, he did a lot of the inside, the reporting in the industry. That's right. Yeah. And he's retired now, but he's on yeah, Twitter. I, 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 if you would have gone dead or alive, I, I would have leaned dead. Okay. He's still with us. Yeah, Thank okay, goodness. Good. Yeah. Uh, I'll just hit the high points uh, because there's a lot. Blackledge and Sean McDonough with Molly McGrath on the Oregon-Georgia game. So that's that 2.30 ABC okay. game. You're going to get the Blackledge crew there. Obviously, Fowler, Herb Street, all those guys, they're going to be doing Notre Dame, Ohio I'm, State. I'm excited about that game. You think most people are pulling for the Oregon upset? Um, Yeah, you know, and who was it that was with us yesterday? Was it Furman that said that's going to be yeah. a much tougher game than people think? Mm -hmm. So Furman, I don't know what he has seen from some sort of numbers perspective, but he thinks that's going to be a more difficult game for Georgia. Yeah, I just don't know. I mean, what do you get from Bo Nix? We saw Bo Nix running for his life against that Georgia defense last year. I don't think this Oregon offensive line is going to be much better. Um, I don't know. You lose your best skill player in Travis Dye, who transfers yep. to USC. Yep. I, I mean, I don't, I don't expect a ton out of that game. But, I mean, if it's a little bit closer than the experts think, maybe that's fun. I mean, Kayvon Thibodeau, your best defender's gone. Yeah. New head coach in Dan Lanning. Yeah. I mean, it's a, there's a lot of new in the sentence. Now, for Georgia, though, there's a lot of new, too. Let's don't pretend like Georgia didn't lose a ton to the NFL draft. Yeah, I mean, was it an NFL record? 15 guys were drafted this past yeah. year. It was right around an NFL record. I tell you what, Dan Lanning has an opportunity week one, his first ever game as a head coach, to have his signature win. Buddy, I mean, you want to talk about his expectations after that because then Oregon fans are going to think, all right, time yeah. to plow through the Pac-12 and be in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, if you can beat Georgia, why would you not run the table? Yeah, I, mean, I mean, in fact, with a win over Georgia, they probably don't even have to plow through the Pac-12, just win it with a – be a one-loss team and win the Pac-12. They're in the playoff again. I didn't know Brock Osweiler – Brock Osweiler was – I can't say his name. Brock Osweiler – was with ESPN now. Did you know that? No, I had no idea. Well, he's, I mean, I guess he's probably the tallest. What is he? Six, analyst. seven? Yeah. Uh, NC State, East Carolina. He's with our buddy Lawrence Sisler and uh, Anise Sharoff. I just I brought that up because I didn't know he was there. Uh, our boy Lugs, and I almost asked him this when he was on the show the other day. He's got Clemson, Georgia Tech, that Monday night game. Lugs, Dusty Dvorak. And Dave Pash. That's a good game. I mean, well, well I, let it's me a, take that back. It's, it's the only game on, so a lot of people will be watching. Fascinated to watch Clemson this year to see how they bounce back. Bob over there just said, hey, look, give me all the Beth Moen games. You know, I don't have Beth's schedule. Rockstar, do you have Beth Moen's schedule? Uh, it's going to be early morning games. <laughs> this is going to be an 11 o'clock game. I uh, can probably talking shoot. about the quarterback. No, but Beth she's... Moen's has done more 11 o'clock. Oh, here's a good poll question. I don't even know if Taylor's here yet. Taylor's not coming in today. Oh, really? He's at the beach. I didn't know that. Yeah. Did nobody else know that? No. Yeah, Lunsford did. Oh, Lunsford knew that. Okay. Um, so Maybe if you had a conversation with our social media coordinator. Yeah, I don't yeah, – yeah. I almost pulled a Dunaway right there. You want to go ahead and say it, Rex? Yeah, you getting a bikini this week? You know, I got a lot of stuff to do. I don't go sit out and talk to her in the lobby during yeah. the breaks. Yep. You know, she, she does, she, yeah, you command her from here. <laughs> I do. Well, I mean, she can sit right anywhere she wants to. I was going to do a poll question. Who has seen – who do you think – and we'll do this poll question. I guess I'll have to put it out. Who has seen worse games in their career, Beth Mowens or Dave Neal? 
who's seen more bad games. Well, here's it's probably going to be Dave Neal. I think it would be Beth Mullins because Dave. No, nah, I think it's Dave Neal. But Dave Neal was all SEC, though. Yeah, but it's crap SEC. Yeah, I mean, he did have a lot of Vanderbilt. It's Vanderbilt, Kentucky. He's done more Vanderbilt games probably than the Vanderbilt play by play guy. Mm. But Rockstar's right. There is nothing that screams sleepy ESPN2 11 o'clock Big Ten game like Beth Mullins. Uh, our poll question, always brought to you by our friends at Cowan, Cowan <laughs> Equipment. Proud to partner with the next round on our new venture. Would love the opportunity to partner with your company for your heavy equipment needs. Visit us. Go to Cowan.com to find out more about how we can be your heavy equipment solution from rental and new equipment sales to superior service and parts. Cowan.com. Does the WNBA season bleed into the college football season? Because she might be disappeared for a couple of weeks. I just, oh, I don't know. I assume she does WNBA games. I don't know, but uh, according to is that a safe uh, assumption? Uh, yeah, I think that is a safe assumption. According uh, to John, and I hadn't gotten this deep, ESPN will have Beth Mowens, Kirk Morrison, and Stormy Buna Tommy on the call week one for Boise State, Oregon State. That's a late night game. What, met, what has happened? Beth has lost her agent. Yeah. Why is she doing late night games? I don't know. I met Stormy at a party a few weeks ago. She was really, really nice. Uh <laughs> No, she was. I'm just saying. I'd I never, don't doubt that. I'd never met her before. It's, you know, she was just in. Just a weird sentence. No, but she was in for the world game. So I was at one of these oh, world games right, parties was, yeah. for Red Monvac. She was with our friend Lauren well, Sisler. Sister, her and Lauren are friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got to uh, to to catch up with Stormy a little bit and told her that uh, I enjoyed her work. Uh, Kirk Good. Morrison, though, on that broadcast, the most confusing moment in broadcasting history. Do you remember? No, I don't. Yeah, when they were like, uh, I forgot exactly what the scenario was. But he just started babbling, and he got completely lost Ooh. on where the football was. Oh, I do remember yeah. that. Yeah, and he wouldn't shut up. He yeah. just kept doubling down. Yeah. Yeah, that was last year. I'd forgotten all about that. That was tough to watch. Yeah, I know. Uh, Taylor, I mean, you want to talk about a great employee here at Double Down Media. Just texted me and said, I got the poll. Don't worry. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. Uh, it's your day off, Taylor. Do this poll and then shut it down. After she's that. A, she should be in the rack right now. It's uh, 9 o'clock in the beach. She's a go-getter. She's probably already run three miles this morning. She probably did. Eating, you know, her boyfriend caught a shark yesterday. And eating Jolly Ranchers. That's what I heard. That's my, my kind of guy, Lance. Can you get a picture? <laughs> yeah, she, <laughs> oh, she, she, oh, it got Lance. I was out there for that conversation. No, she, she, said, she sent me a video. I'll send it to lunch for maybe we can post it. Yeah. Uh, I got that conversation, right, Star. Lance was all in once he found out Charlie caught a shark. No, it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um. So, all right. Uh, well, crap. I'll wrap this up. Um. I told you who's got Oregon, Georgia, Michigan, Michigan State, or no, Western Michigan, Michigan State would be a bigger say. deal, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um. I'm seeing if there are any more. Clatt told us that he's got that uh, Penn State Purdue game. Him and Gus Johnson, and that means that Brock, who will be on the show tomorrow, Brock Heward, and uh, Jason Benetti, his new partner, have got the Week Zero game. Northwestern. Well, I'd much rather have that game. Northwestern, Nebraska, trip to Ireland oh, versus too, a trip yeah. to West Lafayette, Indiana. Yeah. If I'm glad I would have fought hard for that one. Yeah, you got to get on a plane anyway. Yeah, either way. You know, the, the um, Cincinnati, Arkansas, thing. you're going to get Dave Fleming, Rod Gilmore, Tiffany Blackman on that one. Man, I. Uh, That's a good game, though, Cincinnati, I'm Arkansas. Just not a Rod Gilmore guy. Um, Utah, you, you? Florida. Rod. Um, you'll even take him. Um, when, you, when Rod does it with, uh, is it Mark Jones? No, Jonesy. Jonesy's with uh, Robert Griffin III now, I think. Okay, but yeah. when they were together. Yeah. Uh, um. Bob Ochusen, Dan Orlovsky, Chris Budden on Utah, Florida. That's a big game. Yeah, it is a big game. Um, wow, I didn't re realize this. Brock's going to fly back home after week zero and he gets UTEP, Oklahoma. Is that any good? UTEP, Oklahoma? The Oklahoma no. will run them out of the stadium, right? No, UTEP was much improved last year, but they can't yeah. stay on the field with Oklahoma. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. That's just a few. I don't see any more that would get anybody's attention. And look what Zach says over in the, the chat room. Zach, uh, oh, so um, <laughs> I, so here's a funny story about Stormy Bumatami, Bunatami. I can't That's say her last name. name. Do you know how to say her last name? I don't. Stormy, if I, it's one of those, if I look at it, I can work my way through it. Stormy B is what I call her. So um, Dunaway and I were headed to pick you up for dinner. We were grabbing the Uber. You were staying at a different hotel in Atlanta. We we're going to pick you up and go to dinner. And we're waiting for the Uber to show up, and Lauren Sisler walks up with another person. And I thought it was Stormy Bumatami because they're friends, right? You feel good about that name now? No, I do not. Okay. But I thought it was Stormy. So I'm talking to this girl the whole time thinking it's Stormy. I don't think I ever called her Stormy, but it was actually Dawn Davenport of the SEC Network. Okay. I had the total wrong person. Yeah, she's a blonde. She's in the industry. Well, I mean, I didn't know, but I had the total wrong person. And, I, and I, so when I got in the car... I say to Dunaway, I'm like, uh, that Stormy's a nice girl. He goes, who? I said, Stormy Bumatami. He goes, Brown, that was Dawn Davenport. And I was like, oh, my God, did I call her Stormy? 
And he goes, well, I didn't hear it, but I was talking to Sisler. D- did he immediately pull on Instagram? You know, <laughs> this is Stormy. Uh, this is bikini shot one. <laughs> this one's just a single I mean, shot. So uh, the, the rest, of, I mean, I didn't really think about it that long, but, you know, for the next, you know, five minutes, I thought, gosh, did I call her? Yeah, I tried to relive the conversation. Did I keep calling her Stormy? But you know what? I am so bad with names. I am too. You, you know, that well, I, I try to hesitate using them, actually. I think it's very important. And I said this, uh, so the party we were actually at, we had name tags. And so Hi, I'm Lance. I'm a little surprised that Larry David hasn't done this in a Curb episode. Yeah. Like, I think almost every party should have name tags, especially with yeah. bigger parties. Yeah, correct. Because, you know, you, you, you'll meet somebody once or twice over the last year, and they might remember your name, but you don't remember their name, and it becomes really uncomfortable. I mean, I know you've got a system with Jennifer. Yep, I do. I don't like talking about it on the air because I might have to use it with people to watch the show that yeah. think I would know their name. If it's a late night, it's a guy that's calling Wild Man. Yeah, talking about the that. Lance does Wild Man. Like, What's up, uh, Wild Man? You called me that the other day? Yeah. But, but I think it's, you know, in a setting like that, like we've got a, um, we've got our um, one year anniversary party coming up. That is correct. In less than two weeks. That is right. August 16th, walk ons in Hoover out next to the Hoover Met. It's not the one on 280 where we were last year. It's a different one, walk ons in Hoover. Yeah, there could be up to 300 people there. I'm oh, just, absolutely. I'm just guessing. At a given so, time, yeah. so, with that said, don't you think name? I've already talked to Taylor about this. One uh-huh. of the reasons I was sitting in the lobby, by the way, yeah. about getting the name tags. <laughs> she agrees. Are you guys no, cool fine, with name dude. tags? Yeah, absolutely. I'm cool with name tags. Yeah. Um, I think that it that is, makes it easy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, because, and I'll tell you another thing that happens, especially with us, you'll get a lot of people that are like, um, you know, walk up to you and say, hey, Ryan, what's going on? Hey, um, I'm sorry, Ryan Brown, I'll introduce myself. And they'll say, oh, yeah, we met at the Alabama-Arkansas yeah. game back in 2012. I was, you know, standing on the one side of the fence yelling at and I'm like, oh, yeah, I totally remember I that. I had the yeah, Alabama hat on. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, you know, I probably met 40 people that yeah. day. I, 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 read up the, I rode up the elevator with a guy the other day, and uh, – I was like, what floor? And he was like, fourth. And he looked at me. And I was I like, work in your office. where do you work? And he told me. And I was like, oh, yeah, we met. And he was like, yeah. He was like, I, I kind of dressed up today. And I was like, yeah. Um, it's probably watching the show, Lance. I have pants on today. Yeah. Hey, hey, Wayne's wants to remind you before we do the uh, look at and tell you what's going on with the show today about Smart Pass. Here's what Smart Pass does it monitors rodents in your attic, in your crawl space, 24 7 rodent monitoring, in fact. And as soon as it spots one, it proactively communicates to Wayne so they can send out an exterminator to take care of the issue. That way you never get an infestation. And right now, Wayne's is helping you save. They love us. They're family. We love them. They're family to us, too. So they consider you family. Use the code TNR for the next round and save $100 off your initial smart pass. 866-WAYNES1. 866-WAYNES1. And the code TNR. Lunsford from the back row says uh, he wants his name tag to say Simple Mind. Simple Mind. Oh, yeah, that was Dunaway Dunaway that labeled him. Simple Mind, yeah. yeah. All right, we challenge you guys (laughs) to... Dunaway's pinata today, and he's not even here. He's not even here to protect himself. I think that's sad the way y'all are treating him. Uh, We challenge you to get the 8,500 YouTube subscriptions. We're trying to build a YouTube audience here. 8,500. And we said, when you do it, when it hits 8,500, we're going to drop the Barkley Last Call with Lance uh, right next to us here in the green room, presented by Redmont Vodka. You guys were so good. You hammered it. You got 8,500. It dropped yesterday. We're getting a lot of feedback. Rockstar, have you watched it yet? I have not, Brown. Have you watched it yet? I, I, there's going to be a challenge for you and I. I got to yeah. warn you, and a lot of we've gotten some feedback on that. I know. Yeah. Oh, you know the challenge? Yeah. Okay. Were you aware of it beforehand? Because I was not. No. Okay. Uh, but it is out. It is getting great feedback, Lance. You and Charles Barkley going one-on-one for 45 minutes. And apparently some stories. I mean, Charles has been a pretty open book. Apparently some stuff he's never told before. Yeah, some some interesting stuff from behind the scenes when he hosted Saturday Night Live to uh, wearing Vaseline in his belly button. Um, wow. Almost dying when he was born. Yeah. Um, what he did to train as a kid that's one of the most unique um Things I've ever heard of. Wow. Um, also, if I am not mistaken, uh, he tells maybe some more details about throwing the guy through the window. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what somebody was saying in the chat room. Yeah, yeah. He, he gets into that. Um, there we go. And in, 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 uh, Hen 35405 oh, yeah. saying. Um, he said, I enjoyed it. Love Charles, but it is going to be torture for Rockstar. Add me to this group, too. To listen with the mics right at the collar, hearing the swallowing and the ice crunching. There was there was the uh, I didn't hear the ice. swallow. Now I did hear the ice crunching. I told you that I watched it this morning on the Peloton. Right, and uh, it was the first last call that I have actually watched. 
Um, <laughs> you do them though. I know it sounds know, funny, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. do them. Yeah. And I did notice the, there's probably like five or six big ice crunches. I cannot believe the mic picked it up that well. Yeah. But it did. Yeah. So there's some ice crunching. You got to get past I that. apologize. So Next okay. time I do one of these, I will not ice crunch. No ice crunch, please. But Rockstar, I'm just going to warn you. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's going to. It's going to be a little uh, obnoxious. So it's going to get you. All right. JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline coming up today. Uh we're, we got a great honor. Trey Molinax, PJ Tour golfer, is going to be right here in studio with us. He's already won this year. Great story. Former Alabama golfer, won a national championship there. We'll talk with Trey coming up in the next segment. We're going to preview Tennessee in our 40 and 40 today. Their former quarterback, Eric Ainge, joins us on the show today. And Buster Olney talks about the draft, uh, or not the draft, the uh, trade deadline, Major League Baseball trade deadline. He's going to be with us. Rockstar has four downs. They're good. I've previewed them. Not that they're never good, Oops. but I, I really do enjoy them, Rockstar. <laughs> I mean, you can't give you any sort of compliment without getting no. You Brown know, driving today actually doing an okay job today. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I literally <laughs> said they're good. What do you want me to say? What if I said they suck? I don't right? care. They're good. Uh, don't forget a Johnston RV Center right now, the Toy Hauler Sales Event. Payment as low as two nineteen a month with approved credit for these toy haulers. Great way to go see college football this year. All the RVs at Johnston RV Center. You can see them online, johnstonrvcenter.com, johnstonrvcenter.com, or I-65 exit 304 in Coleman, 334 in Decatur. It's Johnston RV Center. Trey Molinex, PJ Tour golfer, with us next on the next round. Everything Everything next next round round is on demand now in the podcast section at nextroundlive.com. This hour of the next round is brought to you by Culver's, now featuring the Big Wisconsin Cheese Pub Burger. Stop in the Highway 150 or the Highway 280 location and enjoy one today. That's Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. This is for the men who never settle. The ones who believe only quitters and a game and a tie. The type of guys who choose the bar with the biggest TVs to overcompensate for theirs at home. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at One Man in a Toolbox. One Man in a Toolbox has provided professional handyman services since 1997. Honesty and reliability are qualities that embody every one of their employees. From residential to commercial, One Man in a Toolbox, they've got a background to help you with almost any project. I've used them multiple times at my home. Give them a call today. Get that free estimate, 205-823-2111. That's 205-823-2111 or online, One Man in the toolbox.com. The long hours of summer are great for golf at the Jerry Pate Design Timberline Golf Club. The course is in fantastic condition, and if you don't have time for a round of golf, come use Timberline's Trackman Driving Range. You can practice, play games, and play virtual golf all on the practice tee. Come enjoy your day on one of Alabama's top 10 courses you can play. It's Timberline Golf Club. Timberline is easy to get to just off I-65 at exit 228. Book tee times online at TimberlineGC.com. Tee it up at Timberline. Things fall apart. There's even a book about it, but that doesn't mean you have to break the bank to fix them. Ryan Brown here for the next round. Our friends at Mortgage Ride have a new renovation option that will make repairs and other home improvements easy. If you've recently purchased a home and find yourself short on cash or you're looking to buy a fixer-upper, Mortgage Ride's renovation loan program can help you spruce up your space. Repairs can be made to your roof, plumbing, flooring, and more with the help of top-notch mortgage professionals. So get your fix by visiting mortgageride.com TNR and MLS 2239 equal housing lender. At Alfa Romeo of Birmingham, you can now drive the 2022 Alfa Romeo Giulia Ti, the Italian sports sedan of your dreams, starting at $499 per month plus tax with $4,999 down, plus first payment and title due at delivery. Come experience the passion and performance of Alfa Romeo of Birmingham, 1837 Grants Mill Road, or Alfa Romeo USA of Birmingham.com. I like at least 10,000 miles per year. WAC MSRP $51,490. Stock number Q0059, Q0068, or Q00074. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour are not for all ages podcasts like Bama and Bourbon and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour are not for all ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. When it comes to choosing a dentist, two things are critical. Trust 
and comfort. Brian Brown here from the next round. It's why I tell you about Stone Creek Dental Care. Dentist owned and operated and Stone Creek Dental Care is the Southeast premier provider of comprehensive dental care. With more than 20 locations, including Birmingham, Chattanooga, Huntsville, Trustville, and Montgomery, Stone Creek Dental Care is able to provide a level of quality care you will not find anywhere else. From your basic cleaning to restorative dentistry, cosmetics, and endodontics, Stone Creek Dental Care covers a wide and comprehensive range of dental services for patients of any age. Stone Creek Dental Care Care's mission is to provide the highest quality dental care to every single patient in an environment that exemplifies the highest ethical, personal, compassionate, and professional standards, and to provide the best patient experience possible. Stone Creek Dental Care is currently accepting new patients at all locations, and new patients get a free Chick-fil-A gift card at your first appointment. So visit StoneCreekDentalCare.com to find a location nearest you. StoneCreekDentalCare.com. You've been wearing that thin, raggedy t-shirt for years now, and people cannot stop whispering and staring in your vicinity. We've all been there. Luckily, there's a solution to your lack of fashion and social cues. At NextRound.Store, they have plenty of options when it comes to a variety of shirts and hats. Once you start putting that Next Round gear on, be prepared to make new lifelong friends and hundreds of unforgettable conversations. Hope you like random high fives in the street, because that's what you're getting after visiting NextRound.Store. All right, we continue on the next round. PJ Tour golfer Trey Mullinax in studio with us. We're about to talk to him right now. Lance Mortgage, right, though, helping you get in that house of your dreams. Yeah, hey, look, uh, inflation is out in full force. A lot of people think renting is the right way to go right now. Now more than ever, rent costs are actually skyrocketing. Even though interest rates have risen, buying a home is proving cheaper than renting one. Stop throwing away money on rent. Turn to Mortgage Right with a variety of loan options, assistant programs, and dedicated mortgage experts. Mortgage Right makes buying a home in the current market as easy as possible. They know the financial hardships that are coming for renters, and they want to help you make the best investment for your future. Call Mortgage Right locally, 205-815-9200, or visit mortgageright.com slash TNR. There are a lot of local guys that are on the PGA Tour now. We, I mean... Man, there were years ago in Birmingham. I don't even know if a PJ Tour guy lived here. We got a ton here now. One of them is Trey Mullinax, and he's been kind enough to come join us in studio. What's up? How are you? I, I, thank you all for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, we appreciate you coming on. Of course, won a national championship at the University of Alabama. Bama fans remember that. Uh, but just won this year the Barbasol yeah. Championship on the PGA Tour, which uh, kept off a heck of a ride for you over the last few years. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, all, ba- all the way back through college, winning two national championships uh, at Alabama was a pretty special moment. And obviously getting my first win on tour was, was really nice as well. Yeah. well what, what's, what's a bigger moment, though? I mean, I, I know those Ooh, are hard to compare. I've been asked that question a lot. Uh, have yeah. you really? Well, and, 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 you know, you've got, you know, golf is one of those unique sports where it's you. Yes. Uh, it's you and your sponsors. But because um, we know a lot about sponsorship. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> talk about yeah, But, you know, that's right. yeah. Yeah. you see it all over the place. Product yeah. placement in Aquafina. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But, you know, <laughs> golf, when you play at the University of Alabama, you've got other teammates obviously relying on you. So it's not just about you. It's also about that program, too. So there's a, yeah. a lot. But, you know, to, to win on the PGA Tour is obviously a another level yeah I mean it's 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 like you said it's two totally different things you know like when you're playing for a team you know it's you got your team there they're watching you make that putt and you celebrate with the team and all that and so like it's different but the same because like I have my own team now uh with professional golf I have my team that surrounds me that supports me and so like it was special in that moment but like there's nothing like having your teammates there either I mean your your teammates are always going to pull for you you know you're, you're doing this stuff as a team and so you know, they're two different things, but the same kind of, you know, it's just a different celebration, I guess. Yeah, and it was a heck of a celebration. You actually, <laughs> was it the first championship where you made the clinching putt? Uh, the second. The second championship where you made the championship clinching putt. I mean, a putt that you know this is for a trophy. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. I yeah. mean, I, mean, I, I kind of had a little bit of a cushion because Corey Witsit was behind me, and I right. think he was up in his match. I, I got yeah, the – Yeah, but you, you don't know, want him I, getting the putt. I, I, I got the spotlight because I made the putt, which was yeah. nice. Yeah, do you get dinner paid for you <laughs> that guess, night? Yeah, it was, it was nice, yeah. Uh, me being able to make that putt and Coach Sewell jump up in my arms was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, was a, that was a really cool moment. Um, so I mentioned that um, – that that the win at the Barbasol kind of capped off what's been a wild ride for you. For those that don't know, you you were involved in a little bit of an accident on the golf course that, that yes, jeopardized your career, actually. Can you yeah. kind of walk us through what happened there? Yeah, so in 2019, uh, I suffered a, a concussion. I got a uh, playing in a pro-am guy. 
you know, it wasn't his fault. He didn't know. I mean, he just hit a bad shot, hits me in the back of the head with a three wood, or it hits a like a hybrid or a three wood, hits me in the back of the head, knocks me to the ground, knocks me out for a couple seconds. I get diagnosed with a mild concussion. Uh, you know, because I haven't had many concussions, I didn't really know the protocol and everything, and so I just kind of kept playing. It was midsummer, you know, hot, 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 and I just kind of made things worse. And eventually, it was ironically at the Barbasol in 2019 where I had to go to the hospital, and my dad rushed me to the hospital. They had to pump me full of fluids and get everything, get my, you know, kind of everything settled down, and I, you know, it wasn't good. And so that's when I was like, all right, something's not right went home, uh, came home, went to a ton of doctors and I had to sit out for a while and it took about four months of recovery. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you heard the story like 15 years ago, a pro am here for the regents, Stan white, former Auburn quarterback is playing in a foursome. Bo Jackson was in the foursome. Tim Brando is the guy that hit the shot. We'll never forget this. Oh, no, not at all. Yeah. I mean, it's just hard to forget. I mean, hits a missile and Stan is actually on the car path. We can laugh about it <laughs> yeah. now. He's signing autographs. Yeah. 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 Kind of on the rope line. Yeah. He, yeah. He was signing. He had a Sharpie in hand, mini helmet, and it, it hits him. I forgot where it hit him in the head. Yeah. But it split him open. Yeah. 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 And, and Blood everywhere. I was lucky that, I mean, I had a little, I had a, I had a, you know, indention, but nothing. nothing yeah. Crazy. yeah. I mean, Bo had to carry him. Yeah. I mean, that's wow. really, it was, I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that's scary. It was, it was um, those pro ams, I mean, head on a swivel, but yeah. did, did you, you, you don't, you don't ever get in front of the ams now. I, I, I stay clear. <laughs> I, I stay behind. I learned my lesson. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't do too much of that. Did, did you know, though, when you got hit, what it was? No, so like I got hit, and then my caddy was there, and I kind of fell. I don't really remember that much of it. I, I, he told me I fell kind of – I was like, well, why didn't you catch me, man? I'm like, come on now. You're supposed to have my back here. Like, Drop you know, the bag. Let's yeah, go. And, uh, and so I fell, and then, you know, like I said, I just, I've never really had that many concussions. They, di- they, di- they diagnosed me with a, a mild concussion, and so uh, it's a funny story. I was staying with Scott Stallings uh, that week, and, uh, you know, he heard about what happened, so immediately comes and checks on me and, and all that, and he said that uh, – because they gave me some pain medicine to take and I had this concussion and he said he w- comes into the house that week and I mean they can hear the TV blaring from outside and he said I don't remember this at all he said that he comes in and I'm like this close to the TV <laughs> watching Jeopardy <laughs> and it's just blaring and he, he looked at me because if you start answering these questions right I'm taking you back to the hospital <laughs> and so yeah and it was a, that was a funny story of what happened you but, had any effects since or are you no, totally so, clear uh, like I said I did four months of vision uh, therapy so like where I got hit was like the visual cortex of your brain and so my depth perception like convergence alliance is kind of how they say it. all that was just messed up and so it took me a while to kind of get everything back to normal and so like because we you know we don't really i didn't really know where i stood before uh the doctors just wanted to make sure that i was fully recovered before i went back and played trey mullinax is with us in studio pj tour golfer um but what what i mean and i don't know that it, you ever thought it jeopardized your career but i think what a lot of people don't realize about professional golf not that i'm any expert i'm just a weekend player but the fine line between good enough to be on the tour and not good enough to be on the tour. Yeah. I mean, it is, it is, they are tight margins right there. Oh, tight yeah. margins. I mean, I play with so many golfers that whoop me. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that, you know, they just kind of haven't gotten to the tour yet. That's right. Yeah. And, you know, they're extremely good players and it's just hard. I mean, the, the right. game is, I mean, it's a performance based job. I mean, if you don't play well, you do, you don't keep your job for the next year. Yeah. And so it's tough in that regard, but, I mean, it, it's like I said, it, it's just it's just hard. I mean, yeah, but but, is, but but an accident like that, I mean, that that could be what is the difference between being on the right side and the wrong side of that fine line? Yeah, I mean, I was having one of the best years I had in yeah. 2019, and you know, it, it was it was hard for me mentally uh, going through that because I went from being at the top of my sport to having nothing because after I got injured, I only had two starts left, and I missed out on my card, and I had Corn Ferry Finals to get back on the PGA Tour. Well, then COVID hit. And so now I have no Corn Ferry, I have no PGA, and I can't play the Corn Ferry Finals for another 18 months. So I was stuck with nothing for a while. And luckily I was able to uh, get into a Corn Ferry event because it went so deep on the list that I got in and I played well. And then I won the last one of the year in 2020 uh, to be able to kind of 
play on the Corn Ferry to kind of keep sharp before those Corn Ferry finals. You know, after winning Barbasol, you get a two-year exemption. Yes. It allows you to get that last spot in the open. Mm -hmm. So those 24 hours from winning that Ooh. to getting to <laughs> Edinburgh, tell me what that was like, and also tell me about the Bent Clubs. Yeah, so they kind of took that story and ran with it a little bit. Uh, <laughs> we like to do that. Yeah, it? well, it was – It was, I mean, they were bent. Uh, so I got my clubs, and uh, which was a, a miracle that I got my clubs. So I was thankful to get my clubs. But when I took my clubs, when I opened up my travel case, my clubs were all out of my bag. So they were all – you know, my staff bag's here, and then my clubs are here, and I'm like, well, this isn't good. I'm like, this is there's no way these are going to be <laughs> adding up here. And so a couple of them were bent, and then uh, the, the staff guys were, you know, ping guys were there to help kind of, you know, get my clubs uh, back where they needed to be. The tightless guys were there, and then I had an Odyssey putter that needed to be adjusted. And so I got – all my clubs uh, fixed before the round started on Thursday, but my putter was the only one that I didn't. So I, I was putting pretty good in, at uh, Kentucky, obviously. And then I get to the British, and I'm just, I feel like I'm hitting these good putts, and there's just nothing going in. And I look at my dad. I'm like, I can't really feel the putter release. And he was like, why don't we get the putter checked? It was the only one we didn't get checked. And I got it checked, and it was two degrees off. And so my dad was like, oh, that's probably why you ain't making nothing. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, you probably How many strokes uh, do you think that cost you? Uh, I don't want to add it up. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, I, I went out the next day and made seven birdies. So, so yeah, I nice. think that answers your question right <laughs> there. Wow. Yeah. 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 Um, so, so is that on the airline? Do I? Yeah. I, I mean, it was – I mean – I don't know. I mean, I don't want to put anybody under, but yeah, I mean. We, we throw just, people under yeah, the bus. Yeah, all all the time yeah, just don't take my clubs out. Of <laughs> Leave them in there. It'd be all right. So. But that 24 hours was crazy right. getting from Lexington to. Because you had uh, to get a passport. Yeah, so I didn't, oh, I mean, I no. didn't know until later in the week that if you won, then you got into the British. So world. you didn't even know that that was part of it? Not not the beginning of the week. And, yeah. that, and not, not until later in the week did I know that. And I'm like, well, I don't have a passport. And <laughs> I laugh with my buddies. I was in such good form heading into that week. You know, I was really worried about winning the event uh, <laughs> because I'm like my third straight miscut. And so, uh, and so I was, you know, after we won, you know, everything's going crazy and I'm, they're like all right are you ready to go to jfk to go to uh, uh dublin and i'm like like i was like well unless y'all conveniently made a passport for me in the last hour then no because i gotta go to birmingham and get my passport and so they were kind enough to fly us to birmingham and then fly us to jfk wow uh, the next morning so yeah so yeah. i was gonna ask that so you didn't pack you had no idea i was gonna no, ask no, if you I, packed, I mean i, I would have had to go home anyway yeah. just to get clothes to prepare i mean Luckily, we had amazing weather, but I would have had to get close to even be ready to play over there in St. Andrews. Yeah, we asked you this before you went on, and I want you because it was Tiger. I, we don't know if it's his last time at St. Andrews, but there's a yeah. possibility it was. As we were on the show, he walked up 18, and the so ovation cool. was incredible. And you said you were just getting to the practice area. So you kind of, I mean, were you able to just kind of soak some of that in? Yeah. So I was, I was coming to the golf course when he was finishing. Uh, so I didn't get to see him on 18, but you just, you heard everything. Yeah. And I was watching it on TV when I was inside and man, what a cool moment. I mean, yeah. I mean, growing up, obviously Tiger for me was the man. And so getting to see him there at St. Andrews was so cool. So yeah, cool. I bet it was. Yeah, walking over that bridge. I mean, that's a special moment. Have yeah. you have you got had an opportunity to have an exchange uh, with Tiger? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I uh, I've played with him in a practice round. Uh, I mean, we're not best friends, uh, but I mean, I go up to him, say hello, and he says hello, and so he's 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 super nice to all the all the guys out there. Are, are there guys on tour you like playing with? Oh yeah, there's tons of guys out there that we enjoy playing with. It's like a small fraternity out there. I mean, like you have your your groups that you play with, but every all the guys out there are good dudes. Yeah. And and I, we we've talked about this before. You know, when Tiger was dominating, I mean, Tiger was that good. Yes. But now there are so many good players, and you know, just you don't because, think Trey knows that. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I know yeah, they're hard. Do. They're hard to beat every week. <laughs> but you you see a guy like Will Zalatoris, and you're like, this dude when he looks on, he looks like he's going to win four or five majors, but he yeah. can't win four or five majors because there's so many other good players out there. Yeah, I mean, it's just it goes to show you how good college golf is right now. I mean, is that all, what it is? All, the difference? All, all these guys are coming out of college ready to win, ready to compete. 
I mean, we have Gordon Sargent, who's a local guy. Yeah. You know, he just won NC, he just won NCAA's as a freshman. Mm-hmm. Like these kids are good. They're and they're they're prepared. You know, they're they they swing it hard. They hit it hard. They they make putts. They're good iron players, and so they're they're ready to compete when they get out on tour. Now, not everyone's like that, but you have your ten or so guys in college that are ready for that. And you know, I play with Will in Detroit this weekend, and. And he's a really good player. He just he hits it good. He puts it good. He chips it good. He does everything pretty good. So. How skinny is that guy in real life? Because on TV, you know, TV adds ten pounds. Yeah, that dude. He still looks like he weighs one hundred and sixty. Yeah, pounds. I looks real skinny on TV. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, he's, uh, I mean, he's, yeah, I mean, he's, he's, you know, he's pretty skinny. So you, you talk about these college Soaking golfers. Soaking wet, I probably outweigh him by thirty pounds. 40 pounds so. College golfers being so good. You know, so many kids. You know, growing up back in the day, everybody played everything. Yeah. And now everybody specializes in something, whether it's baseball year round or somebody's just playing yeah. football or basketball, AAU. And now it's, you know, for golfers, you know, when they, I mean, a lot of dads are putting clubs in kids' hands when they're four and five years old, much like Earl did for Tiger. I mean, is that one of the big differences is people just specialize in golf their entire life and don't play anything else? Yeah. I mean, these, a I lot mean, of was these that kids, you? Did you play anything else? I played I played all the sports growing okay. up, football, baseball, basketball. Um, I just loved being active. And so for me, I loved I loved doing that. And so like I never got burned out on golf. Uh, you know, I, I really focused on it in high school and, you know, I wasn't good enough to play all the other sports. I was pretty average at all the rest of them. But uh, golf was kind of the one I had a, a niche at. And so in high school, I really focused on that. And, you know, I feel like this might get taken out of, con- uh, out of context, but I feel like it's good to play all the sports. You know, I feel like it's good to play, you know, as many sports as you can growing up because you need to figure out which one you do love the most, which one you want to pursue, which one you want to do. And so for me, you know, I got to spend a lot of time with my dad uh when i was growing up on the golf course and so i really enjoyed that time with him and that's why i really focused on golf is because well man even if this doesn't work out i get to hang out with my dad so that was really cool How, how's your dad doing he's doing really good yeah. yeah he's doing great i mean it's been a tough year uh with him uh he's battled super hard he's a strong man and uh he's he's doing a lot better now Good. More with Trey Mullinex. He's going to hang with us another segment as we go to break. A reminder, Storm Restoration Roofing, our buddy Greg from Pell City, 542-3531. That's the cell number. You deal right with him. 542-3531 if you've had storm damage or if you just think you need a new roof, let Greg climb up there. Risk-free. He doesn't charge you a thing to take a look at it. Uh, if you don't remember anything else, just remember Greg from Pell City on Facebook. That's where you find him. Storm Restoration Roofing, our buddy Greg Nelson and Greg from Pell City. More the next round coming right up. Follow Rockstar on Twitter at RockstarBHM. This hour of the next round is brought to you by Culver's, now featuring the Big Wisconsin Cheese Pub Burger. Stop in the Highway 150 or the Highway 280 location and enjoy one today. That's Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. ERA King has the new Guaranteed Move program, which lets you compare instant offers with open market offers so you can choose how and when to sell your home. You can close with a quick cash offer, no showings, and no open houses, or you can explore multiple offers through a traditional listing. Available only through ERA King. Guaranteed Move puts you in control. Visit MoveWithKing.com or text MOVE to 35620. To learn more, that's MOVE, M-O-V-E, to 35620. Banking isn't just about your money, it's about you. It's about getting help with what you need when you need it. AmFirst was founded for members just like you, and they've been putting those members first since 1936. Putting you first means services that grow and change with the times to serve you better. Now, every bank has their own app, but that's just it. It's theirs, not yours. The AmFirst app was made for you, so it's easy to pay bills, deposit checks, or transfer money to friends and family from anywhere. You can even customize the app, which means you can personalize your dashboard, create usage alerts, and redeem points for rewards that will make you feel like the number one priority you are. And you can do it all on your own time. So what are you waiting for? Get the app made for you from AmFirst. Visit any AmFirst location or AmFirst.org today. That's AmFirst.org, America's first federal credit union federally insured by the NCUA. 
By now, you know I love the game of golf and getting on the golf course as much as I can. Ryan Brown here from the next round. Simply put, Ballantrae Golf Club in Pelham is one of the best public golf courses I have ever played. It's always in fantastic condition. The people out there are so friendly. They just treat you like family. They're happy you're there. And the pace of play, they keep it moving. Those are all things that are important to me. See them for yourself. 620-GOLF, 620-4653 to make a tee time at Ballantrae. Also improve your game with a professional staff of Hal Brown, Jerry Applegate, Jay Chambers, all great teachers for Ballantrae Golf Club just off I-65 in Pelham. There's nothing I like more than a unique, delicious meal. And that's what you get at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken right on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Those great full fried chicken plates, the tenders, the poor boys. But I love the southern staple chicken on a stick. It's perfect for a tailgate or watching the big game. And then the authentic Mississippi Delta recipe, homemade tamales, the best I've ever tasted. See the whole menu or order online at champyschicken.com. For blues, brews, and bird, it's Champy's Chicken, Highway 119, Alabaster. Double the fun and more ways to win at Victoryland Casino and Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Come play thousands of your favorite games featuring fun bonuses and big jackpots. The Trucks and Bucks giveaway is going on right now. We're giving away two Chevy Z71 trucks and $50,000. The more you visit, the more chances you have to win. Drawings May 13th and 14th. Come win at Victoryland Casino and Birmingham Racecourse Casino. Must be 21 or older. Must be present to win. Things fall apart. There's even a book about it. But that doesn't mean you have to break the bank to fix them. Ryan Brown here for the next round. Our friends at Mortgage Ride have a new renovation option that will make repairs and other home improvements easy. If you've recently purchased a home and find yourself short on cash or you're looking to buy a fixer-upper, Mortgage Ride's renovation loan program can help you spruce up your space. Repairs can be made to your roof, plumbing, flooring, and more with the help of top-notch mortgage professionals. So get your fix by visiting mortgageride.com TNR and MLS 2239 equal housing lender. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. You've heard me for years talk about our friends at Bromberg's Jewelers, and we welcome you to stop by and see that great customer service at the Mountain Brook and Summit locations. But we'd also love for you to check out their new online shop. They've got plenty to choose from, great gifts, big and small. Available online, they've got David Yurman, Tudor Watches, Select Diamond and Gemstone Jewelry, William Henry, seasonal and favorite giftware items and baby gifts as well. They've even got an online sell section. For more information, Bromberg's.com. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com. The latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. All right, we continue on the next round. PJ Tour golfer Trey Mullinax in studio with us. Um, Bob asked in the chat room any JT stories. Trey said, I might get JT in trouble. <laughs> yeah, now we want to hear. I'm, 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 I'm going to have to keep those myself. Teammates, oh. at, teammates at Alabama, that was a heck of a team, though. Yeah, we had a really good team. I mean, Justin Thomas obviously was on that team. Yep. And then Bobby Wyatt, who That's was right. a Walker Cup or All-American. Corey Shelton. Whitsett, Walker Cup yep. or All-American. Shelton. Yep. Shelton wasn't on the team with Justin, uh, yep. but he was – you know, Tom Lovelady, Scott Strohmeyer. I mean, we had we had so many good players on mm -hmm. that team. It was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we, yeah. Won, we, we won a lot, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, you did. A lot of accomplishments. Obviously, two national championships, the Barbasol, you know, playing in three majors. But where does your 56 at Musgrove and Jasper rank? <laughs> that's that's up there. Uh, how, do you, how do you have a 50? I mean, what is your best 18 ever? Uh, 67. Thank you for asking. No, 67 is <laughs> No, 67 is as good as I could have ever I done. Mean, I 56? Yeah, I, I don't know how you explain this. I would have lost by 11 at Musgrove. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who y'all heard that from, but that was a, that was a fun day. We, uh, you know, I had my man, a, My man Scott McGee. Okay, there, there we go. go. Uh, yeah, that was that was kind of one of those blackout days. You don't – I mean, you just you get on the green and it just – it looks like a bucket. I mean, it was You just, could probably drive five or six greens Yeah, there. I mean, yeah. we were – it, it was it, – I was feeling good. Game mm -hmm. was feeling pretty nice. I was uh, – with my my buddies and we were playing and i mean it like i said i mean i've probably hit it better there before i yeah. just i drove all the greens you're supposed to drive that's and I right drove them close made yep. eagles and then i eagled some par fives and then made birdies on the other holes yeah lance it was it was pretty it, it was it a day that, that, that there was cold beer out there y yes <laughs> yeah, yeah. so you went 56 <laughs> drinking cold beer well not I, many I, of them probably I, I, didn't, I didn't have a ton of them but we, we had a good time yeah um i would uh, 
Scott knows this too. This guy, if we got him on those sway bridges out there on the golf oh, cart, on yeah. the golf cart, it would kill him. <laughs> the sway, the, so you go over uh, like one tee shot. You know, it, it goes over like a waterfall yeah. and, uh, and the creek and everything, and then uh, you 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 go around and you get on these sway bridges. Yeah. And so you're driving a cart, the bridge is like suspension this. bridges, and the bridges is just doing it's doing. Is this it right just here. at this one course? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. just at Musgrove. Musgrove's yeah, a very unique course. Yeah, yeah. Musgrove. It, yeah, if you if you need to go have a good time, you need to go to. Musgrove. Yeah, it's a fun place. You, <laughs> you'd love it. You'd love once we got you over those bridges, you'd yeah, love every yeah. minute. Once of we it. got that's you right. on land again, <laughs> that's right. You would like the bridges. <laughs> I can promise you. I know you well. Uh, so. For those that don't know, winning a PGA Tour event, I mean, everybody pays attention to the check and all that, but the exemptions and the tournaments it gets you in, that's almost really as valuable as the check that shows up in the bank. Yeah, I mean, just having two years of knowing you have a job is crazy, is right? Nice. And yeah. also, so uh, you know, on tour, you got to play five years, 15 events to get vested. So you get retirement. Right. And so that got me to my retirement. Oh, so that was, that was awesome. That was really yeah. cool to have that. And so... Yeah, I mean, getting the players, the PGA next year, all those things, it's it's great and it's wonderful. And, you know, like I said, it kind of frees you up just mentally to just go out and play golf now. Yeah. Did it get did it did it get you in Augusta? It did not. It did not get you in Augusta. So no, you're sir. still working I, I on got, that. I gotta got play my way into that. You gotta one. play your way in that yeah, one. I'm, yeah. and that's the that's the goal. Play my that's way right, into because that you've one. never played in a Masters. Have you played Augusta National though? I have played Augusta okay, National, so. but I've never played uh, at the Masters. Okay. No, well, we're so gonna do I, that. I, I wanna I wanna get into that. You're we're gonna get Trey in the you're Masters. Yeah. Um it, it seems like every day there's a new live story. Oh yeah. And, yeah. And and you know, now Phil and Bryson DeChambeau and eleven other players have filed this this uh anti trust lawsuit against we're gonna dive them. right into this one no i just wanted to ask <laughs> hit, hit me where it hurts <laughs> no it just seems like it seems like you've got to pick a side it's almost like politics nowadays everything's yeah, so far left so far right and and that's kind of where live and pga is right now and yeah. you know i just ultimately i don't know where this thing ends up i mean it's it's gonna be around and i got asked that earlier this week uh you know competition's never never bad i would say um you know pga tours never had competition this is a, a little bit different uh, just because it kind of is starting up and a lot of big names are going. And so they got a lot of money for a startup. don't They, they? They, yeah, <laughs> they, they have a lot of money for a startup company. Uh, they're not they're not uh, they're not in debt. I would say that. Uh, and so it's just, you know, those guys are entitled to make their own decisions. I mean, if, if they want to go and they think that's best for them and their family, then you know, more power to them. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and say that someone can't go to better their family. That's that's their decision. Uh, and I mean, a lot of guys are probably going to go and, you know, they already have certain things going right now. But I think the PGA Tour is going to be better for it the next 10, 20 years. I mean, our, I think our sponsors are very happy with where we're at uh, in golf right now. I mean, and if you look at the next 10 years in golf, I mean, the money's just going to keep going up on the PGA Tour. I mean, the money's going up. You know, we're getting more no cut events and, and you know, we're changing stuff up in the fall to help the top tier guys. And so. You know, we're, we're moving in the right direction on tour. You know, and do I think the live stuff kind of helped move that along? Sure. But uh, it's stuff that was already in progress. It's just got the timeline got bumped up a little bit. Yeah, I saw the release of next year's schedule, and I think I counted just regular, not non-majors, regular tour events where the purse is 20 million plus. I think there were like six of them. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the money has gone yeah, up, money, which is great the, for you the guys. Mo the money has gone up, and, 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 and so I think the tour, the net, because all the kids that are growing up right now, they want to play on the PGA Tour. They not, not, I don't think many of them want to go to live. Yeah. And so uh, I think, you know, if we can take care of the younger generation guys, I think that's that's huge for us. Yeah. Of course, you've never played that's on your bucket list. Of course, I've never played that's on my bucket list. Not Musgrove. We know you've played Musgrove. I was about to say, I love Musgrove. Uh, uh, who doesn't? <laughs> uh, I would say, man, that's a great question. Oakmont? Oh, really? You never yeah. played Oakmont? Yeah. I've never played Oakmont. I know some yeah. guys, uh, that's a shout out to a few guys I know that are members. Hey, we need to go to Oakmont. That's yeah, do you, uh, <laughs> there's a guy, Shoal. I've met him. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, Oakmont, for those who don't know in Pittsburgh, so Wing, I've never played Wingfoot either. So like Wingfoot in New York? Yeah. 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 Okay. What's right. the uh, most difficult course you've ever played? Uh, Shinnecock in 2000, uh, I guess that was 18. Yeah, but you that. get it in U.S. Open. I mean, I'm sure it's not easy, but in U.S. Open conditions, it's impossible, isn't it? I mean, it? that golf course, I thought I was prepared to play that week, and right. I was not whatsoever. I yeah. mean, it was a golf course that, I mean, it was it was so hard. <laughs> I mean, I, I literally got done. I mean, I looked at – would get done and talk to my caddy and my dad and everything. I was like, I'm beat up right now. Like, I, I just got whooped. The golf course whooped me. <laughs> most most interesting celebrity you've ever played with, like in a pro-am? <sighs> most interesting celebrity. Or, or outside of a pro-am. Uh, 
I play. Uh, I've gotten the opportunity to play with Condoleezza Rice a good okay. bit, and she's awesome. I mean, she's so much fun to play with, and uh, just the stories that she has is, is pretty awesome. That's interesting. And she can play, right? Yeah, yeah, she's a good player. Yeah. So you were in Detroit this past weekend. What is uh, what's your schedule look like coming up? So off this week, obviously not playing at the Wyndham. Uh, yep. And then uh, play Memphis, and then hopefully. Uh, you know, go until they tell me to stop. Yeah, because what the next cutoff is seventy five, top seventy five, top the, seventy for BMW, top seventy for and BMW. Okay, for and where are you right now? Um, sixty, I, 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 somewhere in the sixties. Okay, somewhere yeah. in the sixties. So yeah. all right. Yeah. So uh, you know, hope, oh, the goal is to finish at East Lake. That's so, right. Uh, goal is to take care of Memphis, get prepared, get ready to play that golf tour, golf course, and try to win it and see where it goes. Yeah, FedEx Cup would be nice. FedEx Cup would be nice. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, uh, that'd go, the, go good to the retirement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. That that would uh, take some ease off, and would also get you at Augusta. We, yeah, exactly. Be, that, would, that, would, that would get me into Augusta. So top, uh, well, it's top fifty world golf ranking, right? Yes. It's what gets you in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a win in the regular season. That's not that's an right. Field event. Right. And being top fifty. Top fifty. All right. We're pulling for trade. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what we need. That's what we need. That's right. We're not going to hit it off for tickets or anything. Nah, really, so. <laughs> that's fine. Nah, we we, we, we <laughs> yeah. can make it, we can oh, make it there, work. There'll be plenty of people hitting you up for tickets. Um, well, hey, it's been great talking with you. We really appreciate I it. I appreciate y'all having me on. Yeah. Uh, as I said, I think people are stunned. Like I pointed out one time on Twitter when Sepp Straka was leading, I was like, yeah. this is a Birmingham guy. I mean, Birmingham it's crazy guy. how such many a people. Good player and such yeah, a good Sepp's, guy, too. Yeah, he's a good dude, but crazy how many PGA Tour golfers are right here in town. Yeah, I mean, we have so many. I mean, Robbie Shelton, yep. uh, myself, Sepp. Uh, Zach Sucker, Zach's Zach been on the show before. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got Michael Johnson, who's on the, yeah. on the corner. We have so many, we have so many guys that are around here. Eric Barnes just moved here, who's getting his card this year. Uh, he just moved to Birmingham this year. He's getting mm-hmm. his card from the Corn Ferry. I mean, there's so many good players out at the Greystone and Shoal Creek area. It's it's great. Yeah, yeah. you always have somebody to play with, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's always a game. Always, you know, some guys. Oh, well, I've heard stories and, about yeah. that daily. That daily game uh, yeah, gets I after. It. I've, uh, I've heard those stories. Hey, Zach in the chat tra- chat room wants to know if you miss playing with Patrick Reed. Oh, I mean, are we just kind of <laughs> unload? <laughs> I uh, I haven't had the opportunity to play with Patrick Reed a lot, but uh, uh, no comment. <laughs> yep. uh, Trip points out Mark Blackburn is a coach based in Birmingham. Coaches Max Homa. He also coaches Trey Molinax, yeah, yeah, and that's right where he's here. headed. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, Get that Mark, game better. Mark's a good dude. So. He is. He is. I, I mean, I think people would be stunned if they know the names that come into town just to work with him. It's, uh, it's crazy. Yeah, a lot of people would be blown away by yep. that. Yep. yep. 100%. Well, Trey, best of luck, man. We appreciate the time. Thank you all very much. Yeah. Good appreciate talk you all having yep. Thanks, Trey Molinax with us. We'll talk some college football. We didn't even ask you about Bama football. You got a quick prediction? I mean, win it all. <laughs> win it all. I mean, it was a rebuilding year. <laughs> according to Southern yeah. last year. I, I, don't, I don't know anybody better than us. So we'll see. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Trey, Trey falling right in line there. We'll talk about that when we return on the next round. Follow Scott Forrester on Twitter at Scott Forrester TV. Culver's could have only started in Wisconsin. Just ask our team member, Marcus. Let's just say you can't take America's dairy land out of Culver's. Like the real Wisconsin cheese on our juicy butter burgers. The farm fresh dairy in our fresh frozen custard. Even our crispy golden Wisconsin cheese curds. It may sound cheesy. (laughs) Cheesy. But we love where we come from at Culver's. Almost as much as we love sharing it with our guests. Welcome to Delicious. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website, mydrytech.com. That is mydrytech.com. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, Member FDIC. 
follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. The social media team at Next Round Live is dedicated to giving you daily news conferences and practice video from UAB, Alabama, Auburn, and around college football. Follow and compare to the sites you used to visit. You'll also get the latest highlights and news from the Next Round Daily Show. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. See more at nextroundlive.com. Follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. The social media team at Next Round Live is dedicated to giving you daily news conferences and practice video from UAB, Alabama, Auburn, and around college football. Follow and compare to the sites you used to visit. You'll also get the latest highlights and news from the Next Round Daily Show. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss a thing. Follow Next Round Live on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. See more at nextroundlive.com. Preseason football is getting started, and it's time to get a jump on the year with Lance'sLock.com. Take advantage today through August 11th to get $30 off your first month subscription at Lance'sLock.com with promo code PRESEASON. At Lance'sLock.com, you'll get every single lock every single day for only $90 a month. But you have to subscribe now. Go to Lance'sLock.com, select our monthly subscription, and enter the code PRESEASON. Get $30 off your first month. Win with me the preseason at Lance'sLock.com. The long hours of summer are great for golf at the Jerry Payton Design Timberline Golf Club. The course is in fantastic condition, and if you don't have time for a round of golf, come use Timberline's TrackMan driving range. You can practice, play games, and play virtual golf all on the practice tee. Come enjoy your day on one of Alabama's top 10 courses you can play. It's Timberline Golf Club. Timberline is easy to get to just off I-65 at exit 228. Book tee times online at TimberlineGC.com. Tee it up at Timberline. Stay up to date with the next round on the website, nextroundlive.com. The latest videos from the show, plus podcasts like The Mystery Fifth Hour, Bama and Bourbon, Last Call, and others from our Double Down Media podcast family. You can start your day with the latest college football stories, plus easy to listen to hour-by-hour downloads of the live show. Nextroundlive.com, a great way to stream the show live or shop in the Next Round store. Make nextroundlive.com your homepage. That's nextroundlive.com. You've been wearing that thin, raggedy t-shirt for years now, and people cannot stop whispering and staring in your vicinity. We've all been there. Luckily, there's a solution to your lack of fashion and social cues. At nextround.store, they have plenty of options when it comes to a variety of shirts and hats. Once you start putting that next round gear on, be prepared to make new lifelong friends and hundreds of unforgettable conversations. Hope you like random high fives in the street, because that's what you're getting after visiting nextround.store. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. Trey was reading the uh, chat room before he left. Tyler says, I gave Trey a roll tide after he teed off number two at St. Andrews Friday. He gave a roll tide back. <laughs> you can't get away from it, can you? You really can't. Yep. Jay says, that was a great interview. It was fun talking to Trey. Good dude. Easy guy to pull for, man. Easy guy to pull Yeah, for. I just told you he's my new favorite golfer. Oh, yeah? I don't know who my Georgia. favorite golfer was before, though. Um, VJ Singh is rock star. Yeah, rock star. I mean, this is an uncomfortable question. Uh, rock star is in there taking medicine. Are you still sick? I am. Okay. Well, thanks for working through it. I appreciate it. Yeah, that. man. Battling a martyr. Uh, we need to get Hydrolive up here. It's right yeah. there behind you. Get them to. Uh, yeah, give I'm working you a bag. on that. Oh, Rockstar, Hydrolive needs a, will be... Rockstar needs a bag. What I would um, love, I would love for Hydrolive to be here next Wednesday. <laughs> You're probably going to need them, aren't yeah. you? Um, well, other guests here next Wednesday. I need to tell you about the break. Remind me of that. Um, that might affect something. Hey, so uh, Rockstar, BJ Singh's your favorite golfer of all time. Will you go Trey Mullinax now? Uh, it's going to be hard to beat VJ, dude. He is the greatest of all time. Mm-hmm. Um, well, think ever, about it. I want you to go play Trey. together. Uh, Trey and VJ, we yeah. did not ask him. We asked him about Patrick he, Green, Tiger Woods. I'll, okay, I'll catch him in the parking lot. <laughs> yeah, go run down and see if he's playing with VJ. Uh, I didn't want to put him in an uncomfortable spot, but I was going to say if you play with Patrick, just lock your stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Are you watching closer than normal? <laughs> Uh, Lance, the Michelson look ahead to what's coming up on the show later on. Uh, yeah, by the way, I talked to Amy this morning via uh-huh. text, and we are about to get you scheduled. Okay, I'm, I am in. I've yeah. got no problem whatsoever. I misunderstood Dr. Jennifer Michelson, and I apologize for that. 
I'm going to go get those eyes fixed. I don't have to do that. Like in the chat room. Yeah, in my opinion, the best in the business. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson. Dr. Mark Michelson, the first to perform LASIK way back in 1995. He's a pioneer in the industry. Um, he's actually who did my LASIK, performed the LASIK for me 20 years ago. I've still got 2015 vision better than 2020. To find out if LASIK is right for you, it is a simple phone call. Call Michelson Laser Vision 969-8100. Ask for Amy. Tell her the next round sent you, and they will hook you up with a hassle-free consultation. You have nothing to lose to find out if LASIK is right for you. For more information, go online. Go to MichelsonLaserVision.com. Uh, something in college football. Oh, uh, on the uh, look ahead coming up, we will talk with Eric Ainge in about an hour from right now about Tennessee. There are 40 and 40 team presented by Baumhauer's. Uh, the ball's on the clock today. And Buster Olney is with us in the last hour talking Major League Baseball. Rockstars four downs coming up in just a bit. As well. Do you notice my man, uh, Shefta, down there has got the uh, crappy Dolphins logo helmet on his shelf? Yep. How about that? He's got a Michigan helmet and a Dolphins helmet. I wonder if Shefty And a is Browns a, helmet. Is Shefty, is that his Super Bowl pick, Browns versus Dolphins? I don't think so now that uh, the NFL has peel, uh, appealed Deshaun Watson's six-game suspension. I mean, according to most insiders, Deshaun Watson will not play this year. Yeah. Now, Goodell says he's not personally going to get involved in this. The NFL is handling it. I think it. that's smart on Goodell's part. I would agree completely. Yeah, I he, would stay as far away from this as I he could. He has rehabbed his image a he little has, bit. He has. COVID, I mean, he yeah. was one of – not that anybody won anything out of COVID – but he was the NFL, the professional version of Greg Sankey, who said, we're going to stick this thing through. Yep. We're going to play all we can play. They did not miss a single game. You're right. He's rehabbed his image. I'd stay as far away from this as I could. You know, and those are the reports. If you're a Cleveland fan, I know Browns fans were really excited about the signing of Deshaun Watson, but he can't play this entire year. You wonder, being two years completely out of live action for a quarterback, Deshaun's age, what's that going to do to him? Yeah. As JM Dog points out, Browns Dolphins is an impossible Super Bowl matchup. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was his AFC championship. My apologies. Yeah. My apologies. We're just running through that on the fly. My apologies. You're right, though. If, if I am looking at, listen, you could do a lot worse at backup than Jacoby, Jacoby Brissett. Brissett. Now, now, he, hey, there's even word there. They might be looking at Garoppolo now, though. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. Well, how are they going to pay for all these guys? Well, I mean, I you're, paying no to, you're not paying Deshaun much, but no. Garoppolo knows he's not going to get a long-term deal there. And, and again, it's almost like the Browns knew that there was a good chance Deshaun or Deshaun's representatives knew there was a good chance he wasn't going to play in 2022 because his salary was only a million dollars up that 240. Right. And that was going to lessen what he had to pay, yeah. you know, for the, for the games missed. So it was something that, um, something that, that they looked like they had planned for, but Roger Goodell not going to get involved. Uh, those are the reports, but the NFL has appealed that six-game suspension. They were getting a ton of pressure to do so, so I don't think this is a huge, um, a huge surprise. I mentioned yesterday that uh, our buddy Ivan Mazel on three has ten things to ponder in 2022. We're just randomly hitting these, and this is a storyline that I'm starting to see bubble up. The old trusty Phil Still, if you will, Lance. The LSU schedule, okay? The LSU schedule. Here's what Ivan writes about Brian Kelly at LSU. There's so many new faces on the roster. Handicapping the Tigers is really difficult. This is Kelly's fifth coaching gig. And here is the storyline that is following Brian Kelly. His early success in all of those. Grand Valley State, his first year, took him to the Division II playoffs. Central Michigan, he had at least improved them. He took over a three-win team. They won four games. Cincinnati, 10 wins. Notre Dame, 6-6. Six and six. Charlie Weiss's last season. Eight and five the first season. Um, Brian Kelly has early success at places. So when you look at that LSU schedule, it is not the worst schedule for him to have a little early success. I mean, I mean, when I if, say early, if, I'm talking about early season. No, I'm thinking if everything breaks right, you could start eight and zero. Oh. Yeah, I mean, what, imagine what the storyline there. Who do they get in that ninth game? Uh, they get Alabama. Yeah, after wouldn't, that be, wouldn't that be a heck of a storyline yeah, if those yep. two, if those two are undefeated? Don't see them beating Alabama this year. Of course, nobody saw it last year, and it came down to a final possession. Yeah, absolutely, did. But, much, know, probably a much worse team than what you'll have this year. Brian Kelly taking over that six and six from Charlie Weiss at Notre Dame and taking them to eight wins. I think if I'm an LSU fan, if I go eight and four this year with Brian Kelly, yeah, I'm happy. For those that don't know the schedule, they play the neutral site Sunday night game against Florida State. You say you would favor them to win that one. Yeah, I think they'll be a seven and a half point yep. favorite in that game. They host Southern, so that should be, you know, that would be a two and oh in this scenario. Mississippi State, which will be a tricky game for them, but it's in Baton Rouge at least. Yeah, look, and it's a game night game in Baton Rouge. A game that a six and seven team actually won on the road last year in Starkville. Yeah. So they're going to be favoring that yep. game. I think it'll be a good game. It's coin flip, though. New Mexico at home. That's a, that's a, that's a layup. At Auburn is, a, I think, a, 
it, it's a, a key game, obviously, for both teams. But I think it almost almost determines which way your season goes for both those teams October 1st. Probably so. Um, Auburn's going to be favored in that game. Yeah. Again, that kind of is like the Mississippi State game to me. It's kind of a, a coin flip. That Auburn-LSU game is almost impossible to handicap every year. That's a wild game. But this is where it starts to get tough for them. I mean, I, I, I can see a 4-0 start for Brian Kelly. But you've got at Auburn, you're hosting our preview g- game today, Tennessee. That's a fascinating game. You're at Florida, that's a tough game, and you host Ole Miss. I mean, that four-game stretch right there, you're probably, if you're an LSU fan and you're being honest, you would take two and two in that stretch. Yeah, but I'll tell you, I think the, the four-game stretch to end the season it's, it's after the It's much more difficult, no doubt. Yeah, it's much more difficult. Much more difficult. But if I can go two and two in that four-game stretch right there, and I'm six and two headed to the bye week, I feel like I've gotten a pretty good yeah. start. No, look, I can see an eight and four season for LSU. I can also see a five and seven. Yeah, because for those that don't know, after the bye, it might be the most difficult finish in all of college football. I haven't done a comparative study here. But you're going to have to look long and hard to find a more difficult finish for me than this one. You host Alabama, you're at Arkansas, you host UAB, you're at A&M. Yeah, and a lot of people that are casual college football fans probably look at this and they're like, oh, that UAB game, let's circle that, that's a win. It's not a win. No, it's not a win. No, not at all. I mean, especially where it falls in the schedule. Yeah, that UAB team will be better than the Troy team that beat them. What year was that? Uh, Oh, phew. Nine or t- no, two thousand seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. Yep. God, I was going back to like twelve or thirteen. Yeah, it was two thousand seventeen. Um, so UAB is the quote unquote easiest game in that stretch. So that's a tough finish for them. So I, that's going to be a storyline, though. You see, but I mean, Brian Kelly to improve them. What was their record last year? Six and seven. Yeah, I mean, all he's got to do is win seven games to improve them and keep that storyline alive. But you're going to see a lot more of that because that is the. Brian Kelly is the guy that can find early success. You'll see a lot of that. I, I don't know if that's a reasonable expectation for him this year. I think they go 7-5. and five. I think he's that good of a coach, and I think there's still a lot of talent on that yeah. team. It's at least a step in the right direction if they yeah. go 7-5. and five. One more. He says keep an eye on this coach and this team this year, and they're flying a little bit under the radar, Chip Kelly and UCLA. Uh, more on that as Lance pulls up UCLA here. I'm going to tell you. Uh, about our friends at the University of Montevallo. Uh, it is a great value, first of all. They haven't gone up on their tuition recently, so you still get a great education at a great value at the University of Montevallo. It is a beautiful campus, one of the most beautiful in the South, according to Southern Living. And uh, you can see more at montevallo.edu. Schedule that immersive 3D tour or just uh, in-person tour, montevallo.edu. That is montevallo.edu. Um, keep an eye on Chip Kelly and UCLA. Four seasons at Oregon, Chip Kelly, 46-7, and seven, three Rose Bowls, and a last-second BCS championship game loss to Auburn. That's what Ivan points out. Since he left Eugene a decade ago, he blew through two NFL coaching jobs, 18-25 and 25 at UCLA. But last season's 8-5, and five, Dorian Thompson-Robinson coming back. It's got hope rising in Westwood, as he says. UCLA, Pac-12 contender or no for you? They could be a surprise thing that bothers me is how many people they lost last year. Right. They do get DTR back, but. Yeah, but you lost 14 starters from that team. That's a lot. That's a lot. When you're not recruiting at the level. I mean, Georgia did the same thing. But Alabama and Georgia, you're recruiting at a level where you can sustain that a little bit. You know, it was an improved team, and they won their last three games. They completely dominated Colorado on the road in the Coliseum against USC and Cal. So they've got momentum coming into this season. Yeah, Dorian Thompson Robinson is going to be one of the better quarterbacks in college football. Zach Charbonnet is a really good back. I just don't know about the defense. You've got to replace nine starters from a really improved unit last year. I think they start 3-0. and Well, if they're not 5-0, and they can forget one in the Pac-12. Yeah, I because, agree with because that. Because they, they, they do Bowling Green, Alabama State, South Alabama, a terrible out-of-conference schedule by them. Then they're at Colorado and host Washington before they play Utah at home. Utah's the team they're going to have to beat. Yeah, they'll be favored in their first five games. Yeah, I mean, if they're not 5-0, and you can forget the Pac-12 because their next two are Utah and out Oregon. And even if you get a split there, you've still yeah. got a, a great shot at doing something. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think they could be a surprise. It just depends on, you know, how, how that defense plays. Yeah, so that's one of Ivan's storylines, Utah contender or not. You say maybe. Maybe. Maybe a contender. I think they are the dark horse in the Pac-12. Yeah. All right, so uh, a little there from Ivan. You can go read that on 3.com, uh, on 3 Sports. We'll get to your calls coming up a little bit later on, 
zero nine two three. Rockstar, would you be all right doing your four downs right now? You've got those locked and loaded, don't you? Sure, yeah. I'm well, not giving you any warning whatsoever. I don't think I'm ready on it. You're not ready on no. it. You can't do them on the fly. Let's I mean, I can, I can try. I didn't think they were that deep. I mean, you call it, Lance. Do you want to hold on? Do you want to do? Here's your choices, Lance. You get to pick. Uh, what was the name of that book we used to read when we were in school? Southern Gents. Do you know, choose your adventure or whatever. Choose your own adventure. Choose your own adventure. You want to do our 40 and 40 right now, or you want to do four downs? Let's do 40 and 40. All right. Hey, guys, it is time for 40 <laughs> and 40 every uh, season. We do 40 teams and 40 shows. It's presented by our friends at Baumhauer. Yeah, hey, and Bob Baumhauer had a conversation with him yesterday so celebrating 40 years right here in the state of Alabama, the first to bring the delicious taste of wings to Tuscaloosa way back in 1981. Wings and things, and right now they're celebrating with that Inflation Sucks menu. Go easy on your wallet. Try the limited-time Inflation Sucks menu, the featured item of the week, char-grilled Jamaican jerk chicken. It's jerk season grilled chicken topped with homemade mango salsa served with the fresh hand cut broccoli black beans and white rice with their cilantro lime sour cream it's only $9.99 get it for lunch or dinner that's it bomb Howers. I was very critical of the hire of Josh Heupel Tennessee is in our 40 and 40 team number 16 here's where I'll give Heupel credit don't know Lance if he's going to make it or not as the head coach of Tennessee but I will say his turnaround of the Tennessee offense last year from where Jeremy Pruitt staff left it to where they ended up last year was a remarkable turnaround yeah it really was and, and again it was a, a, a much better product to watch I mean Jeremy Pruitt's offenses were terrible boring yeah I mean you go back to 2020 they averaged 21.5 points per game that popped up to 38.3 I mean you added 70 don't let that wash over 17 points a game 17 points a game. That is hard to do. Yeah, and I think this offense is going to be even better. You brought this up uh, this week. I think the best quarterback to receiver combination, at least going into the season, you can make the argument it's Hendon Hooker and Cedric Tillman. So Josh Heupel's got skill. He calls a hell of a game. Um, I think they're going to score in the 40s this year. I think Tennessee wins nine games. I think they're nine and three. They've got some really difficult games on the schedule. The, the swing game early for me, I think they beat Florida. The swing game early is at Pitt. I know you guys aren't buying that. I think Pittsburgh is going to be really good again. A lot of this is dependent upon how good Keaton Slovis is. Right. But if you get by Pitt, I think they win nine games. Yeah, I um, I don't think the Pitt game is as tough as you think it is. Now, you're going on the road. I don't know how much that matters. I don't view that as a particularly, a particularly difficult place to play. I don't know about you, Heinz Field yeah, or whatever it is now. It, yeah. I'll always call it Heinz Field, whatever it is now. They should have won that game last year. In fact, I mean, I think Josh Heupel would tell you he went with the wrong quarterback. He went Joe Milton. They go to Hendon Hooker in that game. Hooker ends up being their quarterback the rest of the season. I think they should have won that game last year. So I don't worry about that game as much as you do. Brett says 8-4 and four losses to Alabama, Georgia, Kentucky, South Carolina. They've owned Kentucky of late. Um, South Carolina, boy, that'd be a bad loss for them. I can see this team 10-2, and two, only losing to Georgia and Bama. I really can't. But games at Pitt, I know you, it's not a hostile environment. It's not, but Still it's a road, road game. It's a road game. At LSU. Tough place to play, no doubt. Alabama at home. Yep. Kentucky at home. Yep. At Georgia. At South Carolina. Those yeah. are some tough games. And weirdly, I think Kentucky will be a better team than South Carolina. I worry more about them at South Carolina than I do hosting Kentucky. I kind of do, too. Yeah, I think, I think that would be more of a worrisome game to me. Yeah. I go nine and three though. Nine yeah. and three. I think I'm going to go ten and two. Okay. And this is contradictory to what I've said, and I've tried to own it as much as I can that I could be wrong about Josh Heupel. Well, ten and two. This would put them in a New Year's six, and they're yeah. probably a top ten finish, which yeah. Tennessee fans would be ecstatic. So I think you're a little bit low where you've ranked Tennessee, but that's our team for forty and forty today, presented by Baumhauer. Yeah, and again, Baumhauer's Victory Girl, Bob Bob Baumhauer celebrating forty years right here in the state of Alabama. Make sure you stop by, go easy on your wallet, try their limited time inflation socks menu. The featured item of the week is the char grilled Jamaican jerk chicken you're gonna love it it's only 9.99 for lunch or dinner get into bomb howard's victory grill do you remember dunaway does a superb job of keeping up with these steak bets he could tell me this right now do you remember the steak bet that involves 10 uh, 10 win tennessee season yeah i do who is it is it uh got, jessica bill and jt uh, justin bill J, uh justin timberlake to get divorced before tennessee wins 10 games i think so I could this could be settle trouble. it this year yeah i mean this could settle it because i was going to look back do you know their last 10 win season off the top of your head i mean it's been a minute I was going to look back and see if I, I I've got it right here. I mean, Do you know? I, I would assume it's 2007. It's 2007 under Phil yeah. Fulmer. Yeah. So their last 10 win season was Nick Saban's first season at Alabama to put that in perspective. Yeah. That's I said mean, last I, 10 win season. I remember vividly that entire day and night of going to that SEC that, championship, Tennessee LSU. 
Really? Yeah. You, you didn't stay for the whole game. Why do you remember I it so did, vividly? I did not think? stay for the whole game. I just, you know, we, we, we had a bunch of friends over there yep. where we had lunch, you know, going out afterwards. I mean, but think about that, Lance. A 10-win season for, you know, a, a top-half program in any conference isn't really that high of a bar. No. I mean, it's really not. It's not that high of a bar. And Tennessee hasn't done it since 07. It's hard to believe. It is very difficult to believe. I mean, and to, to put in perspective, Kentucky and Mark Stoops have done it twice in the last four years. Yeah. And to be honest with you, you know, Butch Jones had two nine-win seasons. Outside of that, they haven't been particularly close to getting 10 wins. Listen to their win totals. Five, seven, six, five, 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 seven. Two nine-win seasons. Four, five, eight, three, seven. It's not like they're barely missing 10-win seasons. They're not particularly close no. of late. No, and, and I finally think they've got talent. I think they've got a good coach. They've got a really good quarterback. So, you know, all that together, things break the right way. We see a ton of one-possession games in the SEC. You know, I, I could see that it would not shock me if they get to 10 wins. Yeah. Well, I think they will. I think they're going to be 10 and 2, and I'm going to have to eat a lot of crow and Josh Heupel. I think they lose to Alabama and Georgia, and they are 10 and 2. Uh, Chris Stewart, our buddy C. Stewart, gutter cap reminds you don't get up on that roof anymore. No, it's dirty. It's dangerous. You slip, you fall, you snap the neck and die. You're no good to the wife or kids. Gutter cap is a patented aluminum cover system. It fits over most existing gutters, keeping that debris out. Eliminate the gutter cleaning forever. It's back with a lifetime warranty. Almost a 20-year service record right here in Birmingham. 45% off the retail price. GutterCapBirmingham.com. Call Chris Stewart today, 205-823-2212. We asked you a Cowan Equipment poll question earlier um, today. We asked you who has seen more bad games in their career, Beth Moens or Dave Neal. Uh, We found out Beth Moens actually doesn't have a terrible first game. I mean, that's a, what was it, um, Boise State, uh, yeah. Boise State, Oak State, is that right? Yep. It's not a bad first game at all. Um, so you can vote on that right now. For whatever reason, our, in Lunsford, maybe there was a change. Like on my phone, our next round Twitter, I can't get to the poll questions anymore. I don't know why. Mm, Taylor blocked you. No, I don't know, but I can't get it. I don't know what's, what the crap's going on here. On my, it's only on my phone, Lunsford. Maybe I've, it, the Twitter blue thing has messed me up on my phone. I know, I know. Lunsford showing me his phone like, I could do it. Well, I'm sure you can, Lunsford, but I can't for some reason. Uh, all right, here we go. So here's the poll question. Beth Mowen's 56%, Dave Neal 44%. Uh, guys, Dave Neal is the easy answer here. Do you know how many crap JP games? And now JP's dead. He's on the SEC Network. He doesn't get the best SEC Network game. That's Tom Hart and those guys. He gets like the second or third SEC Network game. This Dave Neal is the correct answer here. I think you guys are just saying Beth Mullins because it's Beth Mullins. Yeah, and because Rock, it's Beth Mullins. And Rockstar has affected you on this. Well, and it makes well sense. she should be going to quarterback and having a good time. See, that's why people say Beth Mullins. I think people say Beth Mullins for sure because most people turn the volume off and it makes the broadcast worse. Or it might make it better depending on how you look at yeah, it. Yeah, you don't know. Uh, so Dave Neal is the actual answer, but you can go vote right now at Next Round Live. When we return... The most depressing losses in college football history. Oh, wow. Recent history is more like it, probably. If I told you Alabama is involved in four out of the ten, would that surprise you? It's going to be a little – there's some recency bias in okay, this. Okay, so, yeah, I, I know of – There's four out of ten Alabama's in, and I'm not saying they lost all of them. I'm just yeah. saying there's four out of ten. I know two for sure, maybe three that have been within the last ten years. Most years. depressing losses. A little bit of re- recency bias in this. We'll discuss that after Rockstar's viewing menu next. Bama and Bourbon. The Mystery Fifth Hour. Jimmy Buckets. Available in the podcast section at nextroundlive.com. Let's face it, a home is one of the most powerful assets you can have. And our friends at Mortgage Right want to help you build wealth through home ownership. Mortgage Right is all about providing competitive rates, a variety of loan products, and a multitude of resources for a seamless home buying experience. They treat their borrowers like family and are always looking to bring more happy homeowners under their roof. See more by visiting mortgageright.com slash TNR today and start living. That's mortgageright.com slash TNR. NMLS 2239 equal housing lender. The next round is proud to partner with Vulcan Tire and Auto, and we're excited to announce their first-class team and facilities are growing. If you are an experienced general maintenance technician looking for a new opportunity with a great growing company, go by Vulcan Tire. They want to talk to you. Not experienced but interested in working on cars? Again, go by Vulcan Tire. They have a spot for anyone that has a can-do attitude 
attitude, wants to work, and enjoys helping people. Four locations and more to come. Vulcan Tire and Automotive, Moody, Trustful, Hoover, and Gardendale, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. Banking is not just about your money. It's about you. It's about getting help with what you need when you need it. Brian Brown here for the next round. AmFirst was founded for members like you, and they've been putting those members first since 1936. Putting you first means service that grows and changes with the times to serve you better. Now every bank has their own app, but that's just it. It's theirs, not yours. The AmFirst app was made for you. So it's easy to pay bills, deposit checks, or transfer money to friends and family from anywhere. It's even customizable, which means you can personalize your dashboard, create usage alerts, and redeem points for rewards that will make you feel like the number one priority you are. And you can do it all on your own time. So what are you waiting for? Get the app made for you from AmFirst. Visit any AmFirst location or AmFirst.org today. America's First Federal Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. Hi, this is Wes McClooney, owner of the New Balance Birmingham store. Did you know that many professional athletes have their shoes custom fitted to their feet? At New Balance Birmingham, we think everyone should have perfect fitting shoes. So our in-store fit specialists take precise measurements to determine your foot size, shape, and gait before matching you with the perfect New Balance shoe. Come see us at the New Balance Birmingham store, located on Highway 280 next to Chick-fil-A. New Balance Birmingham, experience the difference a custom fit makes today. Summer is here, and with that comes some great occasions that may require flowers or a great gift. For that, the answer is Blakely's Bouquets. Blakely's provides speedy, same-day delivery. Check them out online at blakelysbouquets.com, or you can order over the phone at 205-579-4900. Blakely's is right there in Homewood, just off Oxmoor Road. Friendly folks in the most unique and custom designs. See it all online at blakelysbouquets.com. Hey, if you're looking for Birmingham's best pizza, you need to stop in and see our friends at Slice Pizza and Brew. It's as local as you can get from the ingredients that go into every pizza to the beer on tap for a great lunch or dinner. Go see our friends today, Vestavia or Lakeview at Slice. Your 24-hour home for the show is our website, nextroundlive.com. Easy links to the day's top stories in the morning rounds, plus the latest videos from the show, podcasts like Bama and Bourbon, The Mystery Fifth Hour, Last Call, and other shows from our Double Down Media podcast family. Nextroundlive.com, a great way to stream the show live or find easy-to-listen-to hour-by-hour downloads from the Next Round Live show and get the latest gear in the Next Round store. Make nextroundlive.com your homepage. That's nextroundlive.com. Anheuser-Busch wants every experience for you around beer to be a good one. And getting home safely is always a priority. So encourage friends to decide to ride, whether it's by being the designated driver, calling an Uber, or taking public transit. You cannot drive drunk if you don't drive there. This message is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch. Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Uber, Birmingham Budweiser, and the next round, Anheuser-Busch. St. Louis, Missouri. We continue on the next round. Lunsford from the back row says, I'm just going to go ahead and assume the kick six and the prayer of Jordan Hare are high up there. Ohio State, Miami pass interference. Hang tight. Don't jump the script here. Uh, Jay says, also the Michigan, Michigan State block punt game. Don't jump the script here. Goose says, well, that's about something else. They're having a little side conversation. All of a sudden, I'm just reading the teleprompter, Rockstar. Um, Censor yourself, man. Carrie, I did. I censored myself very quick. Uh, Carrie says, maybe uh, FSU over Nebraska in the Orange Bowl. We'll, we'll, we'll get to all those. Don't you worry about it. Um, it is very much of a recent list from uh, 24-7, and we're not going to hit them all, but there, there's a heavy Alabama flavor in this. Rockstar each day tells us what we can watch. There's football tonight, Rockstar. Is it on your list? Is it on there? It is not on my Rockstar, list. Rockstar, it's 7 o'clock NBC, the Hall of Fame game. All right. You're going to want to watch that. All right. Three uh, points. I'm, I'm going to give Rockstar a chance to add that to his list. New Life Art brings you the viewing menu. Yeah, and right now the Crimson and White 2023 Fine Art Calendar is out. The new 2023 calendar features Daniel A. Moore images from Alabama National Championship. Each calendar includes a free removable 8x10 lithographic bonus print of Moore's newest work, The Legacy Begins. 
This watercolor painting pays homage to the first Alabama National Championship played against the Washington Huskies way back at the story of Rose Bowl in 1926. Uh, calendars are available with that bonus print, $50 value, limited to 500 So you need to get on board, DanielMoreArt.com, for more information. Okay, so Paramount Plus, this is the premieres tonight is the third reboot third or fourth reboot of this but beavis and butthead the series is back on oh my paramount gosh, plus they're keeping that up huh? as mike judge has returned and everything they had a little movie that came out on paramount plus a couple months ago beavis and butthead do the universe or something like that they go to space uh that premieres tonight 8 p.m on mgm something i've never seen the man in the iron mask with uh, oh i've seen that dicaprio and that's a good movie i, I like John it. yeah you, you, you know what's funny about you is you see some random movies yeah i mean <laughs> That's that right. It's got Leonardo DiCaprio, John Malkovich, Jeremy uh, Irons. Jeremy Irons. I mean, it's got a good cast in it. It's still a random movie. Well, Gerard well, Depardieu. Gerard Depardieu is in it. Gabriel Byrne. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's a good flick. It's um, a little bit of a twist in it there. I like it. I liked it. I'd give it, I'd, I'd, I'd give it time if I were you. And at 9 p.m. on ABC, there's a new episode of The Con. I remember this vaguely. But tonight's episode is The Hollywood Mogul Con. In 2018, Zach Horowitz, a 28 28- year old actor working under the stage name Zach Avery unleashed a Ponzi scheme on the film industry. He raised more than $690 million from five principal investors. He borrowed money for six months to a year, promising a return of up to 40% on their investment, telling investors the production intended to use their money to secure the distribution rights to various films on HBO and Netflix. The con was up when the FBI agents arrested Horowitz Horowitz at his $5.7 million home in Beverly Wood. Mm. $690 Six hundred and ninety million dollars. Well, if you're gonna if you're gonna do that, you know, sooner or later you're gonna get caught. Don't you move somewhere else out of country? You got to go abroad. I, I would I would imagine running a Ponzi scheme has to be among the most exhausting things yep. in the world. Oh yeah, I don't yeah. know how people do it. I mean, you're conning nonstop. You're conning nonstop. You're you're risking not only you know legal issues and, and imprisonment, but also being killed. Yeah, somebody just putting a bullet in yeah. you. But Rockstar, I mean, it's just got to be exhausting knowing. Because More than you have a billion dollars. Because the whole, the whole premise of the Ponzi scheme is I'm never going to make enough money to pay this off. I'm constantly yeah. going to have to be conning a next guy. There's no payoff here. I mean, there's no product. I'm not. I'm not going to pay it off. I, you know, sadly, I've come across multiple guys that have done that in the past. You Whoa, you know of, people that have actually run a Ponzi well, scheme. Well, I don't know if it's necessarily a Ponzi. It, it would be on a smaller scale. I'm just talking about scam artists. Yeah, but I think in their mind they think it's. Like uh, Elizabeth Holmes, the girl from The Dropout. In her mind, this is going to happen. I'm going to lie to you now, but it's coming. Yeah, no, I think it's there's coming. some of that. I think there, but there are straight yeah, up cons uh, too. Right, but I think some of them are probably like, okay, one day I'll have a legitimate business that I can pay all this back, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to get it now and I'll keep it going now. One day I'll figure it out one day. I'll find a way to make half a billion dollars to pay all the this people back. People go to Shark Tank and stuff like that. Look, yeah. we have to put everything we have into this. This invention is going to make us billions of dollars. We just got to talk it up. We got to get somebody to invest in it. And that's, that takes everything. Yeah, but there, there are professional grifters. 100%. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've come across a couple. Because I've listened to, um, I've listened to, there's a good podcast series called American Scandal. And it's, it's strange that I like it because, and this is going to sound weird, the host, if I'm not mistaken, it's only the host does the voices for all the people like they reenact conversations and he does the voices like they don't have actual voices and you would think that sounds terrible but you get used to it and you're um uh, oh my gosh look at that breaking news that actually happened Brittany Griner has gotten nine years in prison in Russia oh my for smuggling drug, I mean, they're calling it drug smuggling can you imagine nine years it's really really sad it is sad in a Russian prison yeah um, Holy crap. Boy, man, I, I hate it for her. I do too. That's awful. You know, we brought this up with our friend Clay Travis about three or four weeks ago when this, you know, the, the story had started to come together. And he said, you know, it's one of the, the things he worries about traveling abroad. I mean, if you step outside, you really, your rights are, 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 are gone. Yeah. I mean, it's just, a, it's a different world out there. And I know there's going to be a lot of people saying, well, she shouldn't have had these vape cartridges. Well, I mean, you know, maybe she shouldn't have. But yeah. is it nine years in prison? Yeah. In a Russian gulag? I mean, in in the States, you've got freaking pedophiles that get out before nine years. Yeah. No, it's... Oof. Well, I mean, people people that, that that commit island-like crimes yeah. are out before nine years. Yeah. Maybe she won't serve the full nine. I don't know, but... 
I mean, as Jay says, nine years in a Russian prison has to be the most terrifying thing ever. The and money comparison thing is so interesting to me. They, she was also fined one million rubles. How many? How much money do you think that is? Yeah, have you dollars? looked? Yeah, I'd say it's ten grand. Yes. The, the ruble hit rock bottom. Yeah, I would say yet. I'd say uh, twenty five grand. It's sixteen hundred dollars. Sixteen hundred? Not sixteen hundred. Sixteen thousand three hundred dollars. Sixteen thousand. Okay. Sixteen thousand three hundred dollars. Yeah. Wouldn't you think that she could get them paid off somehow? Everybody's got a corrupt government. Yeah, but I don't know what kind of money she's got. I mean, she's in the WNBA. What well, she makes sixty grand a year? Yeah, but I'm sure you do a GoFundMe. Oh yeah, GoFundMe would do very well. I'd, for her. I'd even pitch in for her. A uh, GoFundMe yeah. would do very well for her. I just, uh, yeah, Broke Down Palace scared me to death when Josh I was Josh says here. that in the chat room. What is yeah. that, a movie about a Russian? No, so it's Claire Danes and Kate Beckinsale, and they actually. Does Claire play crazy in that one? Uh, you know, I haven't really seen the entire movie. My ex absolutely loved it and saw it three or four times. Uh, Leighton loves it. So one of the two, it's either Claire Danes or Beckinsale or both. They meet some dude, some hot guy traveling abroad, and he gets them to smuggle in some of his drugs. I forgot yeah. exactly what it was. And uh, they get caught. They go to prison, and uh, one of them basically gets prison for life, I think. Yeah. Um, Trip says, lesson from Brittany Griner's situation. When in a foreign country, do not break the law. They have different laws and cultural norms than us in regards to recreational drugs. I mean, he's right. You have got to be super careful abroad. It's a different. I, I mean, get it, man, but drugs yeah, are I know. huge in Russia. I know they are, but it is just, I'm not saying that she should get nine years in prison, but I am saying when you're outside the United States, it's just a different world. We just got a different legal system here, man. You just, that's one, you said it yourself before the show. You love to travel abroad, but it would worry you just what you could accidentally stumble into. Yeah, it, it really would. And especially with a situation like this, it, the, the timing is bad for Brittany Griner too. Yeah. You know, if this is a year ago, two years ago, I think there's a good chance they're able to work something out. With our well, government? there have been discussions about a prisoner trade, and somebody mentioned that in the chat. Do you think the sentence was stronger knowing that they might could get a prisoner traded for her? And maybe so. I don't know. Um, the pri I mean, a prisoner trade just seems like something you would see in a Hollywood movie, but there has been some discussion about that. You know, it's going to be tough for Brittany Griner to escape too, right? Yeah. No, <laughs> You, you, you escape. You wouldn't know where to go, right? <laughs> she's got some. She's she got, blend in at all. She's got some athletic ability. <laughs> yeah. Um, and she will be hell in their basketball yard, won't she? <laughs> no, I can't believe it. How quick did we turn to jokes about this? I mean, it was an awful story 90 seconds ago. I just said I would pitch in on the GoFundMe. I know you did. I mean, I think this sucks. I think it's complete bullshit, to be honest with you. I well, know there's it is. She's a are... There's no doubt she's a political prisoner. I mean, I'm not saying what she did wasn't against Russian law. I'm not even arguing that, Lance. But you've got to think this sentence is stronger than it would normally be because oh, of the is. current state of U.S. Russia yeah, relations. Again, I think she's a political prisoner. Probably time served, she would already be out. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, imagine for you know her wife and her family and you know all of these people that now you get this this gut punch. You think that she's going to be out? I mean, I actually thought it was kind of a joke a couple of months ago. I was like, I can't believe they're holding her on this. Uh, Lunsford, spoiler alert, tells me they escaped a uh, Russian prison in Stranger Things. Oh yeah, they did. <laughs> so and they had demogorgons everywhere. How, yeah. how hard could it really be? Uh, as he said, it has to be easy with humans, right? Man, I mean, it's it. Listen, it's tough, tough spot for her. I hate it for her, but woof, nine years in a prison. Carrie said Russia. she put herself in the situation, bitching about the United States being unfair. I don't remember that. I don't, I don't think what well, she did, but I don't think okay. that put her in this situation. I don't think Russians are putting her in jail for nine years because she. They you would know, probably appreciate her bitching about uh, yeah, the United no, States. Yeah, no, they probably want more of that. I don't might, think might that's been, why she might had have been nine twenty years. years. She yeah. might have gotten a break. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's that wasn't what I planned on talking no, about that here, sucks. But, but that does suck. Yeah. Uh, Riley said she hates America. Every I didn't. I didn't read these comments. What are they bad comments? Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's. I don't, trust me. The most I've heard about Brittany Griner in the last decade is right now with her being in a Russian prison. Yeah. Lunsford tells me she made two hundred twenty-five grand last year playing hoops. So I mean, I don't think she's got a big nest egg mm -hmm. to fall back on to be bribing mm -hmm. Russian officials. God, and her hoops days, I guess, are gone. Well, yeah. I mean, she's I thirty-one. Nine years is four. 40 years old. She's going to be 40 years old. Hell of a comeback. Yeah. yeah. Mm. She'd get an SB. <laughs> <laughs> That's very sympathetic. Yes, I, I, am. Well, I mean, I, it goes back and forth, Rockstar. Just depends on what you're catching him right here. <laughs> hey, so uh, there's really no easy way to do this, but we need to talk about Bromberg's here. I mean, it's going to be a ham-handed uh, 
segue either way we do it, so we may as well just be up front about it. Uh, look, if you are in the market to uh, purchase a diamond, these are your diamond specialists. Just great people that I've been working with for over two decades now. Family owned and operated since 1836. Bromberg's has established that solid reputation as a fine purveyor of quality diamonds as well as jewelry timepieces and gifts. Bromberg's also has an extensive giftware department to service the registry of brides and grooms in Birmingham. Go see our friends at Bromberg's. Two great locations, Bromberg the Summit. You can also view their online store. Go to Bromberg's.com. Um, would this be a good time to talk about how Dan Walken of USA Today is tweeting today that climate change is going to force the changes in college football schedule? Is that a good time to bring this up? He did not. He did. Pat Forty, all right, I'm just going to read the tweet. Pat Forty retweeted an ESPN story, and I started trying to read this story, and it's one of the most ridiculous premises I've ever seen. Well, we got till 2100 anyway, right? Um, that was a trash story, yeah. But we got future – Rockstar, where did the visitors come from? 2,900? So we know we make it at least – 2,906. Well, look, yeah, look, 900 more years. I, as you tell the story, I'm going to pull something that our buddy Heath sent. You'll love this. Okay. Well, when well, he heard well, us talking about yeah. uh, global warming. All right, so ESPN did a story today reimagining what college football might look like in the future. And it started with, like, bowl games in the preseason, all this stuff. Dan retweets and it says, if you want to actually reimagine the college football calendar – I'd start with the reality that extreme heat and climate change is going to have a major impact, but that would require vision and college athletics administrators really don't do that. That is an incredible stretch right there. First of all, how hot do you imagine it would have to get for people not to go to Bryant Denny Stadium or Jordan Hare? Hell, they do it when it's over 100 degrees already. How much hotter is it going to get? It can't get that much hotter. (laughs) <laughs> He's right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just a graphic, Rocky. It says Plymouth Rocks, 1,620 at sea level. Year yeah. 1,620. Yep. Plymouth Rock, 2022, still at sea level. <laughs> there you go. I mean, That's all that matters. That's I mean, science. Yeah. I mean, this <laughs> is legitimate, right? Yeah, I'm just, Dan, it was just a super big stretch for Dan. I mean, as, as LT's neighbor says, Dan Walker just has to be trolling us at this point. I mean, I think he is. I try to never bring him up on the show because most of it is so ridiculous. But that one just, that really took the cake. It's got to be an act, Rockstar. It is, I know you don't follow the guy. I don't follow him. Well, you got to do articles, man. You got to get out of It's got to be an act. Absolutely has to be an act. All right, when we return, we'll do those. Uh, lo- many of you have already said you know what's in this story. We'll discuss the, um, the losses that were, how did they word it? The most depressing most for depressing. The loser. Wow. Most depressing for the loser. First, Nichols Outfitters. Not depressing at all in Nichols Outfitters. They got a great fishing department there in Nichols. You can see it with all the brands Ducket Fishing, 13 Fishing, Rapala Lures, True Bass, Shimano, Daiwa Fishing, Six Cent Fishing. It's all you've been asking for. Now, in the new fishing department of Nichols Outfitters in Pelham, just off I 65, we will depress you with some losses next. Take the next round anywhere you go with official next round gear. Buy yours today at nextround.store. Hey, there's nothing worse than waking up to a plumbing problem. Don't get caught in a flooded house. Call the guys at Hemp Hill Services. Adam, Chad, and the team at Hemp Hill are the only ones I trust to fix it and fix it right the first time. Hemp Hill Services does it right and always at a fair price. For all of your plumbing, cooling, and heating needs, trust the name that Birmingham has trusted since 1954. That is Hemp Hill Services. Call now, 205 205- 229-2090. That's 205-229-2090. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about my friends at Michelson Laser Vision, located conveniently UAB Highlands. Almost 20 years ago, I went in for the procedure. Only took 12 minutes for both eyes. When I went in, I had 2200 vision. I was legally blind. Now I have 2015 vision, still 19 years later. Make the call today. Schedule a hassle-free consultation. 969-8100. Dr. Mark Michelson, Dr. Jen Michelson, Michelson Laser Vision. Make sure you tell them the next round sent you 969-8100 or michelsonlaservision.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20-year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call guttercapbirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205-823-2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. 
Whether you're a weekend athlete or sports is your life, Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics wants to help you stay in the game. If you have an injury or pain that says, something's not right, let Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics help you make your greatest comeback. From concussions to sprained ankles, our experienced team is ready with treatment options. Find a doctor at precisionsportsortho.com slash providers. Hey, if you're looking for Birmingham's best pizza, you need to stop in and see our friends at Slice Pizza and Brew. It's as local as you can get from the ingredients that go into every pizza to the beer on tap for a great lunch or dinner. Go see our friends today, Vestavia or Lakeview at Slice. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Start your day online with our website, nextroundlive.com, the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. It's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. That's nextroundlive.com. Anheuser-Busch wants every experience for you around beer to be a good one. And getting home safely is always a priority. So encourage friends to decide to ride. Whether it's by being the designated driver, calling an Uber, or taking public transit. You cannot drive drunk if you don't drive there. This message is brought to you by Anheuser-Busch. Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Uber, Birmingham Budweiser, and the next round. Anheuser-Busch. St. Louis, Missouri. The Double Down Media Podcast family is live and full of content for all ages. The Mystery Fifth Hour gives the next round host a chance to talk about everything but sports. Pour a glass of Bama and bourbon. Our weekly college football conversation while sipping some of the most interesting pours in the bourbon world. And our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call. LT takes off the gloves for an in-depth conversation with stars like Taylor Hicks, presented by Redmond Vodka. Find those podcasts and more by searching The Next Round on Apple, Spotify, and on our website, Next roundlive.com the iron bowl jordan here stadium behind us that saw a classic iron bowl 24 22 the crimson tide holds on and wins in overtime the sec championship it is the sec road show saturday morning in atlanta the college football playoff it's our cotton bowl special from dallas texas we are live now the national championship jim dunaway lance taylor ryan brown with you up here in indianapolis with the playoff fan central the next round You'll find us where the big games are played. We continue on the next round. LT not wearing a lid today, so you know what you can see, Rockstar? That old toss salad. (laughs) Salad. (laughs) Salad. Yeah, did I use it right? I heard the salad. <laughs> so you didn't hear the other part. Oh, uh, uh, Doctor B, give me the other part. So you got to see your tall salad. Yeah, Doctor oh. B is, uh, he's growing that hair back for you, LT. Oh, Rocky, 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 Rocky. Uh, <laughs> with age for most, unfortunately, comes hair loss. When it started to happen to me, I asked around. Everyone said Doctor Beckenstein is the guy you need to call. I set up that consultation with Doctor B. Not only is he incredible at what he does, just an awesome guy as well. Look, they performed genetic testing on me to determine the best course of treatment. It is cutting edge. Dr. B, the only one in the state offering it. He can target an individual's treatment based on their genetics, formulate compounds and prescriptions to their profile. This is a game changer. After I got my results, me and Dr. B had that virtual meeting. Went over my options. We chose the non-invasive laser treatment, which will help increase thickness and health of my hair. Dr. B takes pride in treating each patient personally, applying his expertise to produce those quality results. Call Dr. Beckenstein today, 205-319-0316. That's 205-319-0316, and tell him the next round sent you. Um, New Year, New Jay says, Lance, speaking about the bracelets Brittany Griner is in, tell us about Brown Burks. I mean, we've got to get to the commercial somehow. Yeah, I mean, look, the commercials have to keep going. I understand sometimes they go... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so, and I'm getting killed from like friends about the Brittany Griner thing. I look, I don't have the information. I speak out of school. I got this one. Um, 
Griner's been playing in Russia for years. That's what's weird is she's <laughs> actually been playing in Russia. You would think that would get her a little bit of... I mean, like, I'm sure the Russian government benefits from that somehow. No, my buddy Charlie pull, points out the laws didn't change. She is not a victim. I just said it seems a little extreme. No, I'm not saying she's a victim. Again, I've said million, not millions. I've said several times she clearly broke the law there. I don't think there's any argument about that. I just think nine years in a Russian prison seems a little extreme for yeah. that. That's all I'm saying. No, I would Again, agree. That's why you, you've you got to be super careful abroad, especially if you're an American. There's going to be targets sometimes, especially if you're a famous American. All right, uh, beyond that, moving on from Brittany Griner. Sad situation. Hope uh, hope she can get out of there somehow. The most depressing college losses of all time. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to tell me, because you are so good at this, the details around your Where situation and all okay. these. You're so good. And some of them you're going to be at the game. Uh, I don't remember this one as much. Do you remember Wisconsin's Hail Mary lost to Ohio State in 2011? Uh, I don't really remember that. Braxton Miller. No, I thought it was Wisconsin beating Michigan State on a Hail Mary. Or Michigan State beating Wisconsin yeah. on a Hail Mary. All right, so you don't remember much about that one. Um, Nebraska, Florida State, game-winning field goal by Florida State. Doesn't do much for me. 16-15 late in the game. Yeah, by the way, I, Charlie was, Ward. I was at my buddy James's house in L.A. First time I ever visited L.A. All right, I was on the field for this one. 24-7 Sports says number eight is the prayer at Jordan Hare. Josh Harvey Clemens tips the ball up. Ricardo Lewis runs under it. I mean, just an incredible. The ball is just tipped perfectly. He runs right under it. We had a full house at Club LT. Rocky was there, I think. Ken West, our buddy, was there. Oh, big Georgia, big Georgia fan. fan. And they had come back. Oh, my gosh. I mean, all he hurt. could do was just shake his head. And I, I had so much money on Georgia that night. Yeah. So all you got to do is, is knock that ball down and – and, and you've won your money. And, and the ball game's you know, over. So much gets forgotten about that play. First of all, Nick Marshall has a guy underneath wide open for a first down. Extends the drive, extends the game wide open. Tries to go for the home run ball on fourth and forever. And ultimately, it ends up being a good decision. But really, it was the wrong decision. I mean, Nick Marshall made the wrong decision there. Well, a lot of people forget that wasn't like the final play. Of no, the game. it was not. That was not a walk off. Georgia had a chance, had every chance. Yeah. And you know, Aaron Murray dies for the goal line on the final play and doesn't get in. I th the way Georgia was moving the ball, I thought they were going to get in, and yeah. they would have covered if they would have gotten in. Not only won the game, they would have covered. Right. More importantly for you, yeah. uh, I was standing on the Georgia sideline. Um, the media goes down to the field for the last five minutes of the game, and the Auburn sideline was kind of full. And I was standing on the Georgia sideline, and my point of view was looking beyond the Georgia sideline down to where the play happened and seeing the reaction. I got to see firsthand the reaction of the Georgia coaches and I players. I saw, saw them fall, fall falling down. on the ground. Yeah. I mean, it was like they had been shot. I mean, it was just terrible. For well, them. that's just terrible I mean, for them. That obviously. literally is a one in a thousand play. Maybe even more. Yeah. Maybe one in a million. Number seven, according to them, Alabama beats Florida in the 09 championship loss. The most depressing loss, obviously, for the Florida Gators there. This is the first one Alabama's involved in. We were all at that game, and, I mean, Alabama just dominated Florida. It was yeah, I was going to say, little, it was an little, ass whipping. A little shocking to see because that Florida team was the best team in college football at the time. They were, and uh, obviously that was Tim Tebow's, was it his last game? It wasn't his last game because he came back and played Cincinnati oh, in yeah. the bowl game, but it was his last meaningful game. The yeah. Cincinnati game was a shell the, of a the game. The infamous uh, Tebow crying, right? Yep, that was it. Hard to, hard to stomach this one. I'm curious where you are because I was watching this game. I'll never forget it. Watching it in my basement. It had been an entertaining game, but you thought the game pretty much was over. And it's just one of those Rockstar, we'll get to the kick six in a minute. Rockstar says he just laughed out loud at the kick six. It was so uncomfortable. Yeah, I remember watching this game. I'm by myself in my basement watching this game, Lance, and I remember my mouth is just open like, did I really just see this? Michigan's punt blunder against Michigan State in 2015. I was in the basement. Um, I was excited about it. Oh, I wonder why. Yeah, because I had the other side. <laughs> what a, I, I mean, what I a joke of a, what a joke of a win. Yeah, it was a joke of a win. I, I just couldn't believe that they put themselves in that situation. I, I really couldn't either. It seems like there were a million other ways you could have ended that game than what they tried to do. Yeah, I mean, really, you could have taken a snap, run it out the back of the end zone for a, a safety. A lot of different things, yeah. I mean, even just take a knee and make them run an offensive play. I mean, that's a you, <laughs> I mean, the, anything other than what happened, really. Yeah. No, I was in the basement watching that one, too. Do you know what started that one? Do you know what started that one? The or do you know Michigan. what that started? I'm sorry. Do you know what that started? 
So if you guys pay any attention to me on social media at all, you know this. Every uh, Saturday, I get a collection of photos, and you get to vote on which one I use for my avatar. People love it for whatever reason. That was the first game that happened. Because if you remember, there's this Michigan State fan, that, or this Michigan fan that's just going, and they, they, the camera's on him for like 15 seconds. I just thought it was funny, so I'll put it up there. And then people start sending them to me the next week. So I just started that tradition. Yeah, it's a good That's, tradition. It started right there. Uh, the Bush push is number five. For those that don't remember, this goes back several years. But I was extremely excited about the Bush push. Notre Dame does everything but win this game. Yeah, I was in my old house on Stratford. Yeah. And uh, everything but win this all, game. All in that game and just scared to death that USC was going to lose. And, and they found boy, a way to win. They, they really should have. Now, in today's rules, where would they, where would they, what would they do on that situation? Um, that is. I think he still gets in, right? Yeah. There was a rule against it at the time. I think the rule has been lifted now. I think it's it's okay now. There's no way you're going to make that call, though. Number four, Clemson beats Alabama at the Horn. Uh, again, another one. I'm standing in the end zone where that happens. Hunter Renfro. That was Tampa, Clem- right? Yeah, if you're a Clemson fan, you call it a rub route. If you're a Bama fan, you call it a pick play. Uh, but a touchdown to win Clemson's first of two national champions. Yeah, I was at the uh, Redmond Hotel when that one went down. I got yeah. iced in. Iced in. Oh, that's right. It was yeah. another ice storm, yeah. Number three, pass interference on Miami in the 03 Fiesta Bowl. I remember watching that years ago in my, my, mine and my wife's uh, first house. was so pissed. Yep. I had Miami minus seven. I was in my uh, fir- uh, little garden home over behind the Jim and Nick's in Greystone. <laughs> and I just remember pacing back and forth. And that's when I, I liked the Miami Hurricanes. I think I told you that. Yeah. Like, I liked that program. Right. I was pulling for Ken Dorsey and then that night. When it went into overtime, I, I kind of knew it was over. Uh, number two. Alabama's game winner for the national championship, the walk-off from Tua to the Devontae Smith. That was a soul-crushing loss for Georgia. They've eventually won a national championship, but I guarantee you people walked out of that game, Georgia fans, thinking we, we may never win a national championship. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else we've got to do to win one. We, we had the game won at halftime. We let their backup quarterback come in and force overtime. Then we sack him, and we give up a touchdown on second and 26. Uh, that was one of the more unbelievable ones. Uh, I had Georgia, by the way. Yeah, well, you lost that one. Yeah. Um, Who'd you but, have in the kick six? That's number one. Well, I was going to tell you first oh, I'm where, sorry, go ahead. Where, where I was for that. Yeah. Um, I had picked up a bottle of Jefferson's Ocean uh, bourbon. We, we, we'd we done this show at Twin Peaks. Do you remember? Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. And I had to make a decision. And it was cold outside. It was a little rainy. Right. And I was making a decision whether to go to Mercedes or go back to my hotel. My hotel was in in Buckhead. That's right. You went back to the hotel. And so I decided to uh, – the, the main uh, – the, the, the thing that pushed me over the top was the fact that Trump was going to be in town. And I knew it was going to be a It was a mess. Show. It was a mess. Yeah. A lot of people had a tough time getting in the stadium. So yep. I went back to a place uh, one of our old uh, employers called the, uh, the Reggie. The Reggie. I went back there, hung out in their bar for a little bit, and then went back to my room with a bottle of Jefferson's Ocean – and after the game, ended up going to the red door and stayed out way too late. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, we did a show the next day. And Rockstar, the kick six, you were with Lance in the basement. You said it was just stone quiet. A lot of, huh? a lot of, I think it was a lot of money on that game and a lot of Alabama fans. And it was just complete silence. I just started laughing. I couldn't stop. <laughs> it was complete silence. I couldn't stop. <laughs> yep. I mean, one person was like, oh, I think he stepped out of bounds. Did he step out of bounds? And I just started uh, laughing. No, he did not. I'm on the uh, I'm on the Auburn sideline for that one. Chris Davis, I was showing somebody the video yesterday. I was telling the story. Chris Davis literally ran right in front of me. Uh, I was on the Auburn sideline, and I had to get out the... Do you think you would be uh, put in Iron Bowl lore if you would have tripped? Sure, you probably so I would have been dead. <laughs> I had to uh, get out of the tunnel that's under the student section, which is diametrically across the field from where I was, to go do TV as soon as the game was over. Yeah, good luck. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. The people flooding out, and they're all running at me. I'm the s- salmon going upstream. No, so oh, I, I thought I was going to get trampled. If you trip him, what do they do? What, what did well, they? they, I, they I don't know. Why would you even ask that? I'm, I'm just not going to trip him. I don't know. What if some crazy fan, a Harvey Updike, goes out there and trips him? I guess you got to give him the touchdown. Crap if I know. I don't know how the rules work. I think that happened, though, in a game, right? Well, it happened. Alabama did it. A player did it off the sidelines, yeah. though. He tripped a guy. They gave him a touchdown. Okay. All right, we'll talk Tennessee. It's our 40 and 40 team. Tennessee, the Volunteers. Eric Ainge, their former quarterback, is next. Follow the next round on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Next Round Live. 
Summer means cookouts and spending time with the family and friends in the backyard. Ryan Brown here. Nothing can ruin a party like mosquitoes. Wayne's environmentally safe Mosquito Plus solution safely and effectively eliminates mosquitoes. Plus, they provide protection against fleas and ticks, helping keep your outdoor entertainment spaces safe, comfortable, and pest-free for your family and your four-legged family members. Wayne's has turned my backyard oasis into my happy place. They can do the same for you. Give them a call, 866-WAYNES-1 or call waynes.com. At ERA King Real Estate, they're empowered by technology and driven by community. They have the most extensive training and the most innovative tools in the business. And they've now opened their 10th office location in Central Alabama. To find your agent in your neighborhood, text the word MOVE, M-O-V-E, to 35620. That's MOVE to 35620. In this crazy market, depend on a neighborhood friend. ERA King Real Estate growing to serve you. Remember the name Way to Wellness if you're battling weight loss in your life. I'm Jim Dunaway from the next round. There was a time I was over 216 pounds until Way to Wellness helped me lose 45 pounds and now for over two years they've helped me keep that weight off. Here's their website aplanforme.com aplanforme.com. That's a great name for a website because there's no cookie cutter plan. Everything is designed specifically for you. No contract, no sign up fees and your first consultation is free at Way to Wellness. Vulcan Tire and Automotive is hiring. If you want to take advantage of joining in with a local growing company in the automotive service industry, this is the opportunity for you. Hiring oil and tire technicians and more experienced mechanics. If you've got the talent and the desire, there is a spot for you at Vulcan Tire and Auto. Stop by one of their four locations and the manager on site can walk you through the pay scale, great benefits, and flexible work schedule. Get paid to build your future in the industry. Moody, Trustful, Hoover, and Gardendale, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. You've heard me for years talk about our friends at Bromberg's Jewelers, and we welcome you to stop by and see that great customer service at the Mountain Brook and Summit locations, but we'd also love for you to check out their new online shop. They've got plenty to choose from, great gifts, big and small. Available online, they've got David Yurman, Tudor Watches, Select Diamond and Gemstone Jewelry, William Henry, seasonal and favorite giftware items and baby gifts as well. They've even got an online sale section. For more information, Bromberg's.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at One Man in a Toolbox. One Man in a Toolbox has provided professional handyman services since 1997. Honesty and reliability are qualities that embody every one of their employees. From residential to commercial, One Man in a Toolbox, they've got a background to help you with almost any project. I've used them multiple times at my home. Give them a call today. Get that free estimate, 205-823-2111. That's 205-823-2111 or online, One Man in the toolbox.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at New Life Art. Daniel A. Moore has completed his original full color oil painting honoring Bryce Young, Alabama's fourth Heisman Trophy winner. This painting depicts the memorable Heisman worthy go ahead pinpoint pass to John Mechie in the corner of the end zone as the tie dismantled the Vaughn Georgia defense in the SEC championship game this past year. Use code TNR for 15% off. You can order online at DanielMoreArt.com. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about one of our favorite places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is Hamburger Heaven since 1982. Hamburger Heaven has been serving Birmingham's best hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, hand-spun milkshakes, and sandwiches made fresh to order. All of their ingredients are fresh and prepared daily. This includes their beef, always fresh, never frozen, hand patted each and every day. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, visit any of the four locations, Highway 280, Irondale, Gardendale, and Homewood. The Double Down Media Podcast family is live and full of content for all ages. The Mystery Fifth Hour gives the next round host a chance to talk about everything but sports. Pour a glass of Bama and Bourbon, our weekly college football conversation, while sipping on some of the most interesting pours in the bourbon world. And in our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, LT takes off the gloves for in-depth conversations with stars like Taylor Hicks, presented by Redmont Vodka. Find these podcasts and more by searching The Next Round on Apple, Spotify, and on our website, nextroundlive.com. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. In the chat room, Charles says, 
Lance, it would have been Dunaway, not Brown, that would have tripped Chris Davis, and the Daniel Moore print would have been stepped on a landmine. <laughs> <laughs> would have been so funny. Uh, oh, of course that didn't happen. Champions Chicken brings you this hour. Great location right there, like Highway 119 in Alabaster. ChampionsChicken.com. Champions World Famous Chicken. Chicken on a stick. They great chicken tenders. Pull boys, sandwiches, uh, just a phenomenal place to go. ChampiesChicken.com for more information. Our 40 and 40 team today, the Tennessee Volunteers, previewing the Vols. Their former quarterback, Eric Ains, joins us now on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline, host of the Eric Ains Show and the Sports Animal there in Knoxville as well. Welcome in, Eric. Hope you're doing well today. I'm good, boys. What's going on? Not a whole lot, man. Just talking some football. This is an exciting Tennessee team to me. We, we were just discussing it earlier Whatever you think of what Josh Heupel did last year, Eric, to improve a scoring offense by 17 points year to year is extremely difficult to do, and that's exactly what he did. Yeah, they've been impressive. It kind of fits the, fits the hype for what he is and what his teams do. And um, I thought we would be a little better on defense than we were last year, especially situationally. And ultimately, that made you a seven-win team when you probably could have been a nine- or a ten-win team. But – I expect the offense to be as good, if not probably even better, with a quarterback coming back that fully understands what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, and that quarterback, you know, one of the the, the strange things, I I saw moments from him, Eric, at Virginia Tech, and then he transfers into Knoxville. And obviously, Josh Heupel probably admits this now. He started the wrong guy in Joe Milton last year. I'm just really surprised that, that Hooker wasn't that guy from day one. Well, I went and watched practice a bunch, and, and I'll tell you, Heupel didn't start the wrong guy. Joe Milton was 10 times better than Hendon Hooker was in practice. It wasn't close. It was so not close that it was the whole – I mean, everyone on the team understood that Joe Milton was the quarterback, and, it you know, that's just – in that fun college football happens. Hooker gets a chance to play, and he never looks back, and he looks like a different player in games than he did in practice. And the, you get a testament to him – he started practicing really well, too. He wasn't just a gamer. He was a pra- good practice player. And to be a good, consistent quarterback, you got to be able to do both. you got to have both in you. And Hooker showed that, and it's clearly his football team. And uh, one of the fun things about that quarterback room is they love each other. Hooker and Milton are best friends. They, they are with each other all day long. They compete with each other. But they have a good, healthy room. I feel, I feel I'm pretty confident in our whole quarterback room, to be honest. Eric Ainge is with us. He's on Twitter, by the way, at Eric Ainge 3 if you would like to follow him. The Tennessee quarterback, former Tennessee quarterback, now host of the Eric Ainge Show. He's on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. As a guy that has played the game and played that position, Eric, um, I, I see what you're saying, and that is remarkable that Hooker was able to flip the switch that way. How long does it take a quarterback like him to earn the trust of his teammates, though, if he's not that great practice player, even if he performs in the game? I mean, it still had to be a process, even as he played well, for him to earn the trust of his teammates, wasn't it? I think, yeah, for sure. I think he's such a good dude, and he practices so hard and and tries so hard that I think he was a really easy guy to, to fall in love with as a teammate. Um, I think everyone already respected him. So when the game, when he started playing like that in games, I think it was pretty seamless for him to, to take over and be the guy. Um, you know, one thing that I think about, one thing he needs to do better this year, and it's hard to pick. I mean, you look at his stats and everything, it's hard to, to nitpick too much. But there were times last year where if the first guy in the progression wasn't there, he would take off and run. Now, he's a dynamic runner, and he had a lot of success doing it. But to beat the, uh, to win games in the fourth quarter against teams that we need to beat, like Florida and LSU and, and other teams on the schedule, He's going to have to be able to throw the ball on third third down from the pocket, and not just to whoever Heupel dials up as this is the guy I think is going to be open. He needs to be able to go through the progression, stay in the pocket, move up, move over, and deliver the ball down the field. If he can do stuff like that, then there's not really any holes in his game. That was probably the, I think he ran a little too early too often, and when you're a young player, that's normal, right? You don't want to throw a pick. You're not sure what to do with it. Take off. If he can take the next step from an understanding standpoint, then I think he could – he could live up to the kind of crazy expectations that people have on him this year. You know, the the one player that really fascinates me is Brew McCoy. This was a true five-star guy coming out from USC to Texas, back to USC, now to Knoxville. What's the expectation for Brew? Brew is probably the most interesting player on our entire football team. And when I go to practice this weekend, 
I'll be watching number 15 to see what he can do because he is a complete freak. As a freshman at USC, he caught a lot of balls. He ran. If you go watch his highlight film, he catches balls running every single kind of route from every single position. He plays in the slot. He plays outside. He runs corner routes, go routes, seam routes, slant routes, pitch routes, crossing routes, anything route. The dude can run it and catch it, and he's huge. So I know Sel- I know as a I, – I played with a guy. You guys remember Robert Meacham? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Heck, yeah. He played with me at Tennessee, 6'2", 225, ran a four three five forty, and no one could cover him. Brew has that kind of ability. I don't know what it'll look like this year or how often they're going to get him the ball, but I know if I was Alex Golish, Brew McCoy would be on my list of forget the play. This guy needs to have the ball in his hand as much as possible. Eric Ainge with us for a few more moments, the former Tennessee quarterback. We pointed this out earlier, and I don't bring this up, you know, to, to, to try to <laughs> rub it in Tennessee fans' faces. It's just the truth. You were the quarterback for the last 10 win Tennessee season, which is 2007. Can you put into words, you deal with this all the time. You, you, you live there in Knoxville. You do a sports show every single day on the animal. How hungry is this fan base? And I, maybe even excited with what Promise Heupel and Hooker and those guys have shown. How hungry is this fan base to get back to it? It's had to have been a frustrating 15-year run. Well, check this out. You know how tired I am of doing speaking engagements and being introduced as the last quarterback to beat Alabama? I almost didn't bring it up. Like, I know. You, you almost did, though. That was fun for, like, five years, maybe, like, three to five years. Like, oh, yeah, that's me, baby. Ha, ha, ha. It, I have, I'm 36, and I have uh, two kids almost in middle school. Like, it's time. It's, 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 it's time for all this to go away. Now, I don't think we're going to beat Bama this year, but if you could win nine games regular season, go get ten in a bowl game. I mean, this team is going to be favored early lines in at least nine if not, maybe, ten, depending on how LSU starts, nine or ten of their games. That they're not underdogs this year. This is not the year where, oh, oh, shucks, Tennessee, and then you go win eight and everyone's happy. This is a, this is a year similar to back in the day where you know, it's nine or ten wins, is, and that's a good year. That's almost the expectation, and we'll see how hypo and the team takes it. But, yeah, this fan base is – we talked about it today. I think 16,000 new season tickets purchased from last year to this year. So uh, the, everyone's excited. Um, I know you're worn out being introduced as that quarterback. Uh, you probably have been asked way too many questions about your uncle Danny Ainge, but Trip in the chat room says, can we get a good Danny Ainge story? Um, yeah, I'll give you one. So we were – he was telling me one – I forget how I got brought up, but it was at his house in Boston, and we were talking about MJ. And I asked him, give me a good MJ story. And uh, he said one time, he was, you know, he'd probably been out gambling. He didn't say this. It's my assumption. He's probably out gambling the night before, wasn't real locked in. And it was in, like, the second quarter, and he hadn't done anything. And he cut across the lane, and Danny hit him with an elbow in the chin unintentionally, but popped him, good old, you know, 80s NBA basketball, 90s, in the chin. And MJ just looked at him, and Danny went, oh, no. He woke him up. He ended up, score, he ended up scoring like 45 points in two, court, two and a half quarters, and the Bulls won. And Danny was just like, that's me. My unintentional elbow just got 45 dropped on me on national TV. I mean, you, you probably melt souls with the look that uh, – that, uh... MJ gave him. I'm sure it was. I'm sure, I'm sure he knew. Yeah, you have to know that right away. Hey, hey Danny didn't. Danny didn't back down though. He'd have fought anybody. He wasn't afraid of anybody. No, I I remember back in the days. Uh, do you still play pickup hoop? I do time to time. Yeah, I, I play some. I don't play as much as I want to. I play more golf than anything. I play golf like every day. Yeah, love it. My kind of guy, yeah. Eric Ainge, playing golf every day. I can still shoot. I can still shoot threes. I just, I'm not going to guard you. <laughs> I get it. Don't, you don't want to turn that ankle too uh, at right. this age. That's right. Mess up your golf Come swing. On. Uh, all right, go follow Eric on Twitter at Eric Ainge three at Eric Ainge three, and uh, you can catch him on the Sports Animal there in Knoxville noon to our nine to noon, excuse me, Eastern Time every day. Eric, thank you so much for the time, man. Always good talking with you. Yeah, anytime. All right, buddy, take care. Eric Ainge with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Uh, I was not going to mention that he was the last quarterback to beat Alabama, but Alabama fans and Tennessee fans are very much aware of that. It is remarkable when you put it in context, though, and he says, 
I am 36, and I've got kids about to start middle school, and I was the last quarterback to beat Alabama. I mean, when you put it in that kind of context, it is pretty remarkable. You know, it's been a weird series, though. As good as this rivalry has been over the years, it was, you know, Alabama dominated, Tennessee dominated, now Alabama dominated. Yeah. And there have been minutes in this most recent domination. I mean, you go back to the 09 National Championship, Lane Kiffin, they've got a field goal to beat Alabama. Butch Jones had an opportunity. Butch Jones had an opportunity to beat Alabama. I mean, last year's game was a tight game going to the fourth quarter, and Alabama blew it open in the fourth quarter. I mean, it was a much tighter game. Well, you heard Danny Ainge say, uh, we're not beating Alabama this year. He did say that. I don't know. You know, Roman Harper was the guy that said it on our show that he believes that uh, that's going to be a game that gets Alabama. I said that if Alabama loses a regular season game, which I think they will, I still think they'll play for the national championship. I think they'll lose a regular season game, and I think it's going to be against Tennessee. So you think Alabama's going to lose Tennessee? You're ready to make that prediction? Yep. All right, so that game last year was 14-7 to after one quarter, 21-14 at the half, 24-17 24-17 going to the fourth quarter. Alabama outscored them 28-7 to in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I would take 3-1 to one stakes from Dunaway right now, but I know Alabama fans don't want that. You think Tennessee's going to beat Alabama? You're I making do. that prediction. Yeah, I mean, they're going to lose one of the 12 games. They typically do, right? I mean, how many – two undefeated seasons for Nick Saban? Uh, 2020 was undefeated. I mean, undefeated regular season or just overall? Overall. Overall. Uh, 2020 and 2009. Yeah. Now, regular season, 08 was undefeated, 09 was undefeated. In the regular season. Um, 12. 12 was undefeated. Yeah, that was another. No, 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 no. No, they lost to Texas A&M in 12. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah. Um, 13 was not 14, 15, 16, 17. Um, I mean, obviously, they were undefeated in 2020. 2018, they were undefeated, lost to Clemson in the national championship game. So, I mean, he's had some undefeated regular seasons. I mean, yeah, if you just want to look at a regular season. More, more than not, not given, they drop but, a game. Yeah, I mean – that's just college football right, right. now. And I mean, it's hard to go undefeated in major conferences in college football. Yeah, and they were so much better than Texas A&M last year, but they lost that game. And so I just think they're going to find a loss. And the most likely losses are at Arkansas or at Tennessee. I mean, I think the odds would tell you, if you just want to play straight odds, Ohio State loses a game, right? I mean, yeah. that's what the odds would say, but I just don't know who they're going to lose to. And again, to. the way this thing sets up, I mean, every Alabama fan and every A&M fan are talking about October 8th. Yes. There's going to be so much hype. It reminds me of the Ole Miss game last year. And right after that Ole Miss game, after Alabama dominated, which I think they will against Texas A&M this year, they lost the very next week in College Station. So right after A&M, they go to Knoxville. Yeah. No, it is a it is a classic trap game. If you want to call it a trap game, it's a classic trap game. And when you start adding all those things up, is it's a trap game. Yeah. Is Tennessee better than they've been? Probably so. Um, it's been 15 years. What are the odds you're going to beat Tennessee 16 consecutive years, Lance? I mean, those odds are pretty low, right? That you're going to beat a team like that that many years in a row. So, I mean, if you just want to start playing odds and things that have stacked up, yeah, they've stacked up. That said, what's the point spread going to be on that game? How big of an upset are you calling right here? Uh, Right now, I think Alabama would be listed as probably a 17-point favorite. Yeah, 2016, by the way, another season I missed. Alabama was undefeated. They've been undefeated a few. Alabama's a what-point favorite? Probably 17 right so now. So you're calling a 17-point under, underdog pulling the well, I don't think by game time it'll be 17. What do you think it'll be by 13. game time? 13? Yeah. That's still a pretty yeah. significant upset. You don't see a ton of those on a college football Saturday. NC State was getting 14 to Florida State the, the time they upset. Oh, it's the most confident I've ever seen you about a game you've called. The most confident I've ever seen you. Are you going to be that confident about this one? I don't think? know. We'll see. We'll see how Tennessee plays early. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's... I actually won't feel as good if Tennessee opens up 5-0 and somehow. That that's true. Yeah. That'll that'll kind of dial it back yeah, for you. Really it really will. Yeah, because yeah. Tennessee will be a top ten team at that point. Yeah, and that would that would definitely take it back. I'd feel better if Tennessee opens maybe four and zero, loses at LSU. Right. I mean, that would be the typical setup. Tennessee's yeah. four and one, just lost to LSU on the road. Alabama's just destroyed Texas A and M. Alabama comes out about a fourteen point favorite. Uh, Kerry doing our work for us. We appreciate people doing that. Oh eight, oh nine, sixteen, eighteen, okay, twenty. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, that's just uh, – that. that is so five. I mean, Nick Saban's been the head coach at Alabama, what, now, 15 years, and that's five yeah. undefeated regular seasons. Every, every three years. Yeah, I mean, that's a third of the time he's been undefeated in the regular I mean, season. We're still talking about how difficult it is for some teams to achieve 10 wins in a season, and yeah. Bama in five seasons has gone 12 and Exactly. Uh, and you know, it's not like the years they don't. They're awful, but it's just it's hard to go undefeated. 
Greg from Pell City, I got a buddy of mine who's a big Tennessee fan. He told me he's had two dogs grow old and die of old age since they beat Alabama. <laughs> it's been a long time. No, the Tennessee fans, they're probably uh, blue tick hounds. Kerry says, Tennessee's getting too much hype. Alabama will be prepared for a team with that much attention. Look, I mean, again, though, A&M was a team getting Tennessee-like attention last year. It seems like every year is going to be A&M's you know, year. They got Tennessee-like attention, and then they were not good or not as good as everybody thought they were going to be. That was almost one of those laying in the weeds type Well, games. and I think that's going to be with Tennessee. Like, yeah. I, I think Tennessee's a 9-3 and team. I think they lose to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Or LSU. I well, think you're, they lo- you're saying you don't like it if they're undefeated because yeah. all of a sudden now, can you handle that? Right. Can they handle that? Um, does Alabama maybe um, not get as up for that game? Yeah. Because, you know, Alabama coming off the Texas A&M game, mm-hmm. if Tennessee's undefeated, they're going to, going to be able to get up for a top 10 team. Yeah. But if they're not, yeah, no, no, that, that's what it becomes a trap. Do you think – I mean – this is going to sound counterintuitive, but do you think in that particular situation you're talking about where Alabama is not getting up for a team, do you think it helps you in that situation if you're on the road versus at home? Like, I think if you're going to overlook a team, you almost overlook them at home more yeah, than on the agree. road. Mm-hmm. Because at the Our home, you're like, oh, we're playing this team at home. They're not going to beat yeah, us at agree. home. On the road, it gives you a little more reason to focus. Yep. All right, Lance giving you an early lean, not a lock, but I have a lock later on 2-0 and last night, right? Yep, 2-0. and Who'd you have last night? Uh, last night we had the Marlins. Right. Alcantara is so good. Mm-hmm. He's going to win the, uh, the Cy Young. And we had the Dodgers. Marlins Dodgers and Dodgers. have won seven straight against the Giants, first time since 1980. Wow. Yeah. 1980? Yeah. Uh, by the way, the uh, Giants did a very nice. It was at the end of the game the other night. I a very see nice that tribute Vince to Scully. Vince Scully. Yeah. Have you seen the patch the Dodgers are going to wear? I have not. It's a really cool patch. They did a great job on the logo. Okay, I, w- I want to go look at that. I wonder if Nancy Henniger is the one that put that together. Uh, did she, Rockstar? <laughs> I don't think she did. Uh, yeah, that'd have been a nice check. She'd be a little occupied for the Henniger family. Uh, Hemp Hill brings you the lock every night. Lance will have it later on at the Lance Taylor and at lanceslock.com if something is not running right flowing right draining right or flushing right disaster has struck you need to call adam and chad the team at hemp hill the ones that we trust to fix it and fix it right the first time they do it right and at a fair price hemp hill services 205-229-2090 205-229-2090 for hemp hill services rockstar has prepared trash lance takes us down that path next follow lt on twitter at the lance taylor IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. It's our friends at HydroLive. Mention next round at checkout, save 20% off any service. HydroLive's got three locations, Homewood, Tuscaloosa, and coming soon to Greystone. You hear a lot of interesting phrases while playing golf, like, I think you're on the beach, or the classic, you gotta hit it, Alice. One word you're sure to hear right now at Mintbrook Golf Club is, Wow. Brand new carts with complimentary GPS and the bent grass greens are so consistent you just might drain a few more putts, Alice. Tee it up and find out for yourself. Book around today at bentbrook.com or call 428-1999. It's better at Bentbrook. Let's face it, a home is one of the most powerful assets you can have, and our friends at Mortgage Right want to help you build wealth through home ownership. Mortgage Right is all about providing competitive rates, a variety of loan products, and a multitude of resources for a seamless home buying experience. They treat their borrowers like family and are always looking to bring more happy homeowners under their roof. See more by visiting mortgageright.com slash TNR today and start living. That's mortgageright.com slash TNR. NMLS 2239 equal housing lender. Hey parents, is your son or daughter moving to Tuscaloosa this fall? Tyler Bigby can help. Listen to this former client of Tyler's. Hello folks, my name is Toby Banks. That's right. And and sell again while our sons were at Bama. We saved over $84,000 by purchasing a home through Tyler versus paying rent for seven years. If you're considering buying or selling, call Tyler Bigby with the Advantage Realty Group, 205-826-6476. Once again, that's 205-826-6476. Whether you're a weekend athlete or sports is your life, Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics wants to help you stay in the game. If you have an injury or pain that says something's not right, let Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics help you make your greatest comeback. From concussions to sprained ankles, our experienced team is ready with treatment options. 
find a doctor at precisionsportsortho.com slash providers. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20 year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call guttercapbirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205 823 2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. Hey, there's nothing worse than waking up to a plumbing problem. Don't get caught in a flooded house. Call the guys at Hemp Hill Services. Adam, Chad, and the team at Hemp Hill are the only ones I trust to fix it and fix it right the first time. Hemp Hill Services does it right and always at a fair price. For all of your plumbing, cooling, and heating needs, trust the name that Birmingham has trusted since 1954. That is Hemp Hill Services. Call now, 205 205- 229-2090. That's 205-229-2090. Things fall apart. There's even a book about it, but that doesn't mean you have to break the bank to fix them. Ryan Brown here for the next round. Our friends at Mortgage Right have a new renovation option that will make repairs and other home improvements easy. If you've recently purchased a home and find yourself short on cash or you're looking to buy a fixer-upper, Mortgage Right's renovation loan program can help you spruce up your space. Repairs can be made to your roof, plumbing, flooring, and more with the help of top-notch mortgage professionals. So get your fix by visiting Mortgage Right dot com slash tnr and mls 2239 equal housing lender stay up to date with the next round at nextroundlive.com the latest videos from the show plus podcasts like the mystery fifth hour bama and bourbon last call and others from the double down media podcast family you can start your day with the latest college football stories plus easy to listen to hour by hour downloads of the live show nextroundlive.com a great way to stream the show live or shop in the next round store make nextroundlive.com your homepage. that's nextroundlive.com start your day online with our website nextroundlive.com for the latest videos podcasts and college football stories it's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the next round store stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com All right, we have got an ultimate curveball here. We do. That I did not anticipate. Uh, this is going to be good, though. This will okay. be good. Lance is... I can set this whole thing up. Set this whole thing up because this is going to require a little explanation. We're about to do a special edition of Trash. Yeah, but it's going to be real trash. Um, Ashley Smith is in studio. Now, you're mm-hmm. a Birmingham native, though, right? No, I'm okay. from Virginia, but I went to school okay. at Alabama. Yeah, okay, so... so. You started doing PR for Brother Kane, great local band. Correct. That is correct. From Brother Kane, you moved to L.A., and then you take over PR for bands such as Motley Crue, Van Halen, Blondie, mm-hmm. the Bee Gees. Mm-hmm. So we're going to get some some real – I mean, Dirt was the movie from there, Motley Crue, which yeah. I saw. Is there anything you cannot talk about? I mean, not at this point. Okay, I mean, I mean, that's what I wanted to hear. Why, why would they, I mean, why I, would I, they I, give a shit? I mean, I mean, they talk about it. I, I went mean, and saw Motley Crue three weeks ago, and Def Leppard. They they they're alternating who's opening. Yeah, who's opening? And so I, the night I was in Nashville, Def Leppard opened for the Crew, but the Crew they fully embrace us, and it's really funny because most of the people are our age at the concert, but you'll see these twenty year olds, and you find out the reason they've been introduced to Motley Crue is dirt. One hundred percent. Yeah, I made the book of dirt, not the movie. So. Oh, okay. All right. Well, real quick, let's do the business here. Yep. This is trash, Rockstar. You want to hit the big button? <laughs> hit the big button. Congratulations, the Cure <laughs> Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees, 2019. Are you as excited as I am? Um, by the sounds of it, no. LT's trash is presented by Mortgage Right. Mortgages done the right way. Hey, mortgage rates have risen and market experts project more increases before year in. If you've been looking to repurchase or uh, finance, refinance a home, now is the time to act with Mortgage Rights Lock and Shop program. You can lock in an interest rate while shopping for a home and before rates rise again. With a speedy pre-approval process, flexible down payment assistance program, and a variety of loan products, Mortgage Right can get you into the home of your dreams before rates rise to unimaginable highs. Call Mortgage Right locally, 205-815-9200, or visit mortgageright.com slash TNR. So Rockstar will jump in this as well. But So Motley Crue, I, I saw the movie Dirt on Netflix. I never read the book, but everybody that has read the book, including Trip over there and the Chamber, they swear by it. 
The book was ghostwritten with um, with the, obviously the four guys in the band, and then Neil Strauss, who's one of the legendary music writers. He wrote for the New York Times, Rolling Stone. He did an enormous uh, job of getting them to tell the real stories. And they told it in their own voice, and then he put it to words. So when you said you did the book, not the movie. Meaning I'm in the book. In there's the book, a, okay, gotcha. There's a uh, pretty pivotal scene when the band breaks up due to an incident at the Las Vegas airport, and I was there for it. And, you know, I've told Neil for years, I have my account of what happens that happened that night, and I'll share it for, save it for my book when that comes out. As <laughs> but, but it was always, it seemed like a Vince Nicky situation, right? At the airport? No, just in general. I would say Nikki's 100% the band leader. Yeah. I mean, without question. And I think Vince is a thorn in everyone's side who happens to be the lead singer. Yeah. It's a great role. No, yeah, that that that, <laughs> yeah. that, that seems a good way to sum it so, up. So basically you're saying he's so talented, you can't really do without him? But no, I think he's just the persona of, you know, he's the face. You've of got what, to have him, but you would. Right. It, brand, life would be a lot easier if you didn't. Correct. Okay. Yeah. The brand of Motley Crue right. can't survive without Vince. Right. So what years were you with Motley Crue? So I worked with them from 97 to 2001. Oh, wow. So, so those was, were. So were those the Pam Anderson years? Uh, the end of them, and then she wove back in and in and out. <laughs> uh, to this day, I probably met her a dozen times. There's photos that I have of all of us uh, with her, and there's videos out there too. Yeah, they go on a boat together. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I wasn't allowed on the boat. Thank God. Uh, true story. Hey, there wasn't room for you. True story. Girl. When that video came out, and I was Motley's publicist, I'm quoted numerous times saying. I cannot comment on a video I've not seen. I purposefully never watched it, so I could say I don't know that it exists. Oh, good. And for then, you. of course, yeah. the day I Smart. resigned, I was like, "All right, let's yeah, pop so, in this VHS yeah. tape." So, I mean, <laughs> what was the? <laughs> what was the? I mean, how many? Well, I mean, if you could guess, how many people reached out for a comment to you? Like, I mean, was it oh. like NBC News? Oh, it was the L.A. Times. I mean, it was all the everybody, everybody. Right. So like in a situation like this as a band publicist, when something bad happens, it is just nonstop. It's all you're dealing with 24 seven for weeks. Right. Yes. And you've also got to remember that was before cell phones. Right. Right. So you're dealing with it literally on landlines and, you know, so your phone's just literally ringing off the hook. It was definitely a crazy era. How many how many NDAs in a given month were signed? Not, I mean, uh, there weren't that many at that time. I think NDAs came later. Okay. I think during that time, at least for what we did, it was, you know, you just didn't think to get NDA signed. So, I, I mean, like a typical backstage night at a crew concert. Every former 80s rocker known to man, I have like, you know, I kept some of my call logs just because it's funny. Because you'd be like Steven Adler, Tracy Guns, like whomever calling wanting backstage access. And but just because they knew it was a party. The, oh, yeah. And it, you know, definitely, um, it wasn't a party like it was in the 80s, certainly. Mm-hmm. Um, at that point, uh, three, two of them had kids. And so. And, and I, mean, I guess Nikki was sober by then, right? Yes, he was. And, you know, I tell people a lot, and you get this from the dirt. Nikki Six is probably one of the smartest marketers out there. He's a great band bass player, but he's also a brilliant marketer he understands when to turn on the persona of nikki six and go with it i will tell you watching mick mars was tough the other night yeah he's- i mean i'm shocked honestly mm. i'm stunned that he's able to do this he's barely able to do it i will tell you this so on the big video this is sad but they were showing vince they would show uh tommy they would show um nikki they wouldn't show mick I mean, they would never put him on the big what screen. What the hell happened to Alice Cooper? Look at him. I mean, he did look rough. But, you know, <laughs> then I Googled, and he's 71 years old. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, how in the hell is this dude 71 touring? But you look at him at 71, and then you look at, like, Mick Jagger, who, what, just turned 80-something? Yeah. Yeah, he's, it's, like, 79. Yeah. Like I mean, it's... Uh, but Mick, I forget the name of the disease, but he does have a very serious bone some, disease. Something with yeah. his back, too. Yeah. So, so Ashley Smith, uh, PR. We call you a PR legend. 
uh, Motley Crue, Van Halen. We'll get into some other acts, too, but this is a special edition of Trash on the Table brought to you by our friends at Mortgage Rights. I got one. You were there. Were you there for the one of the best shows ever was VH1's Behind the Music? Were you involved yes. in there behind the music? Yeah. Because I remember he told the Ozzy Osbourne story about yeah. sniffing the ants and the stuff like that off the popsicle. Uh, how was that film in the Behind the Music? It was great. I mean, that entire series, Behind the Music, was I Fantastic. Think, so well done. And uh, they allowed artists to kind of tell their side of the story in their own voice. And at the time when, you know, there had been an era when Vince had left the band. So right when I was working with them is when they were coming back with their greatest hits. They'd yeah. bought back their masters from Elektra and that behind the music really launched and it reminded fans, you know, our internal slogan that we used as our marketing um, mantra, if you will, was they were a band that defined a generation. Because whether you liked them or hated them, Motley Crue represented right the 80s they did yeah but i mean the the thing everybody waited for on behind the music was the tease going to break about when the band broke up right mm -hmm. oh yeah like when we return and you're like okay here's Everything the good part was flying high yeah, every, until until september 4th no uh, it was I mean, it was 1984 it was uh, uh hanoi rocks uh yeah. razzle where they go to the liquor store no they go to the yeah. i mean this is um, it's well documented on a lot of different mm -hmm. platforms they go to the liquor store. Vince is driving. They get in an accident. Razzle dies. Um, Vince did a little bit of time. I don't know if he actually did hard. I, it might have been time served. Uh, but, I mean, it was a different era then. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I don't think it was right necessarily. Right. But it, but it was, you know, almost 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. But what did that do to him personally, if, if anything? I think it definitely, how can you not let it impact you when one of your best friend dies next to you in a car? But I think what also compounded, you know, Vince and his emotions, he lost his daughter due to cancer at a very young age. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, her name was Skylar. Uh, she died, I want to say around four or five years oh, old. Wow. And, um, you know, so you have to give him a little grace, but he is, uh, in my experience, not a pleasant person to work with. Was there a moment as a publicist for a band like that where the phone rings to tell you, all right, here's what we're dealing with now, and you're just like, all right, that's, I, I've done all I can do. I, mean, I just cannot continue to deal Not, with it. Well, nothing would shock you, though, right? This well, on top of this. I mean, there's got to be a breaking point for everybody. There is. You definitely got those calls. So a lot of the, you know, a lot of the calls would be from the tour manager, from the road manager that they had prompted or ticked off local security and local cops and gotten arrested again. Right. Again. Um, again, yes. And, <laughs> and so, but there's only so many times you can spin a statement. Right, right. And so those, that's probably when I, you know, started considering uh, other options. Yeah, I mean, there had to be times it's where like, you just hung the phone up and stared at it and thought, I cannot continue to do this. No, it's uh, very, um, yeah, very challenging. And I was in my 20s. I mean, I was young. And I just happened, their manager, who is a great, great legend in the music business, you know, he and I just took a liking to each other. And as far as, you know, I think he respected that I wasn't a Motley Crue fan. I think I walked into my first meeting with them coming, rolling out of Tuscaloosa and sweater set and pearls. I'm sure they were like, who is this? <laughs> um, and, but I knew how to write PR strategy and you know, I kept them out of trouble did for the you, most part. Did you uh, go on tour with them? So I did for an extended period of time once Tommy got out of jail because we knew. <laughs> it's I mean, so it's, convoluted. It, it, it's <laughs> just the reality <laughs> was you knew that him getting out of jail, there were going to be constant requests for interviews. And um, so I did I did about eight straight weeks with them on the road. Oh, I bet that was, was that in mess. states or was it, it in the states? Yeah. Okay. And that was when they were doing. So that was on that greatest hitch run. So it is amazing for me to see them now playing stadiums because they were playing theaters. So that was going to be I'm trying to think of the uh, Birmingham equivalent when they do the shows. Not at the Civic Center. The but, concert hall. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. it's, you know, yeah. I don't know what the four or five capacity, thousand. Yeah. yeah. So they were playing that size venue. So it was intimate. Um, it was great. I, uh, I had a blast. I, I definitely got an appreciation for uh, just what they mean to their meant to their fans. I really did. What years were you with Van Halen? So it was the Van Halen when I toured with them. It was when Brother Kane opened with them oh, okay. for the Balance tour. So um, 
95? That would be Hagar? Yeah, Sam yeah, Hagar. Yeah, it was Hagar. Right? It was, yeah. yeah. It was good, though. I, uh, you know, I was very fortunate. The guys here in Birmingham, Jay Wilson, and the, the guys that was then called New Era, it's now Red Mountain. Um, I came in as an intern from Alabama and started doing PR with Brother Kane and went out to, you know, probably a dozen of those shows. And it was fantastic. You know, you're sitting in a room and in walks Eddie Van Halen. Yeah. Did he smoke like, all the time? I'm sorry? Did he smoke oh, all yeah, the time? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What is the relationship um, between him and Alex? Do they talk? I mean, like, I just can't, with your brother being in the band, it didn't seem like they were very... Uh, I never, like, to be honest, I didn't see Alex a lot. The, the person that was probably the most social of the four... Sammy? That, well, Sammy, of course, but Michael Anthony. Okay. And you knew you had kind of gotten some cred on tour when you got invited. Um, Michael had a uh, kind of a bar set up behind his bass amps called Mad Michael's Cafe <laughs> that his bass tech ran. And if you got invited back there, it was legit. They liked you. <laughs> like, you know, it was like, you know, you were with the cool kids. And uh, so, yeah, I listen, I will never take for granted some of the moments that I got to observe in, in my music days. It was it was pretty awesome. Um, so Smuff wants to know, Eddie Van uh, Halen, what kind of guy was he? Oh, he was incredible. I mean, yeah. the first night he walked into the uh, Brother Kane dressing room. Um, it was myself, the four guys in Brother Kane, and Jay Wilson, their manager at the time. And Eddie went around to each person. He was with his uh, guitar tech and introduced himself. Thanks for coming out. Could not have been more gracious. And then just kind of, you know, uh, I was going to say, uh, you know, he just kind of shot the shit. That's yeah. awesome. Like, in a, like, it was just surreal. I and, it, and it was before cell phones, so it wasn't like, you just don't, you he know. You put on a face. No, you're just, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's just it's awesome. A, it, it, it's got to suck for rock stars now. Oh, for 100%. any celebrities. Yeah. Any celebrities. I mean, you know, I now work with broadcasters, as I think you guys know. And, you know, it stinks. They want to go out and have some cocktails at a restaurant and, you know, kind of cut loose constantly iPhones yep. and, yeah. it, and they're not even, you know, they're not a, a list, but they're still, you know, enough so, where people recognize them and you can get in trouble. Yeah. People just want to catch somebody doing mm -hmm. something bad. Absolutely. Yeah. Can you tell us the craziest thing you saw with your own two eyes? Oh God. That you can talk about. You actually can talk about anything. Well, she, yeah, no, was, I can't talk. I, she like, said she I wouldn't just, tell the airport story. That's for her book, but I mean, it sounds cliche, but the amount of women who would lift their shirts when Tommy would come out after his drum solo and, sh <laughs> and he would say, show me your titties. And these women, and I would just be like, you know, I'm standing side stage, so I have the full view. And, yeah. and look, the reality is, you know, some of those women would all of a sudden end up with a backstage pass. And, <laughs> yeah. and what happened after that is... Uh, yeah. who, who was in charge of giving out the back, backstage pass? The, the techs or the... Yeah. Like, I... No. They knew better, but A, to ask me to do it. Yeah, and, I, I brought uh, yeah. Charlie. You guys meet Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> cool guy. <laughs> now, what I would do and still to this day, I know other friends of mine that are still in the music business do it. I would go up to the nosebleed seats and take off my credential and be like, hey, how long have you been a Motley fan? Or how long have you been a fan of Blondie? Or, you know, whatever. And they'd be like, oh, my God, I've loved them since, you know, shout the devil, yada, yada, yada. And, uh, and I'd be like, sweet, you're going second row. Oh, yeah. And so you just, just upgrade and seats. And just yeah. upgrade seats. Like that yeah. I was very comfortable with. Oh, giving out the. Uh, no, really cool. Yeah, that's the, a much better thing to do. Yeah, better, no. Yeah. That, they knew better than asking. You know, pre-Sammy Hagar, I was seeing uh, Breaking of the Band. Have you watched any of that? Breaking of the band? No. Yeah, what is yeah. it? So it's it's basically like behind the music, and it just it comes to the point of when the band hits ahead, and and why they ultimately split up. Mm. But it's pretty good. It's on reels. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, I'm watching this one, and um, I'm trying to figure out the exact scenario. Um, with Hagar? No, with Van Halen. Yeah. So it was before Hagar. David Lee Roth though used to pay one of the techs. Whoever could bring the best-looking girl back got a $100 bill that night. This was in the early 80s. I'm 100% yeah. confident that happened. <laughs> and I'm sure that money went up even more through the decades. I mean, look, the books that should be written are by the techs. They're the ones I that mean, see it all, right? They yeah. see it all, and they, you know, they have access and a trust with all musicians. Is that, that a tough job, though? 
Yeah. yeah. Because by the way, if you know you're Eddie Van Halen, your string breaks. I mean, yeah. Are you, you going to give Eddie Van Halen a, a not a not tuned guitar and yeah. he's up that soloing? He's gonna. He looks like the dumbass, not you. So you're gonna yeah. get yelled at. <laughs> you were gonna get yelled at. Mm. That is, uh, yeah, that's very true. I worked with Hagar solo because our the management company where I worked in LA that handled Motley ended up signing Hagar as well. Did he make more in his tequila, the Cabo Wabo, than he actually makes in music? He's made, he's done very well in yeah. that. I don't know if it, yeah. I'll, you know. I actually heard Because he had co-writes on yeah. a lot of those songs during his Van Halen era. I mean, he was finally a guy that could sing. I mean, they always oh, dogged out David Lee Roth as a guy that couldn't sing. Great performer, but just couldn't sing. I know people love to debate David Lee Roth versus Hagar, but they were both damn good. Yeah, I like, agree. Like, you don't, like, yeah. you know. I just never it, saw Hagar. I saw David Lee Roth with Van Halen. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh. All right, well, that was a wild trip. No, that was fun. I did not expect that. Thank no, you. So, so Ashley is one of our regulars. You're, yeah. you're over in that chat room a lot, yes. right? Yes, and I usually, uh, yes, I like my picture in the part, and they're a little better than just getting off a flight and coming yeah. here. But. So, so where do you watch from? I mean, where are you based So on? I'm based out of Charleston, South Carolina now. Okay. And uh, actually ruffled up. I sent it to you guys. I don't know if it made the rundown today. Uh, the South Carolina Gamecocks are selling tickets now at Costco. You know, I did see you send us and, that. Yeah. It's, and, I, and let me tell you, I tweeted that out just for my personal handle. Yeah. Gamecocks came after me last night and this morning. And I'm just like, I mean, justifying that like Pappy's is sold in Costco, that... Um, uh, yeah, a lot of restaurants. I mean, it's those things in Costco where you take the card and you go buy yeah. it. Yeah, whatever, yeah. yeah. I just, I mean, from my perspective, from a brand person, I'm like, once you go there, you're never going back. It's kind of like when you sell concert tickets on Groupon. Yep. It, yeah. yeah, you can sell through them. But yeah, but you, you're the band that sold on Groupon yeah, forever. Exactly. Yeah. Interesting. I had no idea. Costco. No, I saw. I, I saw. And that evidently, you said that. Yeah. other schools are doing it. I haven't done the research. None in the SEC. That yeah, I'm I was aware about to say maybe Eastern Michigan. <laughs> well, no, it's like Rutgers, and you know. But again, it it just. Came out left field, but yes. Yeah. So yes, I watched from South Carolina, surrounded with Clemson Tigers and uh, Gamecocks. Well, very fun. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thanks so much. Thanks for thank you guys by. for having yeah. me. Sure, I, absolutely. I came by just to see the facilities. Well, here I you go. You've you seen this. What happens? Yeah. You get put on the air. That's right. We we got no clues. <laughs> we didn't even by get the to the Dunaway stories. Oh, no. we, need, we need a show for that. I mean, you, you guys call it. We got another segment. Uh, how, how long have you known Dunaway? I met him. I was probably 22, 23 is when I lived in Birmingham. Perfect. Hold on. We only need five more minutes. Oh, wait, wait, we got a break. We yeah, absolutely we got a break. No, no. A break. I, I was totally teased. There's not a lot. I think we went on one date way before Maggie. Oh, I didn't know there was a date. And, well, just, just and hold we're good up. friends. Just, okay, okay, just, okay, that's good. Just hold just, on. We're going to take a break. Time out, time out. Yeah, we do need a break. We just hold tight for five minutes. Champions is bringing you this hour of the next round, as they always do. ChampiesChicken.com is the website. ChampiesChicken.com. World famous fried chicken. Chicken fingers, chicken on a stick. Those great tamales. Highway 119 in Alabaster. ChampiesChicken.com. I can't wait for the next segment. We're next. <laughs> Follow Brownie on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan Brown Live. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about one of our favorite places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That is Hamburger Heaven since 1982. Hamburger Heaven has been serving Birmingham's best hamburgers, cheeseburgers, french fries, hand-spun milkshakes, and sandwiches made fresh to order. All of their ingredients are fresh and prepared daily. This includes their beef, always fresh, never frozen, hand patted each and every day. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, visit any of the four locations, Highway 280, Irondale, Gardendale, and Homewood. Hey, it's Jim Dunaway. Let me take a second to talk about my friend Greg from Pell City and his company, Storm Restoration Roofing. He's the owner, and it's been locally owned for over 20 years. Insurance companies love Greg, and that's going to benefit you, the customer. Storm Restoration Roofing is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, and they'll give you a free no-cost inspection. No obligation, no cost. 205-542-3531. 542-3531 or look up Greg from Pell City on Facebook. It's Greg Nelson and Storm Restoration Roofing. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. It's our friends at Hydra Live Therapy. IV therapy treatments are packed with nutrients to increase energy, reduce stress and anxiety, and boost your immune system and more. If you mention the next round at checkout, save 20% off any service. You can join the IV League today. Members are rewarded with deep discounts. Make sure you ask about that. Hydra Life Therapy opens seven days a week. Homewood, Tuscaloosa, and coming soon to Greystone. When it comes to choosing a dentist, two things are critical, trust 
and comfort. Brian Brown here from the next round. It's why I tell you about Stone Creek Dental Care. Dentist owned and operated and Stone Creek Dental Care is the Southeast premier provider of comprehensive dental care with more than 20 locations including Birmingham, Chattanooga, Huntsville, Trustville, and Montgomery. Stone Creek Dental Care is able to provide a level of quality care you will not find anywhere else. From your basic cleaning to restorative dentistry, cosmetics, and endodontics, Stone Creek Dental Care covers a wide and comprehensive range of dental services for patients of any age. Stone Creek Dental Care's mission is to provide the highest quality dental care to every single patient in an environment that exemplifies the highest ethical, personal, compassionate, and professional standards, and to provide the best patient experience possible. Stone Creek Dental Care is currently accepting new patients at all locations, and new patients get a free Chick-fil-A gift card at your first appointment. So visit StoneCreekDentalCare.com to find a location nearest you. Stone Creek dentalcare.com holly mac wilson just sold the johnsons a new home not a house a home she helped them put a swing in the backyard helped move the grill to the back patio and watched as the johnsons put their great grandmother's piano in the foyer a house is a dwelling a home is a place filled with love and memories call holly mac wilson your tuscaloosa keller williams realtor 205-901-9446 or check out our website hollymachomes.com and let holly mac wilson help you find your dream home where you can make your own memories there's nothing i like more than a unique delicious meal and that's what you get at champy's world famous fried chicken right on highway 119 in alabaster those great full fried chicken plates the tenders the poor boys but i love the southern staple chicken on a stick it's perfect for a tailgate or watching the big game and then the authentic mississippi delta recipe homemade tamales the best i've ever tasted see the whole menu or order online at champyschicken.com for blues brews and bird it's champy's chicken highway 119 alabaster Want more of the next round? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast, the Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. The Next Round store is live and loaded. Check out the latest logo t-shirts and hoodies. Get your favorite team colors, the Next Round flag shirt, or grab the popular Y'all can have the rest t-shirts. Go to nextround.store. That's nextround.store. Start your day online at nextroundlive.com. Get all the latest videos, podcasts, and college football stories. And it's also a great way to stream the show or shop in the Next Round store. Stay connected by visiting nextroundlive.com. Hey everyone, it's John Lunsford with the next round and high school football season is almost here. So get ready with next round preps. Jerry Young and I will break down all the big matchups each week and it all starts on August 18th. Listen wherever you get your podcasts or at nextroundlive.com. All right, uh, as we come back, Ashley is still in studio with us. I'm so excited that I get a second segment. You get a second segment because you told us you went um, on a day with, Dunaway. with Dunaway. So uh, people are already asking questions about this. Uh, first of all, Redmont Vodka is uh, bringing you part of the show today. Well, this is perfect because Trip brings this up. So we just released a last call with Redmont Vodka with Charles Barkley last night. Mm -hmm. Do you like vodka? I love vodka. Okay. I'm a vodka martini girl. Okay, so when you come back around, you and I might have to do a one-on-one -on -one last call. Uh, okay, oh, that could be fun. Yeah, that, that could be good. Uh, locally owned and operated, Charles Barkley is one of the faces behind Redmont Vodka. Their aim, clarity, and taste, color, and smell. It is vodka perfection. Redmont Vodka made from corn, which not only makes it gluten-free, also provides that smooth finish. Doesn't have a harsh aftertaste. Eight times distilled. Available at your local package and ABC stores. Available in 20 states as well. If you haven't seen it, uh, download it. Watch it right now. It's on our YouTube channel. It is a one-on-one uh, -on -one with Charles Barkley. All right. Uh, so you went on a date with Dunaway. A date. By the way, a it's date. Ashley Smith, PR. Ashley Smith, I'm sorry. Ashley I don't know Smith. who you do PR for now, but it was Van yes. Halen, Motley Crue, Blondie. Yes. So Blondies. now I represent uh, some of the guys that have called into y'all show. Uh, Marcus Spears. Peter Burns, Ryan Clark, uh, and then I do PR and marketing for companies. Okay, cool. okay. All right, yeah, cool. So. Uh, and you've known Dunaway for years. I have, okay. yes. So right. we met when I lived in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. I frankly don't remember how we met, if I'm being honest. Right. And we, I, I think we went to see, fun, funny enough, I think we went to see a band. Did and you was, wear a pair of green jeans on the date? Have you <laughs> no. ever owned a pair of green jeans? 
Not that I recall. Oh. She listens to the show enough. I think oh. she well, would know that story. I'm sitting, I'm sitting here going, I don't okay. think so. No, he just said there was a girl that he went on a date yeah. with and didn't go back. No, he went on multiple dates with this one. Well, she yeah, wore that's green true, jeans yeah. both dates. On, like the, on the second or third date. Yeah, so he saw green jeans both dates. He's like, I can't go on with this. Um, so I you mean. Could, all right, J- Chad literally in the chat room said, come on, be green jeans. No. <laughs> so, you're, so you're not green jeans. Okay. I mean, I was known to have colored jeans. Yeah, I but mean, not green ones maybe? And you know, I will ask. We'll have to ask him. Okay. How um, how awkward was the first date? I don't recall it being awkward. It was. I mean, we talked sports. Like I'm a big mm-hmm. know, sports nut. He was obviously doing, you know, sports here locally, and so it was pretty. Yep. I just think very quickly it was kind of like, all right, maybe we're, not a. We're buddies, but there's yeah, no connection. Yeah. No yeah. love connection. Yeah. Right. But yeah, but we stayed friends, so that's good. Um. Your actual given birth name wasn't Rebel Fox. No. Okay. Yeah. She is not Rebel Fox. Okay. I'm just going through questions yeah. on the chat room. I'm sorry. I'm just asking uh, questions. Lisa Black is your birth name, Lisa Black. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, JM Dog, did he ask to rub your feet? Uh, no. Okay. I do not All recall right. there being an ask to rub well, my feet. Well, you know he's got a foot fetish, right? I mean, I've heard that talked yeah. about on the show. I did not know that right. then. Okay. That's a true story. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to uh, dig through the questions here. That one's inappropriate. That one was? What? Go, I'm just going to keep going. No, I mean, I just, I'm not going to ask an appropriate question. No, we don't need to have any, any no. inappropriate uh-uh. questions. Did he take you to dinner that night? A concert, you said, right? No, I think we just went to a concert. Okay. Yeah, you don't, I don't remember I don't who? recall a meal. Did he walk I mean, you to again, your door? I'm sorry? Did he walk you to your door? And was that, Rockstar, how was that goodbye? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the beauty. I'm uncomfortable I'm gonna, now. I'm going to be honest. We'll the away. beauty of turning 50 is I don't remember what happened 28 so years ago. That, that Jim Dunaway was not memorable. <laughs> I am telling you that I do not remember. Okay. Okay. So I'm gu- I guarantee he wrote I down his diary. I also lived on a steep hill, so it would have been a great. I mean, like you know. Oh, you lived on a steep hill. Did his car not have reverse? Like, did he have to roll it off? You don't remember no, that? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I do remember, remember I dated that? a guy that had a two, like a, what were those Nissans called? Like 280Zs or yeah. something? Oh, Nexus. yeah. A rich guy. And <laughs> literally, he drove up the driveway, and I think the transmission, like, got. Like, and, I, <laughs> and I just remember my roommate at the time, who uh, still lives in Birmingham, so I'll leave her name out of it. She goes, yeah, that this date's not going to go well. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah I... Not not going to end well. But no, I, I don't have fond memories of dating in Birmingham. Okay. Uh, Other than Dunaway, of course. Other than Dunaway. Yes. <laughs> you made a lifelong friend. That's right. <laughs> All right. She is Ashley Smith. We're going to have her back for a last call. Yeah, so yeah. We will definitely I do that. I can't imagine what we didn't we'll, ask, but. We'll, get into, say, we'll, we'll get into the Bee Gees. They're all dead, though, right? No, Barry's still alive. Yeah. Yeah. No, I saw yeah. the uh, the documentary on HBO. It was well done. Yeah. Really? Yeah, no. Barry's still alive. And, just and, a sad story. The whole, uh, you know, because he was like, I just would give up everything to be with my brother still. I mean, Mm. it really was sad. I think the other thing with them is, you know, they were put in disco hell for years and you look at their library and they, they were icons of so many songs that people loved, but they were, they were labeled the wrong thing at the time. It was, it was that one night. It was disco night at the White Sox game. I I didn't realize that until I saw the documentary. It was the Chicago DJ that basically put them in disco hell. Crazy. Oh, well. Thank you, Ashley. Gentlemen, thank you. Good to see you. All right. Buster Olney talks Major League Baseball post trade deadline next on the next round. Follow Dunaway on Twitter and Instagram at Jim Dunaway. The new location of Walk-Ons is now open at Stadium Trace in Hoover near the Hoover Mat. And just like the location off Highway 280, you get authentic, mouth-watering Louisiana cuisine prepared fresh from scratch every day. Walk-Ons Happy Hour is 2 to 6 Monday through Friday. $5 moonshine swirls, $5 house pours, and half-price appetizers. Download the Walk-Ons mobile app for an easy take-home experience for the family. It's game day with a taste of Louisiana at Walk-Ons off Highway 281-19 and now at Stadium Trace near the Hoover Met. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round. You've heard me for years talk about our friends at Bromberg's Jewelers, and we welcome you to stop by and see that great customer service at the Mountain Brook and Summit locations, but we'd also love for you to check out their new online shop. They've got plenty to choose from, great gifts, big and small. Available online, they've got David Yurman, Tudor Watches, Select Diamond and Gemstone Jewelry, William Henry, seasonal and favorite giftware items and baby gifts as well. They've even got an online sale section. For more information, Bromberg's.com. 
At Alfa Romeo of Birmingham, you can now drive the 2022 Alfa Romeo Giulia TI, the Italian sports sedan of your dream, starting at $499 per month plus tax with $4,999 down, plus first payment and title due at delivery. Come experience the passion and performance of Alfa Romeo of Birmingham, 1837 Grants Mill Road, or Alfa Romeo USA of Birmingham.com. A life at least 10,000 miles per year, WAC, MSRP, $51,490, stock number Q0059, Q0068, or Q0074. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. IV therapy, B12 injections, cryotherapy, and compression therapy all under one roof. It's our friends at Hydra Live Therapy. IV therapy treatments are packed with nutrients to increase energy, reduce stress and anxiety, and boost your immune system and more. If you mention the next round at checkout, save 20% off any service. You can join the IV League today. Members are rewarded with deep discounts. Make sure you ask about that. Hydro Life Therapy open seven days a week. Homewood, Tuscaloosa, and coming soon to Greystone. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website, mydrytech.com. That is mydrytech.com. You've been wearing that thin, raggedy t-shirt for years now, and people cannot stop whispering and staring in your vicinity. We've all been there. Luckily, there's a solution to your lack of fashion and social cues. At NextRound.Store, they have plenty of options when it comes to a variety of shirts and hats. Once you start putting that Next Round gear on, be prepared to make new lifelong friends and hundreds of unforgettable conversations. Hope you like random high fives in the street, because that's what you're getting after visiting NextRound.Store. Summer means cookouts and spending time with the family and friends in the backyard. Ryan Brown here. Nothing can ruin a party like mosquitoes. Wayne's Environmentally Safe Mosquito Plus solution safely and effectively eliminates mosquitoes. Plus, they provide protection against fleas and ticks, helping keep your outdoor entertainment spaces safe, comfortable, and pest-free for your family and your four-legged family members. Wayne's has turned my backyard oasis into my happy place. They can do the same for you. Give them a call, 866-WAYNES-1 or call waynes.com. The next round is proud to partner with Vulcan Tire and Auto, and we're excited to announce their first-class team and facilities are growing. If you are an experienced general maintenance technician looking for a new opportunity with a great growing company, go by Vulcan Tire. They want to talk to you. Not experienced, but interested in working on cars? Again, go by Vulcan Tire. They have a spot for anyone that has a can-do attitude, wants to work, and enjoys helping people. Four locations and more to come. Vulcan Tire and Automotive, Moody, Trustful, Hoover, and Gardendale, VulcanTireAndAuto.com. Jim Dunaway, Lance Taylor, Ryan Brown, and Rockstar. Live from the Birmingham Racecourse Casino Studios, the next round, presented by Bud Light, is on now. All right, we go to the final live hour of the day. Along with Lance Taylor, I'm Ryan Brown, rock star producing the show. Dunaway is out. He'll be back with us tomorrow. Scott Forrester out on the video side as well. Skeleton crew here today. Lunsford running all of that for us, along with uh, the audio and video, everything. Uh, Taylor Korn handles our social media. You can hit us up there at Next Round Live. Each week at this time, we are joined by our friend ESPN Major League Baseball analyst Buster Olney is presented on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline by ATIX 822-7382. For all your Major League tickets, your Alabama and Auburn tickets with the season coming up in less than a month. Welcome in, Buster. How are you today? I'm still recovering. <laughs> like that uh, that trade deadline was fun. Ooh. It was wild. There was so much going on. That, that was a blast. Um, can we come back to the deadline? Because I know you and I have talked about our love for the Dodgers and Vince Scully, uh, just the best to, to ever do it. Um, after 67 years at the age of 94, unfortunately passes away. Great life, great memories. 
Um, I know you knew Vin. Um, best memory of Vin Scully for you? Yeah, and it's funny. I, I mean, this is, uh, I actually, it, it, you know, it, I grew up in Central Vermont, huge Dodger fan. Uh, we didn't have a television on the dairy farm that I had. And so I never uh, heard him on television. And of course, you know, living in Central Vermont, you're not going to hear the Dodgers on radio. The first time I actually heard his voice, because I'd read about him, was on an LP following their 1981 championship season. And when I heard that for the first time, it was like hearing the voice of baseball's God, okay? Um, to the degree that when I got into the business in 1989, I, I, and then I began to be in situations where I was around him, I was afraid of him. Like, I'm not, I'm not someone who gets starstruck around players, but around Vince Scully, I was totally starstruck to the point that every time I'd see him in the – in the press box at Dodger Stadium, I would veer around him. And <laughs> it wasn't till his last year of broadcasting, I had him on my podcast. And, and, you know, as he did with everybody, he spoke to me like I was an old friend, like I was the peer, which was ridiculous, because I certainly wasn't. I was struggling to utter out my, to utter my questions, because I was just so in awe of him. Look, uh, you know, the other day when uh, when I got news that he passed away, I got a text message from Sports Center, and they asked me to go on. And I never felt more pathetic than in doing that because you're like, how can you encapsulate that man in 40 seconds of thought? You know, the greatest ever to me, like you know, Tom Brady and Michael Jordan, how they dominated their respective sport. That was Vince Scully for 67 years. The pacing was perfect for baseball. The storytelling. Uh, that and his absolute respect for players and for the fans when you know the amazing call he did when Kirk Gibson hit that home run in 1988 the way that he laid out and was silent for 68 seconds uh, the, you know as Gibson's rounding the bases because he understood the story was the fans reaction to this once in a lifetime moment that happened with Gibson it just what a remarkable talent. What a remarkable man. Uh, I saw this tweet last night, and it's hard to believe, and I don't know if you've seen this and if it's legitimate, but it says Vin Scully has called over 4% of all games in Major League Baseball history, including those that weren't televised and those that occurred before the television was invented. That's 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 unbelievable. And the idea that the first game that he did, you know, Jackie Robinson was the cleanup hitter. <laughs> I mean, you know, I just, it's hard to put into perspective exactly what he was. There are a lot of times like, you know, LeBron James, probably when he retires, he'll be considered to be the best basketball player ever, but we'll probably see someone in 30 years who will be in that same conversation. Uh, you know, when Trout retires, we're going to talk about him maybe being the greatest baseball player ever nobody's going to come close to accomplishing what Vince Scully did. I thought Earl Hershiser said it so well the other day when he mentioned that when Dodger fans, and this is, you know, not the Tampa Bay Rays or, you know, the Colorado Rockies or some new franchise, Los Angeles Dodger fans voted Vince Scully onto their Mount Rushmore with Jackie Robinson and Sandy Koufax. And I think Kershaw was the other one. How crazy is that? A broadcaster being considered one of the four most important person uh, people in a in an organization's history, and it was entirely appropriate that that would be the case. Yeah, because I was going to mention that Buster Olney with us, courtesy of Atex. You know, I grew up about an hour east of here, Buster, in a town called Anniston, halfway between Atlanta and Birmingham, basically. So you know, the Braves are huge there, and yeah, you know, Dale Murphy when I was a kid was the guy. I mean, everybody wanted to be Dale Murphy, but you didn't have to go very far down the list to start getting to skip Kerry, Pete Van Weer, and Ernie Johnson, guys like that. There were as much a part of the Braves as Bob Horner or Rafael Ramirez was. Uh, that's exactly right. And that was because people on a nightly basis, and this happens in baseball more than any other sport, that people invite these uh, broadcasters into their homes every night and they become part of the family. And and that was, I think, you know, for Vince Scully, uh, and I'm, uh, you know, biased Ernie Simpson because I'm from Vermont. Uh, you know, I think of him as, uh, you know, that's where he was from initially. Um, you know, with Vin Scully, part of the reason why I brought him in was because he just was so nice. Well, here's the cool thing is that behind the scenes, he was as nice a person as what you heard on the radio. Uh, he was uh, as nice a person and as deferential as what you heard on the radio. And even among all the broadcasters, he held a special place in their heart. I've had fun telling this story 
like Dan Schulman and Boog Shambi and all these guys I've worked with through, uh, through the years, they all remarked on how Vin with his storytelling, if he needed one more foul ball <laughs> if, to finish off a story, then somehow he communicated that to the baseball gods and he always got the foul ball so he could finish his story. <laughs> it, it was it was really cool. Uh, back to the deadline. I mean, the big winner is obviously the Padres uh, sticking in that Dodgers division. And first time in the lineup, I mean, nine runs. They look the part. I mean, how scary is this Padres team going to be going down the stretch? Yeah, and I'm curious about your guys' perspective on this. I think the National League, where a lot of the trade action was done, executed, you essentially now, to me, have four super teams. You've got the Braves. You've got the Mets, you've got the Dodgers, and you've got the Padres. And any one of those four teams, I feel like, can knock off any one of the other teams in that quartet. Uh, you know, the Padres' big problem going into the deadline, their offense was down. Well, geez. Now you add, uh, you know, Juan Soto, 23 years old, the type of hitter that can be good pitching in the biggest games in October, and Machado, and Fernando Tatis Jr. is coming back. He's going to start a rehab here probably within a week. Um, Josh Bell, <laughs> you know, hitting cleanup, uh, Brandon Drury, a very underrated player to the point that I thought for sure the Mets would take a run at him. Um, you know, he hits a grand slam in that game yesterday, a Jay Cronenworth is a really good hitter. He probably wasn't suited to hitting at the top of the lineup. Like he's been for the Padres. You bump that guy down to six, all of a sudden you're talking about a lineup with depth. And I just love the fact that I know AJ Preller, the general manager has gotten all the credit for what they did. That's not where the credit belongs. It belongs to the owner, Peter Seidler. And I say this as someone who once covered the Padres and wrote about them selling off players in 1993, uh, including Fred McGriff. Uh, the difference in the Padres is their owner, Peter Seidler, basically saying, I don't care how much money it costs. I want to build a winner for this team, uh, for this city, uh, and for fans of this club. That's really cool in an era in which we talk so much about tanking. ESPN's Buster Olney for a few more moments presented by ATEX 822-7382. Football season just around the corner. All your games uh, here in the state and throughout the Southeastern Conference in the country there at ATEX and uh, also baseball games. The Braves continue their run uh, towards potentially defending the World Series. All those tickets at ATEX, AAATEX.com, 822-7382. What are some surprises, though, from this trade deadline? I mean, uh, a lot of people surprised Wilson Contreras is still a Cub. I think Wilson Contreras might be surprised at that. He had a going away party, and he's still a Cub. What surprised you? Yeah, with Wilson Contreras, it reminded me of that scene in the movie Almost Famous where the plane is going down and everyone starts <laughs> confessing, right? And then they're like, no, we're not going to crash. And then there's that awkward moment afterward. Uh, it felt like feels like that with Wilson Contreras. Um, I know the perception of other teams is the Cubs price Contreras too high. There's so much concern about his defense going forward. And by the way, doesn't bode well for Contreras as a free agent uh, in the wintertime that all these teams passed on adding him. And I got to tell you, the Red Sox, to me, just, uh, you know, to watch them, uh, it feels like in recent years, go from being one of the dominant forces in baseball to now this big market team that seems to be trying to pretend that it can be run like the, you know, the Tampa Bay Rays and uh, other small market teams the Brewers, it doesn't make sense to me. I was around the Red Sox on Monday night, guys, and the confusion, the uncertainty, the disconnect between those in the clubhouse and the front office was not was unlike anything I've ever seen before. And it's something, if I were a friend of Hein Bloom, who's the head of baseball operations for the Red Sox, I'd tell him, look, you need to go in and repair that because this is really bad. And I'd also go to their owner, John Henry, who's done a phenomenal job as owner. They won four championships. They ended the you know, the, the 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 streak of 86 years without a World Series, the renovation of Fenway Park, I'd say to him, look, do you have the same passion for doing this as you did when you bought the team? Because if you don't, it's time to sell. Because it doesn't make any sense to me that they didn't re-sign Mookie Betts or Bogarts, whoever. They're, they're, it's very strange watching the Red Sox do business during these days. And before you go, this is admittedly an odd question, but in both leagues, as we get to the postseason, are the central divisions going to have to say, hey, guys, we're here too? I mean, it, it seems like these <laughs> central divisions are just dragged along with all these super teams around them. Well, I don't know if I can describe this as aptly as I might have in the past because of all the changes in the, in the uh, conferences in college football. 
But doesn't it feel like the the American League, National League, Central are like the Atlantic Ten, or <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, yeah, because they don't really do as much. I mean, I give credit to the Twins; they were aggressive, but the Guardians really didn't do anything. The White Sox didn't do anything. The Cardinals upgraded a little bit, but they passed on the big names like they did last year, and they went for sort of the the B lot. Um, here, here's the reality: when we go into October, we're going to be talking about. The teams in the East and the West, the Yankees, the, the Astros, the four teams we talked about in the National League, we're not going to be talking a lot about from the teams from the Central because they don't look like they're playing at the same level, to your point. Yeah, they really do not. All right, plenty more of that as we get closer to the end of the regular season with Buster Olney of ESPN. It is always fantastic, Buster. Get some rest this weekend, man. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. It'd be great. We got Padres and Dodgers on Sunday Night Baseball. We oh. lucked into that one. Huh? Oh, 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 Lance, that's, Padres, that's Dodgers. Perfect. Yes, sir. You'll love that one, won't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank I mean, you it's good. The other, we could have had Braves and Mets, but you know what? <laughs> Dodgers, Padres this weekend is probably a, a more perfectly timed. Good consolation prize there, no doubt. Thank you, Buster. Have a great weekend. See you guys. All right, take care. Buster Olney with us, ESPN, on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Buster presented each week by ATIX, 822-7382, 822-7382-aaatix.com. We got Braves Mets tonight. Got a lock on that game, by the way. That's a five-game series, right? What's your uh, guess on how that one turns out? Am I right that that's a five-game series? Am I crazy here? Uh, I'm going to look. I'm going to look. I think it's four. All right, tell me how you think that series turns out. Um, I think it might. And be you a say five you got game. a lock on it? Yeah, unless they're taking tomorrow off. No, they wouldn't take tomorrow off. No, no, How no. They're no, doing no. five. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I think the Mets win the series three two. That's, I've got four games. I'm sorry, it is a yeah. four game series. That's a, no, it's a five game series. I'm right. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Uh, there's a doubleheader Saturday. Okay, that's why. Uh, you think the Mets three two? Yep. It's probably three two either way though. When you think? Uh, probably. I mean, look, these teams, as, as he just said, um. Buster brought up there's four super teams, it seems to be now, in, the, mm-hmm. in uh, the National League. And the Mets and Braves are two of those teams. Yep. Uh, I mean, and, two good, how about these pitching matchups? The early game Saturday, Max Fried, Max Scherzer. Uh, it's pretty good, right? Yep. And then Strider versus DeGrom on the Sunday. Be a uh, lot of heat. <laughs> I mean, that is those two really good pitching matchups. Yeah, this is a big series for the Braves, though. Two and a half back right now. You win this series. I mean, even if you just win a 3-2, obviously you're just a game and a half back. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Morton pitched well last night again. I don't know if you've seen what Braves pitchers have done recently. Uh, this is pretty incredible. Now, they obviously blew last night. There was a controversial overturn call on a double play, which guy was safe. Right. Um, but over the last five games, Braves starters have surrendered just 16 hits and three runs in 33 innings with seven walks and 40 strikeouts. Wow. I mean, the, the pitching's gotten really good. There's nine of the next 15 they got against the Mets. So you got to feel like after that stretch. Somebody's going to separate themselves. You got to feel that way. I mean, nine of the next 15. Yeah, unless it's a 5 4. Yeah, 5 4. And then it won't matter again until they play those three games in uh, October. Yep. Or ones in September. Last two in October. All right. Thanks to Buster for joining us. Rockstar, your guy. Can we do. Uh, can we do. Four downs, are we ready on that one? Do you need another segment? Uh, I thought we were going to do it next segment. Oh, we'll do four downs. No, I meant next segment. <laughs> yeah, 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 can we do yeah, it next yeah, segment? Yeah, yeah. Rockstar, your guys, guy. let me tell you about Adam Estray real quick at do MG it. Realty. Of the almost 4,000 agents in the Birmingham area that have recorded a sale in 2022, he is in the top 8% of those agents. Adam is a third-generation realtor born and raised in Birmingham, so he knows the area. You want a guy like Adam to find a house for you, why rent when you can buy? Because buying a home is the final, a largest financial decision you'll make, so make sure you're using an agent that you can trust to help walk you through the process. Call Adam Mestre for a free home evaluation at 205-422-0589 or visit mdrealtyllc.com. At MD Realty, we make house calls. All right, Rockstar, thanks a lot. If you've missed a lot of the show today, don't forget everything is on demand uh, on YouTube. We're always on demand there. Please subscribe. Hammer that thumbs up. Hammer that thumbs up every single day. Make sure you've subscribed and set your alerts. They're on YouTube, also available on our app. And uh, nextroundlive.com or wherever you get your podcast, you get everything we've done. Trey Mullinax, PJ Tour golfer in studio with us earlier. Eric Ainge, former Tennessee quarterback, and just now with Buster. You can get all of that podcasting right here on the next round, presented by Bud Light. Bud Light Next, only 80 calories, zero carbs, wherever you get your beer. Check out Bud Light Next. We will do those four downs next. Call the next round now at 205-734-0923. 
The new location of Walk-Ons is now open at Stadium Trace in Hoover near the Hoover Met. And just like the location off Highway 280, you get authentic, mouth-watering Louisiana cuisine prepared fresh from scratch every day. Walk-Ons Happy Hour is 2 to 6, Monday through Friday. $5 moonshine swirls, $5 house pours, and half-price appetizers. Download the Walk-Ons mobile app for an easy take-home experience for the family. It's game day with a taste of Louisiana at Walk-Ons off Highway 281-19 and now at Stadium Trace near the Hoover Met. By now, you know I love the game of golf and getting on the golf course as much as I can. Ryan Brown here from the next round. Simply put, Ballantrae Golf Club in Pelham is one of the best public golf courses I have ever played. It's always in fantastic condition. The people out there are so friendly. They just treat you like family. They're happy you're there. And the pace of play, they keep it moving. Those are all things that are important to me. See them for yourself. 620-GOLF, 620-4653 to make a tee time at Ballantrae. Also improve your game with the professional staff of Hal Brown, Jerry Applegate, Jay Chambers, all great teachers for Ballantrae Golf Club just off I-65 in Pelham. Hey, it's Jim Dunaway. Let me take a second to talk about my friend Greg from Pell City and his company, Storm Restoration Roofing. He's the owner and it's been locally owned for over 20 years. Insurance companies love Greg and that's going to benefit you, the customer. Storm Restoration Roofing is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau and they'll give you a free no-cost inspection. No obligation, no cost. 205-542-3531. 542-3531 or look up Greg from Pell City on Facebook. It's Greg Nelson and Storm Restoration Roofing. There's nothing I like more than a unique, delicious meal. And that's what you get at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken right on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Those great full fried chicken plates, the tenders, the poor boys. But I love the southern staple chicken on a stick. It's perfect for a tailgate or watching the big game. And then the authentic Mississippi Delta recipe, homemade tamales, the best I've ever tasted. See the whole menu or order online at champyschicken.com. For blues, brews, and bird, it's Champy's Chicken, Highway 119, Alabaster. Summer weather is finally here. Make sure your air conditioner is ready for the Alabama heat. Adam, Chad, and the team at Hemphill are the ones to call for all of your HVAC needs. Hemphill Services is a locally owned and operated independent train dealer, and the team can service all makes and models. Get the guys at Hemphill Services to make sure your HVAC unit is ready to help you beat the Alabama heat this summer. For all of your plumbing, heating, and cooling needs, do what I do. Call Hemphill Services. It's hard to stop a train. 205 Five two two nine twenty ninety. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and our entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. Drunk driving prevention is a priority at Anheuser-Busch. You can't drive drunk if you don't drive there. Encourage friends to join in the pledge to Decide to Ride on DecideToRide.com. Brought to you by Anheuser-Busch, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Uber, Birmingham Budweiser, and the next round. Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit NextRoundLive.com for the latest podcast. The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast like Bama and Bourbon, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. When it comes to choosing a dentist, two things are critical, trust and comfort. Ryan Brown here from the Next Round. It's why I tell you about Stone Creek Dental Care. Dentist owned and operated and Stone Creek Dental Care is the Southeast premier provider of comprehensive dental care. With more than 20 locations, including Birmingham, Chattanooga, Huntsville, Trussville, and Montgomery, Stone Creek Dental Care is able to provide a level of quality care you will not find anywhere else. From your basic cleaning to restorative dentistry, cosmetics, and endodontics, Stone Creek Dental Care covers a wide and comprehensive range of dental services for patients of any age. Stone Creek Dental Care's mission is to provide the highest quality dental care to every single patient in an environment that exemplifies the highest ethical, personal, compassionate, and professional standards, and to provide the best patient experience possible. Stone Creek Dental Care is currently accepting new patients at all locations, and new patients get a free Chick-fil-A gift card at your first appointment. So visit StoneCreekDentalCare.com to find a location nearest you. Stone Creek Dental Care. Dot com. Want more of the show? Download the app or visit nextroundlive.com for the latest podcast, The Mystery Fifth Hour, our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, and the entire Double Down Media podcast family. All at nextroundlive.com and on the Next Round app. We continue on the next round. How was uh, trivia last night? Give me the question. Uh, my question was, what came first, Tom Brady or the movie Jaws? 
Tom Brady is 44. Jaws was 1978, I think, if I'm not wrong. So Brady at 44 was also born in 78. I think it's going to be really tight. I'm going to say Jaws came out before Tom Brady. You know, I wonder how much you pay attention to me. Lance likes Lance, Jaws. Lance, what was the uh, what was the question last night? Lance? Well, no. So oh, I'm sorry. So two days ago, 50th anniversary. I talked about yeah, I, two things within like two seconds. I mean, my guy, we do four hours a day. You think I'm going to remember that it's it the 50th was anniversary? Tom of Jaws? Brady's birthday. We said who has 45. He, he was 45. That's you just said you he's said. 44. Oh, I missed by a year. I'm sorry. No, but you just went to 78. Well, that would make 44. Right. Yeah, Jaws was in 78, right? But but he was 45. Okay, all right. Jaws seven, and then I talked about in three years, Jaws is going to be celebrating their 40. Or that their makes him 47. I was, I mean, I'm spot on then. What year did Jaws come out? 75. 75, okay. Anyway. You no, know, Lance, I'm sorry I ruined that question. That, was, that kind that of was fun at Odie's. Yeah. 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 Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you I did ber- find this out last Do you berate night. the people that miss questions that badly at Odie's, too? Sometimes, yeah, yeah. depending. <laughs> Don't uh, mess with sharks, man. No, oh, I know. So, last night, the, one of the Rockies' questions was, who is taller, Andre the Giant or Chewbacca? Well, I've never seen Chewbacca in person. By the way, after you seen the Andre tra- the Giant in person? No, it's true. Good hey, point. Hey, the old New York dynasty, I didn't realize they haven't won since April. But one of them came up to me, and they're like, we're still debating this because there's, there's other things that are saying Chewbacca was this height. And I'm oh like, I really gosh. don't care. Yeah. Jeez, my God, people. I know. So what, who's taller? Uh, Chewbacca was 7'3". Andre the Giant was 7'1". 7'3". Yeah. Oh, I bet Chewbacca was a pill to deal with. Yeah. yeah. He only wore those armor things. He'd be butt naked oh. except for his little strap. Thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. He was like the original Bigfoot, right? Yeah, he was. Pretty he much. Was a Wookiee. Yep. Uh, hey, so that is, uh, that's Odie's yeah. where you guys do that. Uh, yeah. Birmingham Institution, great place. I actually had dinner there last night. I went with the South of the Border wrap. Um, I got some of that creamy, spicy coleslaw on the side. Fantastic food from uh, that to award-winning wings, delicious burgers, my personal favorite. The Diablo sandwich. Stop in, uh, lunch or dinner. And again, great live music every Friday and Saturday night. Enjoy the outdoor patio, ice cold beer buckets full of Bud Light. It's all going on. Birmingham Institution at Odie's Tavern, Crestline Village. 23 days until week zero when we get that uh, Northwestern and Nebraska game. Our buddy Brock Ewart will be on the show tomorrow doing that game over in Dublin, Ireland. Okay, good. Yeah, Brock, I can't bet he can't wait. 28 days until that first Thursday night where our boy Clatt We'll be doing that Purdue-Penn State game. You'll also have the backyard brawl. I'm assuming we'll get Herb Street and Fowler on that one. And then 30 days until it all kicks off on that first Saturday of college football. The NFL starts tonight, 7 o'clock. Rockstar has picked the Raiders to cover the point. Is it still right at one? Did, did Rockstar take the Raiders? The Rockstar, you got the Raiders, right? Oh, yeah. And, I'm yeah, big Raiders all guy. On the I Raiders. do have a play on that game, though. Lance has a play on that game. He was curious. It's got to be the Raiders if you want to win. Yep. Uh, the total is 30-30. Points. Yeah, they're, I'll go they're, 28. They're apparently playing by ones tonight in the Hall of Fame game. Uh, so the total is 30 for that one. But without further ado, we do it every single day. And on Thursday, Rockstar mans it. It is four downs presented by Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Yeah, four great locations, soon to be a fifth location. Anything you need bumper to bumper for you and your family. Our friends at Vulcan Tire and Automotive, they can handle it. Stop in, see them today, or go online for more information. Vulcan Tire and Auto.com. First down. <laughs> What is something from the early days of the internet that younger generations just don't know? I think there are probably a lot of things. Number one, how much companies fought for your business. Like they would send out the CDs. You remember AOL would send out the CDs and all that? uh, Friends on it. Yeah, but now it feels like it's just basically tacked onto other services. Like, oh, you want AT&T cell phone service? Well, here's some internet too. You know, it's going to cost you, but just take our internet, please. Yeah, I don't think kids realize uh, if you have any delays at all, people get super pissed. The dial-up, and I think we were talking about it off the other day. Well, we were talking about how the picture would load and be like a third of it. Yeah, imagine two thirds of if it. If you will, if you try to look at pornographic material, how Rock frustrating star. that would. I'm saying like some of my friends would watch. Yeah. I was trying to look at books and stuff. No, uh, remember there were chat rooms too. Yeah, the, the AOL you, chat oh, room. Yeah. yeah, the AOL chat room. You which could be like fans of uh, the get, Deftones, which would get really weird. Mm-hmm. I thought I was only in a couple of chat rooms just to see what it was like. You know what's funny is they were the AOL was the industry leader, right? Yeah. But how strange is it when somebody gives you their email address now and it's so and so at AOL.com? I, like, still oh. I still got mine. I still got mine. 
Uh, Do you really? Yeah. You know what's even stranger? Somebody gave me an email address not long ago when it was at mindspring.com. Oh, wow. Info my seek. mindspring. But uh, the instant messenger, which was before text, yeah. like you come home on a Friday night and talk to everybody, like all these people would be on yep. from like, oh, I can, you can just talk messages, like almost text again nonstop all night. But then when they leave, they had this huge boom, boom, a door closed. Like, oh, dang it. Yeah. Chelsea left. I was going to okay. <laughs> Chelsea. I don't know. The, the, the second. Di- the dollar said the. Oh. oh, so obnoxious. Second down. What is the dumbest thing you believed as a child? Mine was I believed that there was only one mail, mailman. I was like, that has got to be the shittiest job being a mailman every day, going to every house in America, delivering the mail. So I believed. Um, this is so bad. I, uh, I would. would beg for something early from Christmas and so my mom would act like she got on the phone called Santa Claus and that would get delivered to my mailbox wow yeah. so like Santa special delivered to you yeah. Yeah. I think it was like a, a, a super long number she'd be like wait a little bit yeah. a couple hours later you can go out of the mailbox I think it's here it's awesome Damn, man. wow <laughs> you know Santa Every other kid only gets it them on the in 20 the Toys R Us packaging, too. How did he do that? <laughs> You're a little gullible, are you? Yeah, well, I was damn six. <laughs> I also believe the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny's legit, man. Yeah. Which is frightening, by the way. Yeah, yeah. it would be horrifying. Yeah, a yeah. bunny going around delivering. Uh-uh, you know how many necks stuff. around here would blow him away? Necks. <laughs> Third down. If you owned a 20, ages 21 and up theme park, what attractions would you put in it? Uh, stripper pole. Okay. Uh, beer pong. Okay. Mechanical bull. Wow. Um, I was thinking actual jello shots that they shot at you. Like, oh, you had to catch jello shots. It's like somebody can <laughs> full metal jacket. Yeah. It's, it's like paintball. No, what about you? It's like actually, paintball except it's jello shots. They're just firing them at you. You could actually get fired darts of alcohol at people. So when it hits you, it goes straight to your blood. <laughs> like you're trying to run away from it. Yeah. yeah, but you know, like Jello shots, trying to catch them, those things are slimy and slick. And like, if you try to catch it, go right through your uh-huh. hands. Would you attend? That a, should be kind of funny to watch. Would you attend a theme park of this nature? Uh, negative. You know how out of hand that oh, would be. Yeah. Great people oh. watching. There was one. It was called um, La Vila back in the day. Club La Vila. <laughs> Fourth down. What ingredient all automatically ruins a food for you? Cilantro. I do not like cilantro one bit, and I've read an article on this. I thought you didn't like garlic either. Uh, garlic, I can... Parmesan for me, I hate it. Garlic I can deal with at times. Garlic, if you walk in a restaurant that cooks with a lot of garlic, it smells like an electrical fire. Yeah. And that kind of ruins it for me. That smell just sticks with me. And, and But a bunch of heavy garlic. Now, I can deal with some garlic. Yeah, I like garlic. I can't do cilantro at all, period. I, in the um, I, I really don't think there's one ingredient that runs me off. I'll tell you cucumbers I don't like. I love pickles, no. but I don't like cucumbers. And so if cucumbers come on a salad or a sandwich, I've got to take them off. There are different there are different styles of pickles. Like you like wickles, like love the kind them, of yeah. spicy. Do you like bread and butter pickles? Yep. Love I them. love bread and butter pickles. I love any kind of pickles outside yeah. of a cucumber. Yeah. What about the one you get at the uh, gas station that's in that package? No, nah, I pass on You're that. Swimming one. in water. Yeah, that one just Pickle seems juice. it's just it's too much to handle. Yeah. I mean, how do you even eat that? I, I discard it. No, thank you. Um cilantro, I read an article that for like half the population, cilantro taste awful like there's some sort of something you've got that makes cilantro taste bad and to me and this sounds stupid cilantro taste like industrial cleaner smell you know what i'm saying yeah, like well, tr- it smells like it tastes like cleaning like when i taste cilantro i get the smell of cleaning fluid in my in my nose well it's like it's interesting when we go to like a mexican place or something like that nancy will get something like oh I, I think that's gonna be interesting i might have a bite of that then she takes the damn lime and just squeezes it all oh, over I like it. Lime. and then i'm like i can't i won't even taste it now because yeah. I, I think she I knows what she's stuff. doing i can cut some seafood i'm Look, not a huge seafood guy i like seafood with a little bit of lime or a little bit of lemon yeah um but she puts lime on it? Well, something, whether it's a lemon or lime, or she'll just squirt it on there. I'm like, Duh, I'm not going to even try it. You know what I don't so like is, is if you go to eat Mexican with friends and somebody dumps the salt on the chips without asking. <laughs> I You pointed at me. I've never done that is without it, asking. Is it done away? I do it, but I ask I do first. It, but I ask first. Yeah, do you guys mind if I put some salt on the chips? I don't know if you ask. Oh, no. Well, uh, give me the example when I didn't. April 3rd. Don't remember well, then exactly. why are you making this accusation? Because it was either you or Dunaway that dumped salt on the chips. Well, I, I always ask first, but okay. I always put salt on the chips. They're never salty enough. Uh, mm. 
everything's way too salty. Yeah, you say that, but it's not true for me. Okay. Just because it's true for you doesn't make it universally true. Next time, get your own basket. Everybody else wants salt on there. You want to hear an interesting fact just out of left field that I found what? out today? I got a feeling next time we go, you're getting fajitas, right? <laughs> yeah, just to bug you. Hey, the last time we were at a Mexican restaurant, Lance had one of his very good friends who's become a friend of ours because he and Lance have been longtime friends, and he ordered fajitas before I did. I ended up ordering them too. Wait, where were we? In Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he was the first one to order, and he ordered fajitas, and I look right at Lance. I'm like, you boy. Your boy did it, so I was gonna pass. I was gonna do it anyway. But now that he did it, I'm sure gonna do it. Yeah, we had a table full full of ta- I mean, Rockstar. Oh it was just sizzle central. Looks like Snoop Dogg's house. <laughs> uh, they were big fajitas too, weren't they? The fact I learned today: Matthew Perry, Chandler from Friends. Do you know who his stepdad is? Matthew Perry's stepdad is Elliot Gould. We talked about him earlier this week, maybe yesterday. Elliot oh. Gould. We haven't talked about Elliot Dudley Gould. Moore. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're going to see him. <laughs> Keith Morrison from Dateline. Bull no, crap. Keith not. Morrison from Dateline? Hey, as you do that, Chad, over in the chat room, Lance Land would be Epcot, but instead of countries around a pond, it would be theme bars around a casino. Yeah. Lunchford says Lance Land would scare me. Yeah, Lance Land is scary. Uh, Kerry says, will LT be able to bully Brown out of ordering fajitas or will Brown stand strong? No, he stands strong. That's right. Now, LT could bully one person on this set out of doing stuff, but not me. <laughs> I'll do what I want to. Yep, he was. Uh, he Keith mar- Morrison, huh? He married his mother. <laughs> Keith and Keith and Suzanne married in 1981 when uh, Matthew was nine, I believe. You know how weird memories are because Elliot's or Smith's right. Elliot Gould played his stepdad on Actual Friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was saying Elliot Gould. Isn't that weird? That's that my little, mind worked that way. It's our little harmonica. Yeah, I'd forgotten all about that. Yeah. That's insane. But Keith Morrison is a uh, stepdad to old Chandler Bing. That is uh, that is bizarre. Uh, LT, that is trash presented by Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Uh, that's four, four downs. downs. Presented by Vulcan Tire and Automotive. Yeah, yeah four great stuff. locations. We didn't have Soon trash. to be a fifth location in Pell City. Anything you need bumper to bumper, these guys can handle. I'm trying to find this text yesterday from Dunaway. Did you get that? I think he said it to both of us. Uh, I don't remember getting one from Dunaway. What was it I just, about? I wanted to read the text, and you guys tell me if it's passive aggressive Okay, or not. Uh, uh, yes. yes, is my guess, but go ahead. <laughs> I got to find it. So what? you don't remember getting a text yesterday I, um, about the weekend's events? I uh, don't. Okay, so if not, then I'm just going to go. Let me see if Dunaway said it. through my digging through my text. I don't remember seeing it. Nope. Nope. Don't remember oh, seeing yeah. anything. Now, uh, I've got the one from Taylor asking me, you, and Jim a question. I'm well, the one that maybe this is. And he just said, I'm vague on weekend details. Are we leaving on Saturday or Sunday? Um, Saturday's my answer. Well, it is Saturday. Yeah. But is that passive aggressive? No, I mean, I'm okay. kind of vague on the weekend details. Well, too. I am too. Yeah. Do you know I, what time the show is Sunday? Well, we don't nope. yet. Nope. We don't. That's why you need to set your alerts, Rockstar, yeah. so you'll know. Set your alerts on uh, YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. And Twitter and everywhere, and we'll try to our Is Facebook. We'll let you know. I'm gonna that? say four ish. Would you say that's safe, Lance? All right. Here's the problem. We tee off at ten. Uh, it's gonna take three and a half to four hours to play golf. So that's two o'clock. Get back. I'm going to want to shower. Yeah, I think it's four. I think four is a safe bet. We're going to try for four o'clock. Yeah, or we could do five. Or five. We may go five o'clock. Five would be more exciting, actually. It was initially set at three. That was a bold. That was before we changed our plan. So five o'clock? Five o'clock works for me. You're, you're saying you think the uh, audience will be better at five? I do. In the, uh, in the, uh, in the arena there. I, I think any hour, any hour later gets more interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. So maybe even five o'clock. Hey, listen, if something is not running right, draining right, flowing right, flushing right, guess what disaster has struck? That is bad news. You need to call our friends at Hemp Hill Services. Hemp Hill, they are the ones to fix it right, fix it the first time, and at a fair price, and the only ones we trust. Birmingham's trusted them since 1954. Hemp Hill Services, 205-229-2090, 205-229-2090 for Hemp Hill Services. The NFL kicks off tonight, the exhibition season. When we return, LT is going to tell you the best and worst quarterback divisions in the NFL. I think I know who is the best, and I think he cheers for a team out on that side of the country. That's the only hint I'll give next on the next round. All the stories important to us are in one place. Catch the morning rounds each weekday at nextroundlive.com. 
you're looking for a fun golf atmosphere that is laid back with a peaceful environment, the Meadows Golf Course in Harpersville, right off of Highway 280, is perfect for you. Just a short drive from Birmingham, this 18-hole, 200-acre track with rolling fairways and ample greens is the definition of peacefulness of the country just miles from the city. Enjoy a great lunch before your round and a cocktail on the wraparound porch after 18. Come see us today. The Meadows Golf Course in Harpersville, right off of Highway 280. Hey parents, is your son or daughter moving to Tuscaloosa this fall? Tyler Bigby can help. Listen to this former client of Tyler's. Hello folks, my name is Toby Banks and Tyler has helped us sell, buy, and sell again while our sons were at Bama. We saved over $84,000 by purchasing a home through Tyler versus paying rent for seven years. If you're considering buying or selling, call Tyler Bigby with the Advantage Realty Group, 205-826-6476. Once again, that's 205-826-6476. Hi, this is Wes McClooney, owner of the New Balance Birmingham store. Conquer whatever summertime activities you want to take part in, all while wearing the perfect shoes. Our fit specialists take precise measurements of your feet and analyze how you walk and run so that your shoes fit perfectly. And we haven't forgotten about the kids either. We'll get them equipped for summer camp or whatever adventures they take on. Stop by the New Balance Birmingham store today, located on Highway 280 next to Chick-fil-A. New Balance Birmingham, experience the difference a custom fit makes today. The new location of Walk-Ons is now open at Stadium Trace in Hoover, near the Hoover Met. And just like the location off Highway 280, you get authentic, mouth-watering Louisiana cuisine prepared fresh from scratch every day. Walk-Ons Happy Hour is 2 to 6, Monday through Friday. $5 moonshine swirls, $5 house pours, and half-price appetizers. Download the Walk-Ons mobile app for an easy take-home experience for the family. It's game day with a taste of Louisiana at Walk-Ons off Highway 281-19 and now at Stadium Trace near the Hoover Met. Hey, Lance Taylor from the next round to tell you about our friends at Gutter Cap. Gutter Cap's that patented aluminum cover system that fits over most existing gutters to keep out debris and eliminate that gutter cleaning. It's back with a lifetime warranty, almost 20 year service record right here in Birmingham. Stay off that dangerous ladder forever. 45% off the retail price now if you call guttercapbirmingham.com. Call my good friend Chris Stewart now, 205 823 2212. Cap it, don't snap it, it's Gutter Cap. Summer means cookouts and spending time with the family and friends in the backyard. Ryan Brown here. Nothing can ruin a party like mosquitoes. Wayne's environmentally safe Mosquito Plus solution safely and effectively eliminates mosquitoes. Plus, they provide protection against fleas and ticks, helping keep your outdoor entertainment spaces safe, comfortable, and pest-free for your family and your four-legged family members. Wayne's has turned my backyard oasis into my happy place. They can do the same for you. Give them a call, 866-WAYNES-1 or call waynes.com. Remember the name Way to Wellness if you're battling weight loss in your life. I'm Jim Dunaway from the next round. There was a time I was over 216 pounds until Way to Wellness helped me lose 45 pounds. And now for over two years, they've helped me keep that weight off. Here's their website, aplanforme.com, aplanforme.com. That's a great name for a website because there's no cookie-cutter plan. Everything is designed specifically for you. No contract, no sign-up fees, and your first consultation is free at Way to Wellness. The Double Down Media Podcast family is live and full of content for all ages. The Mystery Fifth Hour gives the next round host a chance to talk about everything but sports. Pour a glass of Bama and bourbon, our weekly college football conversation, while sipping some of the most interesting pours in the bourbon world. And our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call, presented by Redmont Vodka, LT has in-depth conversations with personalities like Clay Travis and Taylor Hicks. Find those podcasts and more by searching The Next Round on Apple and Spotify, and remember to like and subscribe. Preseason football is getting started, and it's time to get a jump on the year with Lance'sLock.com. Take advantage today through August 11th to get $30 off your first month subscription at Lance'sLock.com with promo code PRESEASON. At Lance'sLock.com, you'll get every single lock every single day for only $90 a month. But you have to subscribe now. Go to Lance'sLock.com, select our monthly subscription, and enter the code PRESEASON. Get $30 off your first month. Win with me the preseason at Lance'sLock.com. All right, we continue on the next round. Precision Sports trying to keep everybody healthy as we open camps around the Southeastern Conference and the NFL already in camp starting the preseason tonight. Hey, whether you're a weekend athlete or sports is your life, Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics, they want to help you stay in the game. 
If you have an injury or pain that says something's not right, let Precision Sports Medicine and Orthopedics help you make your greatest comeback today from concussions to sprained ankles. Our experienced team ready with treatment options. Find a doctor at precisionsportsortho.com slash providers. Would you say the best quarterback division is the AFC West? Or would you – it's the AFC West. It is the AFC West. Yeah. I said it's a team from the region of the country you cheer for. We just uh, – we'll start with the NFC West. We know where we're getting Matt Stafford. I mean, it's the Super Bowl winning quarterback, borderline Hall of Famer already. Yeah. Um, you know, Kyler Murray just got a huge contract, but I think he's still – and and then then the next two are just an unknown. I yeah. don't know where we're getting Trey Lance. No, do you? no, the NFC West is not even close no, in this discussion. Not. I think you've got one elite quarterback in in that division. That's the LA Rams uh, with Matt Stafford, and we'll, we'll see what Trey Lance is. As you said, we know Seattle doesn't have one with uh, Geno Smith or Drew Locke. Um, and to me, Kyler Murray is way too inconsistent, at least at this point in his career. But when you look at the AFC West, there's really not a weakness at quarterback. Hey, you know, Justin Herbert's still going to get better and better. Mm-hmm. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, you can make an Hall argument with. Yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, make the argument with Aaron Rodgers, best quarterback in football. Russell Wilson's Hall a Famer. Hall of Famer. Yep. And then Derek Carr has finally got Devontae weapons. Devontae Adams said he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah, he did for a minute. He, <laughs> he did, did. Back, backtrack a About little bit. A little bit. bit. Yeah. Uh, you know, with Darren Waller there, you know, it, it, you know, it's so unfortunate on so many levels of the Henry Ruggs thing. But, yes. You know, if you if you had Ruggs with Devontae and with Darren Waller, yep. it's a lot of weapons. No, you would be absolutely right. But just uh, Devontae Adams, Derek Waller, it's a heck of a combo. All right, what would you say is second? If that's number one, AFC West, the clear-cut best quarterback division in the NFL, what's second? Well, it gets tricky after that. Well, to, to me, it would have been the NFC North, even with the unknown of Pittsburgh, if Deshaun Watson was your starting quarterback for Cleveland because – You've got a former MVP in Lamar Jackson. A- AFC North, yeah. Yeah, AFC yeah. North. Uh, you got a, f- a former MVP in Lamar Jackson. That's right. Not to get paid. a guy that just took its team to a Super Bowl in year two in Joe Burrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, Deshaun Watson is a guy that, that he looks like an elite quarterback. Yep. Looked like an elite quarterback with the Houston Texans. He's no longer there. I'll tell you the division that could ultimately get there is your AFC East. You know, I was going to ask you how long it was going to take to get there because you've got a proven quarterback in Josh Allen. The rest is a little bit unknown. We'll know by the end of this season what Tua Tagovailoa is. If he can't thrive in the setup he's got right now, he's not a good NFL quarterback. I mean, that's just a given. I've got a feeling, like most do, that Zach Wilson is going to make a big jump from year one to year two. I don't know how much that's going to equate win-wise for the Jets, Mm -hmm. but I think Zach Wilson is that talented of a kid. I thought Mac Jones was really good in year one. Tailed off a little bit. You you know, here's the thing about Mac Jones, though, and I agree. He kind of hit the rookie wall at the end of last year. You trust in Belichick. But the unknown is Josh McDaniels is now gone. He's the, the head coach of the Raiders. So you've got a new coordinator. Um, you've got the weapons that they have – they've been able to win championships with, like, limited weapons, Lance. But that was with Tom Brady at quarterback. I mean, he doesn't have great weapons. You heard Daniel Jeremiah say it on our show the other day. You give Mac Jones two a tongue of Loa's weapons, he might be the best one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. So I just don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know about Mac Jones. I think he showed signs of being an extremely good NFL quarterback last year, but there is still a little bit of unknown around. Well, him. and again, Bill Belichick didn't anoint anybody offensive or defensive coordinator. He never does that. And, and yeah. you know, with Josh McDaniels now gone to Las Vegas, it, it you know, he was so good with quarterbacks. That's right. We'll just see where Mac Jones is in year two. But I feel good that Mac's going to be good. And I think Tua is going to be much improved if he can stay healthy with those weapons. I mean, all the weapons in the world. Again, if Tua Tungavaloa cannot thrive in this situation, the Dolphins have to move on at quarterback. Uh, conveniently, they do not have a first-round pick next year. So that's going to make it a little bit more difficult to move on at quarterback. You know, and there's a lot of inconsistencies in the other divisions. I think the worst might be the AFC South, though, because Davis Mills with the Texans, uh, an old Matt Ryan with the Colts, um, Trevor Lawrence, who just didn't look the part last year. We'll see where he is this year. And Ryan Tannehill, who cost the Titans a playoff game. I mean, you're right. It's, Tannehill is probably the best quarterback in that division. I mean, I think Matt Ryan's had the best career. Yeah. But where they are right now, Tannehill is the best quarterback in that division. And Trevor Lawrence could end up being could great. Be. We'll could see. be. Not there yet. Uh, that's all the AFC, right? So what about the NFC? NFC, let's go NFC East. I mean, uh, you've got Dak as a borderline elite. <laughs> you do, but then do the rest of the division. Yeah, Carson Wentz 
was good. There's just no consistency. You don't trust the health of Wentz. No, I'm not sure I trust the franchise he's with now. Yeah, I think Wentz is more of a middle-of-the-pack quarterback. He's got a good receiver in Terry McLaurin, one of the most yeah. underrated receivers in the NFL. He does, and look, they got a great defense. Yeah. Uh, the Eagles, Jalen Hurts, I still don't know what's going to happen there. I don't know what's more intriguing, Tua's year or Jalen Hurts' year. Well, but look at the weapons Jalen Hurts. He's a, he's a Tua. If Jalen Hurts can't thrive with these weapons, who's, who, where's he going to thrive, Lance? Uh, look, I agree. Getting A.J. Brown was I mean, huge. A.J. Brown's a stud, and you got Devontae Smith in year two. And Devontae uh, is going to be really good. I think so, too. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're, if you're Jalen Hurts and you can't thrive throwing to those two guys, you're not an NFL quarterback, yeah, and da- just and, like Tua. And Dallas Goddard is a uh, really good tight end. Yeah. Um, Daniel Jones, though. Oof. I mean, they're – I think this is the last year we'll see him start a quarterback. This is probably, probably it for him. You're right. Then when you go to the NFC North, obviously on the top end, you've got maybe the best guy doing it right now in, in Aaron Rodgers. But when you start to get past that, there is a good bit of unknown. Yeah, you know, to me, Kirk Cousins is good, not great. Solid. He's a I mean, solid he's quarterback. He's good enough if you were on the right team to maybe get to a Super Bowl. If you Bowl. had an elite defense, Kirk Cousins is the type of guy that could get you to a Super Bowl. Yeah, I mean, the other guy in that division, Jared Goff, got to a Super Bowl because right. of the surrounding parts. Um, actually had a good year that year. I think Kirk Cousins could do that that similar stuff that Jared Goff does. And then still just, early on fields. Yeah, we don't know about fields. Yeah, we don't. We don't. And then we get to the NFC South. It. Um, I, I don't know what to expect out of Baker Mayfield. Like, I thought that was obviously an upgrade for Carolina. I don't think you can argue it's not an upgrade. But then you see some of the reports out of camp, and he's not looking real good in camp. Now, that's just camp, right? There's still a month before the season starts. I think we've seen enough of Baker Mayfield to know Baker Mayfield can be a serviceable NFL quarterback. He can be really good at times, actually, for you. Yeah, let's see how healthy Christian McCaffrey can stay. The That's Atlanta huge. Falcons with Mariota don't feel good about that situation. Uh, New Orleans with Jameis. You know, I think Jameis can have a good year. I think that's a good roster. Um, but I wouldn't put him as an elite quarterback. I mean, you've got one elite quarterback in that in that division, and he just turned 45 a couple of days ago. Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that's been elite for his career, but then that career is dragging on and on and on and on. But there again, the weapons he's got, some of the best weapons he's actually ever had. When you consider what he threw to in New England, I mean, he's got some pretty good weapons this year in Tampa. Oh, yeah. So, um, I, mean, I mean, now Julio's old, but still, you're not asking Julio to be a number one. Right. You know, and Mike, it, when, when Chris Godwin comes back, mm-hmm. Mike Evans is still one of the best receivers out there. I, you know, I think there's still a lot of upside for Tyler Johnson going into year three out of Minnesota. Um, as you mentioned, Julio Jones. They signed Kyle Rudolph, right? Yeah. You know, he and Cameron Brait together. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I that's, think that's a pretty good set of weapons right there. Yep. Solid tight ends. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I think Tom Brady is, he, he's set up to throw to the best people he's ever thrown to. Yeah. To, to me, though, the AFC West quarterback's best, not even close. Yeah. All right. Um, listen, as we had to break, don't forget the Birmingham Barons, LT. We had fun at that Barons game. We were talking to somebody yesterday. Great time. Uh, it was such a fun time going to the Barons. And you can go see all the Barons games uh, down at Regions. So they got Chattanooga coming up. 705 first pitch Friday night. Don't forget Friday fireworks presented by Alabama Power, Coca-Cola, Comfort Care, Home Health Hospice, and Clear Vision. Um, they're going to have a salute to the Negro Leagues, including the Birmingham Black Barons reunion, a traveling exhibit there. So much going on at Regents Field. And uh, you can see that starting with the Chattanooga game Friday night, 705 first pitch. Birmingham Barons, go get your tickets now and go enjoy some great Birmingham Barons baseball. We'll put a wraps on this edition of the next round after this. Follow John Lunsford on Twitter at JLunts. If renting is putting a dent in your bank account, here's your sign from the universe that it's time to buy a new home. And who better to help you through the ins and outs of home buying than our friends at Mortgage Right? With Mortgage Right, you don't have to worry about becoming a short notice mortgage expert because they do all the heavy lifting for you. They're trusted mortgage professionals and they'll help you choose the right mortgage option and stand by your side every step of the way. Visit mortgageright.com slash TNR to buy before renting runs you dry. That's mortgageright.com slash TNR. NMLS 2239 equal housing lender. 
The long hours of summer are great for golf at the Jerry Payton Design Timberline Golf Club. The course is in fantastic condition, and if you don't have time for a round of golf, come use Timberline's TrackMan Driving Range. You can practice, play games, and play virtual golf all on the practice tee. Come enjoy your day on one of Alabama's top 10 courses you can play. It's Timberline Golf Club. Timberline is easy to get to just off I-65 at exit 228. Book tee times online at TimberlineGC.com. Tee it up at Timberline. Holly Mac Wilson just sold the Johnsons a new home. Not a house, a home. She helped them put a swing in the backyard, helped move the grill to the back patio, and watched as the Johnsons put their great-grandmother's piano in the foyer. A house is a dwelling. A home is a place filled with love and memories. Call Holly Mac Wilson, your Tuscaloosa Keller Williams Realtor, 205-901-9446. Or check out our website, hollymachomes.com, and let Holly Mac Wilson help you find your dream home where you can make your own memories. <laughs> This is for the men who never settle, the ones who miss the fairway all day and still pull out the big stick, the type of guys who will always prefer to be behind the grill than in front of the camera, and the men who never let their friends forget about a high school nickname. This is the Lodge mentality. This is Twin Peaks. Who wants to settle for a single TV? With more TVs, bigger screens, plus our fabulous scenic views, there's more to watch at Twin Peaks. A legendary coach once said, it's not the will to win that matters, it's the will to prepare to win. Bryant bankers have the dedication and experience to put together a financial game plan that's right for you. Stop by one of the seven Central Alabama locations today or give them a call at 1-855-4-BRYANT to begin preparing for your financial future today. You'll find out what unbeatable service and legendary results are all about. Bryant Bank, Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Fire damage to your home or business is something you never want to consider. Ryan Brown here from the next round. But in the horrible event it happens, Dry Tech is here to help. They respond quickly and will reply to you within 20 minutes when you call 205-637-0143. They're working for you, the customer, not the insurance company. They've got five crews ready to go 24-7. Don't call the insurance company first. Call Dry Tech. Just remember this website, mydrytech.com. That is mydrytech.com. Scott Powell, the executive director of the Alabama Head Injury Foundation. The number of brain injuries in the state has increased every year from the previous year. There are about 4,100 new brain injuries every year in the state of Alabama that require an overnight hospital stay. If you'd like to help out, please give us that information. You can head to our website at ahif.org, and uh, we are very thankful for any support that anyone can give. It's the Alabama Head Injury Foundation from Huntsville to Mobile, wherever you watch us in the state. Great work, Scott. Thanks for being with us. There's nothing I like more than a unique, delicious meal. And that's what you get at Champy's World Famous Fried Chicken right on Highway 119 in Alabaster. Those great full fried chicken plates, the tenders, the poor boys. But I love the southern staple chicken on a stick. It's perfect for a tailgate or watching the big game. And then the authentic Mississippi Delta recipe, homemade tamales, the best I've ever tasted. See the whole menu or order online at champyschicken.com. For blues, brews, and bird, it's Champy's Chicken, Highway 119, Alabaster. The Double Down Media Podcast family is live and full of content for all ages. The Mystery Fifth Hour gives the next round host a chance to talk about everything but sports. Pour a glass of Bama and bourbon. Our weekly college football conversation while sipping some of the most interesting pours in the bourbon world. And our Not For All Ages podcast, The Last Call. LT takes off the gloves for an in-depth conversation with stars like Taylor Hicks, presented by Redmond Vodka. Find those podcasts and more by searching The Next Round on Apple, Spotify, and on our website, nextroundlive.com. Is Jake Gyllenhaal starring in a remake of Roadhouse? Is that a joke? Uh, that was on Trash on the Table. I mean, I can pull that story right now unless y'all are going to do well, it tomorrow. Well, no, we can do a different story tomorrow. I almost never get through all the trash okay. stories. And you know who's also me. making a cameo? His first acting performance ever? Who? Conor McGregor will be in the uh, new Roadhouse. Brandon uh. sent us at Next Round Live and at The Lance Taylor. All he says is thoughts, and it's got the graphic of Jake Gyllenhaal starring in a remake of Roadhouse. And it legit looks like they just photoshopped Gyllenhaal's face onto Patrick Swayze. Okay, so do you want me so to... So I thought it was a joke. Just do the story. Do yeah. the story, yeah. So according to the Hollywood Reporter, Gyllenhaal will play an ex-UFC fighter who becomes a bouncer at a gritty roadhouse in the Florida Keys. 
And per the Roadhouse remakes logline, Gyllenhaal's character soon discovers everything's not what it seems to be in the tropical paradise. Is it the way it always is? Now, this echoes the original Roadhouse script, which starred Patrick Swayze in the role Jake Gyllenhaal will soon fill. Instead of Florida, the original 80s movie took place in Missouri, involved the evil doing of a corrupt businessman. Do you remember who played him? I know the face. I do not know the name. Ben Gazzara. Sure. Uh, <laughs> now, Doug Lyman will direct Roadhouse... Uh, his first ever feature was Swingers, which you hated. Did not like it. Um, I thought Go was an underrated film. He did one of the Born Identities, and he's done something else. But anyway, um, Lyman notes, quote, I'm pull, uh, thrilled to put my own spin on the beloved Roadhouse legacy, and I can't wait to show audiences what Jake and I are going to do with this iconic role. He says Patrick Swayze is, of course, a legend, and those who love the original Roadhouse may not immediately accept Hall in that role. Smuff said who's going to play the Sam Elliott character. I mean, Samuel Lee is still with us. Yeah. So you can yeah, play yeah. It. Might Sam as well. Elliot. Yeah, why not? And Ronda Rousey's not gonna remember she was gonna be the next Roadhouse until she lost that fight. Yeah. Yep. I. Uh, you want me to make a? Uh, I'll watch it. I guess. You want me to make an admission? Yeah. You've never seen. I've never seen Roadhouse. Yeah. I just know the premise behind it. I just don't think Jake Gyllenhaal fits that premise, though. I'm not sure. I would have said Patrick Swayze did before he made the movie. He Would you? Have? Off, he was coming off Dirty Dancing when he made it. What does that mean? Does that make him a BA in Roadhouse? He was great in Roadhouse. I know, but coming off Dirty Dancing is not what made him that. But it was really believable. Uh, Goose said Keanu Reeves could be good in the Sam Elliott role. Yeah, but I don't think Keanu at his point in career is going to take a uh, secondary role like that. Lunsford says he's never seen Roadhouse either. What was it Lunsford hadn't seen? The Godfather? Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, that's right. It it is amazing how um, some of these guys, early on in their careers, you never would think that they – could pull off badass. Keanu Reeves does it in John Wick. Yeah. And when you look back at his 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 younger days as an actor, you just never saw that. You saw it in Parenthood. <laughs> never saw it in Parenthood. Never saw it in, in uh, what Ted and Bill uh, and Ted. Bill and Ted's adventure. excellent adventure. Uh, who would be the house band? They ask in the chat room. Well, it's not going to be Jeff Healy. <laughs> Got it. Angel Eyes. I'm telling you what, buddy. Angel Eyes is one of my favorite songs of all they time. Did that chicken wire in front of me? I yeah. love Angel Eyes. <laughs> the best was the dancing. And then the fights were so, like, scripted out. Yeah. Do you like Angel Eyes? Do you like yeah. that song, yeah, Rockstar? I, I thought it was great. That's yeah. a good song. Now, I don't, Jeff Healy didn't do anything else, did he? No, nah, not really. It came That's out a, in 1989. Yeah, that is a fantastic song, though. I love Angel no, Eyes. Now, Roadhouse is iconic, and I really like the movie, but it is so cheesy. Oh, it's like Point Break. Great movie, but this over-the-top cheese. Like, after the fight, the first time Dalton's there, uh, Jeff Healy gets done playing, and, and this uh, one of the waitresses Who's that? And he goes, his name is Dalton. <laughs> and this is a blind guy that came to see the fight. <laughs> so ridiculous. Uh, before we get out of here, Lance Mortgage Right, helping people's dreams come true. Uh, yes, our friends at Mortgage Right, they are there for you every single step of the way. Remember, uh, locally owned and operated, but they're all over the country. So anywhere you can hear us, these guys can handle whatever you need. It seems like everywhere we turn these days, though, there's concern of a rising cost or gas prices. Now there's even talk of a recession. If you're a homeowner, with outstanding credit card debt or other high interest payments it's time to put your home equity to work for you don't walk into a recession with large payments on bad debt our friends at mortgage right can help you knock down stubborn debt and gain more financial freedom how is it possible home value is also on the rise that means you can leverage your home's equity for a cash out refinance to pay whatever needs funding credit card debt home repairs college tuition and more reach out today call mortgage right locally 205-815-9200 or visit them online mortgageright.com camps opening throughout the southeastern conference nick saban brian harson will meet the media saban meeting the media at 435 you know what saban you're gonna get that saban that's in that sleeveless quarter zip gray alabama pullover white t-shirt under him looks like he's been through the ringer is it, is it this or is it gonna be this i don't know depends on how practice goes rockstar it's gonna be this yeah it's hat. he's got hat hair because he's got yeah, that hat like off a, you yeah, both I, you gotta have both it, like this it, it you know, was, i didn't realize he wears that hat because it's superstition did you know that i didn't know that i just Man, assumed I was, you didn't want to get so, I, was, I was gonna bring it up that that tacky ass hat you wear is it because of superstition the Panama jacket. is that the way to frame the, the yeah, yeah tacky would've, ass would have been the way to go i'd have done it that way yeah All right, that's going to do it for the show today. Dunaway back tomorrow. Line change. LT out. Dunaway in. I'll still be here. See you guys at the Floribama. We'll be at the Floribama Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We'll talk to you tomorrow in the next round. See you at 9 o'clock.